fucking straight up just a fucking coachman uh camper, man. That motherfucker, that's just, that's, you know, like I said, it's nice looking, but it's not like a fucking fancy, dancy, you know, twenty two hundred thousand dollar bus or nothing like that, man. Yeah. I ain't getting like no damn Cody Rhodes bus or nothing like that. Shit. What up, Daniel? Oh, that's right. Dynasty. Word. Dynasty. As long as we can. You gotta be there for that, right? Yeah, I'll be around. Yo. What up, Prez? What's going on, fellas? Uh, Shit, getting ready for Dynamite in a couple hours? What? Getting ready for Dynamite? No. Hold on. I am. Hold on, just a second. Let me, uh, let me throw this ball down here and knock bowling down. I don't think anybody has ever said that shit. All right, I'm back. I got a strike. You got a strike? Yep. For doing what? Playing bowling. Not the alley, if you know what I mean. Oh, that bowling. Okay. Nice. I thought you were talking about a strike on your channel. I was like, what? That's one from the I'm fine to make this not go. You say you're making some water hot dogs, Rev? Hot dogs. You know, the best way, Rev, is to boil it or deep fry it. I only boil them, man. I don't fucking. I, I put them in the grill before. I think I was fucking under charcoal, man. And I put them in the water, and it's like they just they fucking. They don't like uh. Black. I can't do it. And it tastes like syrup. Gotta say, you're really getting somewhere, boy. Appreciate the vote. <laughs> you gotta be good. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, I'm in the car. Thank you for the follow. What do we have here? No more that didn't have a. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna boil them hot dogs. I'm gonna boil them hot dogs. And then I'm gonna them damn can of them bushes, baked beans, and fucking make like some damn beanie weenies. What are you doing? Are you trying to get me prepared for London or what? Wonder why. Oh no, you they got those damn hunts, hunts baked beans or hurts. Is it hunts or hurts? Mm -hmm. Some of those Heinz, just Heinz baked beans they got over there. I don't know what those are. I don't know. Like 
My uh-huh. mission, huh? My mission is going to find is to for me to find a good restaurant wherever I go. Go to Gordon Ramsay's place over there. Hey, when that damn Gordon Ramsay's got a place over there, that what you call it, what's that guy's name? That other famous chef, um, fucking, uh, who is that motherfucker? The one with the white hair? Robert Irvine, I think is what his name I think he's got a restaurant over there. The one who's married to Gail Kim. I know he's married to Gail Kim. I think that's what his name is. I don't think he's, he's like a he was like a food network. Shoot. Who do you think is hotter, Gail Kim or AJ Lee? Mm-hmm. I like Gail Kim, man. I see. Is you Michaela? She ain't got no kids, but she ain't been broken in. Thank you. Um, who's Gail Kim? She was a wrestler. Um, she was in TNA. And she was and, in uh, uh, WWE. She was that, uh, she was the tall uh, Asian girl. Canadian. Well, she was Asian. She was from Canada. Canadian Asian. Imagine that, right? They called me in, and um, I went in and uh, we were doing the uh, aerial. And um, when they call you in, do you have to go in on your day off? Well, I was I was supposed to be off today, and he called. Uh, the boss calls me and says, hey, uh, I need you to come help. Uh, and I need you to come help with these three jobs. You know, we'll make some, some extra money and, you know, we need your help today. And I was like, all right. I was fucking exhausted because I didn't go to bed last night till fucking 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I went to bed. But, uh, yeah, we, we called him in, and I, I was a trooper and got up and went. Do you sold out? You sold out? You sold out? Oh, did you go when he called you? Yeah, I went in. He told me I could come in at 8, so I got to sleep a little bit longer, but. Much. What time he called you? Like six, like six forty-five, something like that. I'm gonna go back to sleep after that. Six 
set my uh, alarm for 7.15 and got up and got in the shower and got ready to go and I went down there. And it wasn't that hard of a day, but... Hello, Miss Womanizer. Hey, um, we were talking. We were talking about uh, the conversation of Orient or the topic of Oriental rugs come up, and I said I thought she couldn't say Oriental anymore. And apparently, as long as you say it about rugs. Did you say something about Red Fox? No, your boy, Francis Fox. He was off today. What up, Sean? Uh, smack, or excuse me, Dynamite at 8, if you want to watch it with us. And his real name is but he calls himself Francois. I didn't figure out what his origin was. I'm, make a good, I'm trying to make a good impression. I want to ask good questions. How was your day? <sighs> Did you uh, sell any cars today? Oh, me? No. I have three cars left to sell. One of them cannot be sold quite yet. One of them is a little bit rusty. I think that's why no one has bought it. And I don't know why no one's bought the convertible. I'm very shocked. I got a convertible that no one's come out and looked at. It drives great. It's the one. It's what I'm driving. It's what I'm driving. Top up or down? Which one, Pug? With the top up or down? Top down when you can. I mean, right now it's pouring. Oh, no. You know how Ohio weather is. You know what I mean. We're not. We're not Texas. I bet your car would probably be sold in Texas. Oh, as soon as it as soon as it warms up, that car will be sold. I need I need Schmidt or somebody that's like you know like there in Kentucky or something to try to find me buyers here and there for shit that they don't want up here. You know? I know, I didn't even think about it when we weren't talking about cars at that time. What up, Alvin? Alvin said, Reb can Stanley steam the car. <laughs> the floorboards and the floor mats here. Let's try to give him a. Uh, you think you'll be able to stay awake for uh, Dynamite, Reverend, or are you going to be out? Oh yeah, I'm gonna win. I'm 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 ready to take a call for right now. Mm -hmm. Drinking a cup of coffee right now. Does not act like dynamite won't put any players. Well, so they gave I was supposed to be off today and I ended up they calling me in, so now they as of right now they have me off for tomorrow. But that could change yeah. until tomorrow morning. The plane, if I gotta go, it's gonna be good. I made like 125 hours today in fucking like 
I was done by me. Fuck. 3.30, 4 o'clock, something like that. So... Did you take a nap when you got home? No, I didn't get to take a nap. No, I'm drinking a cup of coffee. I'm not. Right, you go for the Alvin said, how do you like the job, Rev? I like it a lot. Like I said, I just gotta get used to the standing and the fucking, you know, the physical activity. That damn, oh, that's fucking long. Fucking... Job is running those hosts. Elvin said any difficult customer. Elvin said any difficult customers yet. Um. You know, not difficult, like not mean. Like I've had some people who, you know, I couldn't sell anything to. I couldn't get any add-ons. But I mean, most people are decent. I want you to listen to so. The welcome sign. You're one of those people that go in there and they they just want to go in there for old change. You want to come out there and say, well, you need to do this. You need to uh, change that. More money like that. That's the old. I get 25%. Like yeah, I get 20. I get 25 percent of whatever I sell. So if I can sell them an extra hundred dollars, I'm gonna make 25 bucks. When you say sell them, so uh, while you're doing a job, you guys are talking to customers, selling them things. Yes. So we sell like so if we're gonna if we're gonna clean the carpet, we have this stuff that we can spray down that eliminates like odors. And we have this stuff that we can spur down that helps, like, extend the life of the carpet. And that's all, like, really easy stuff to sell. And you know what you're supposed to do for the new players, though? Huh? I thought that's what just I thought that was, that was the whole point of being a carpet cleaner. What? Was uh, get out odors and shit like that. Well, I mean, we, we have, that's extra stuff. I mean, you have to pay for that. You have to pay for the spray. For the deodorizer. What the hell are they paying you? What, what are they paying you, like, on, on base? Like, base price? What is it that they're getting? I can't do that. Um, what? When I'm thinking so, of what they were talking about. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So you're paying for the cleaning, okay? So we'll put in there with the with the wand and the vacuum and we spray the we spray the hot water right. like at 500 psi and we spray it directly into the carpet and then spray the water up and it's like a it's a steam clean it's a hot clean is what it's called and right. we're cleaning the carpet and then after we clean the carpet usually before we start cleaning the carpet we talk to them about protection and uh, deodorizer right. and if they don't want to do that stuff and after we steam clean the carpet then we leave but as far okay. as like as far as like eliminating the smells and shit like that the actual cleaning itself doesn't get that it gets out of state you know what that is bro that's like taking a shower without you Pretty much. Pretty much. Like, like the actual cleaning, it's like $40. Hey, I'm about to go take a shower, get washed up, you know, cleaned up, whatever. Then I just go in there and do like a, a bird bath, you no know, snow floor. That's, that's what that is. Really, I'm like, well, and then I come out smelling the same way. I don't even got no smell. I mean, you don't make Hello, money off of just 
doing like just a standard clean. Like you don't do you don't make that much money to offer doing the clean. I think you get it's either forty or fifty dollars a room depending on how big it is. And then it's like ten dollars for a hallway. And like oh, ten dollars for stairs. Got some goddamn let's, let's... Uh huh. Uh -huh. Or what? Strength. Got some goddamn. Yeah. I see. That's some motherfucking hustlers and shit. You gotta be. You gotta be, man. Like you know, you gotta sweet talk to old ladies, man. You gotta be sweet dicking them motherfuckers, man. Oh, yeah. He's gotta be a little, little bit smoother than Francois. Like, he, oh, Francois. Oh. Francois is good. <laughs> if you have another kid, you should name your son. If you have a son, Rev, you should name him Francois. Yes, I like so. <coughs> What'd you say, Francois? I couldn't hear you. If you ever have a son, you should name him Francois. I do. I don't think I'm going to have any more children, but if I did, I would, I, I would consider it. Uh, or name your next animal, Francois. I hope I'm working with Francois. Yeah, anybody's name is Francois. Huh? If it, like if someone named their dog Francois, it had to be like a solution. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I told you, I found out his, his real name is Frederick, but everybody calls him Francois. And he introduces himself as Francois. And it's like, there's another guy out there, his name is Darren, but everybody calls him Gira. Might be Cajun, though. And then there's Marcus and Marquise. Which I think it's spelled the exact same way. There's a guy named Marcel out there. Yeah, yeah. What? Does, uh, does have an accent? He's from New York. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, he's from New York. You know, his origin, like, I, I think he, he I, I, I told you he's brown. I don't know if he's Mexican or Dominican. I never said he came from that country. I said he, I think his origin is of that country. No, he's from the Yeah, I'm gonna have to When I see him, I can... no, he sounds. He's got a New York accent. I don't. He's got that. He's slick. Like. He's like, a, he's slick. I don't know how to describe it other than that. Damn it, can't get that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to ask him what ethnicity he is. Hey, hey, hey there, Chet. The new guy asked me what I was. He dumber than a motherfucker, ain't he? And they, he, he gonna be saying that to the other guys. And they, they gonna be saying that to the other guys. And that, and that other one, fucking, fucking, uh, Marcus is gonna be saying, well, he he doesn't have me confused with that guy. He thinks we all look alike. Hey, he's one of them, Ricky. Quiz. I'm sorry. Damn, Mimo Robbins just comes out every once in a while. I can't help that today. That woman helped raise me. God damn, Mimo! Uh huh. 
Every once in a while, I mean, I, you know, I think it's, I guess it's, just, uh, it's just the way I was raised. I, mean, I try, I try to be nice to everybody. I try to treat everybody respectfully. It's like my tongue, my tongue slips up every once in a while. I stay insensitive to that. Anyway, yeah, I like the job. The answer, the fucking come around to the end of the fucking question. Alvin job's going good. I like it. I plan on trying to keep it as long as I can. Till the fire. Uh, no, you're answering, you're answering questions like Tony Khan now. What? What? When they asked him the other day, does he re uh, does he regret? Sharing the AEW footage, he says, I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think I regret it because it's part of it. Then he went off with it. What up, Earl Grey? The whole montage about it was supposed to set up the Young Bucks versus FTR. And I'm like this. The FTR, they're not even over no more, bro. Okay. You done killed them. <laughs> When they got their ass booked last week, Your Royal Majesty. Nice to meet you. I the fans didn't give a fuck. What brings a big fuck. important guy like you up to a place? They didn't give a shit. No need for formalities. I'm Zagreus. Just heading out on some official business. Past the menacing Tonight, Don't need to be rude. That car doesn't even look good. good. Well, don't you have your hands full, huh? Oh. I'll let you go. But there's one rule in my place, which is man, man. nobody leaves here empty-handed. You got that? I'm only watching it my because of Willow Nightmare. I might have to make me another fucking cup of coffee. God damn, you already fallen asleep after that one? No, I ain't falling asleep yet. I just, like, fucking, like, a, it's a wave of just tiredness come over me all of a sudden, man. It's a wave of what? Wave of like tiredness, man. Like exhaustion just come over me all of a sudden. I gotta get up and walk around. Sure. Wait, what well, just happened? He's already passing out. It's not even seven o'clock. <laughs> hey, how are you? I, I go to sleep right now and get some sleep. Oh, hell. This motherfucker no. said he just drank coffee. How do you go from drinking coffee to pass out? I'm about to make me another cup. That motherfucker uh, drinking that bullshit cup or something. That motherfucker's oh, drinking water. Hey, Mr. Coffee? The coffee? I ain't talking about the coffee maker. I'm talking about the coffee. Uh, is that Mr. Coffee? It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the uh, horse. Man, he's drinking that bullshit cup. What bullshit coffee? It's got, it's got like 200 grams of protein. It's got like 200 grams of Hey, I wouldn't drink no coffee. You gotta get that strong shit, man. That dark roast. The darker it is, it's the darker. That's what she said. I gotta have that sissy call for the place to build. That's the thing. I like that strong shit. I keep drinking that down. That's okay. why you're drinking like 30 cups of that bullshit. You would've drunk one, one cup of coffee. I fuck with you. You would've, you been like, yeah, outside, mowing the lawn right now. Stupid part. I mean, had a lovely time. This weapon sucks, man. 
Don't let me see if I can make it better. Oh, what the hell that feeling was? No love without pain. Here goes nothing. You, you ever get like that when you just like you could be sitting back and and all of a sudden you're like you, you won't you won't be tired before and then you're like you just feel real tired all of a sudden and then you kind of snap out of it or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Weird. I mean, like two years ago, I was going in. I'd be like going in the driveway. And then I just like, no, no. just like, um, closed my eyes, what felt like five, ten minutes, and then, you know, fucking dark outside. Now, I'll tell you what, man, like, if I'm driving with somebody, like, if I'm riding in the passenger seat, if they're driving, motherfucker, I, I don't matter. I'll just be done and fell asleep. I will be fall asleep right in the fucking passenger seat. Faster than they are to me, do so. I don't know what it is about fucking riding shotgun, and I just get like it. I just get sleepy, man. Hey, that's new. Oh no. Oh, no. Like I try to uh, see like when I'm on a bus, like a great uh, or just around here. For some reason it's kinda of hard to get my like shit on the light. What you gonna have? Huh? Now what you gonna have for dinner? Well, I air fried those pork chops, right? So I'm thinking about some mac and cheese and and some uh, well, not mac and cheese, some shells of cheese and some mashed potatoes. With uh, motherfucking um. Butter, 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 that's it. I don't want no gravy tonight. I prefer, you know, to be honest with you, like if I make my homemade potatoes, I don't, I don't never eat my potatoes with uh, gravy. I don't know why. I was thinking about this weekend making some uh, chicken and dressing. Y'all motherfuckers don't know shit about no chicken and dressing. She in a dress, yeah. That's that, that's that, that's that real down south shit right there. Bro. My old chick. Just need to get from here across all that. Wait, no, you get, you get like some uh some thighs and cook it, then shred it up, and then you put the dress. In. Oh, you talking you about know, like, like, like you talking about like a castle? Like, look. Nah. Well, see, look, you get your cornbread. Get, see, I like, I like uh, sweet honey cornbread, so I, you know, I get my cornbread, I crumble it up, I put in my bell peppers, and or I'll, I'll cook down the bell peppers and uh, the celery. You know, I'll, I'll cook that down, and uh, then I'll add that with the... Uh, with the fucking uh, cornbread, then I would like pour uh, chicken broth, like two, two of those 32 ounce chicken broth, mix it all up, and then that's when you throw you throw the chicken inside and mix it all up. And then you just put it in the oven for about 35 minutes. That's chicken and dressing. It's like you making your own homemade. It's like you making your homemade dressing, right? But you just add chicken. To it. And then what you do is like you get like your your turkey your turkey gravy, 
get and get like some cranberry sauce. Eat it like that, man. I'm talking about that's some good shit right there, boy. You, you see, folks, listen, listen to this shit, folks. This right here is what I can't figure out. This fucking just food tastes good. Fuck. Chicken and dressing, man. Good food, man. That's some good shit down here, man. That's that real shit. Texas. Chicken and dressing. When you were talking, when you when, when you said chicken and dressing, I thought you were talking about like you were gonna fucking stuff a whole chicken or whatever and put it in the oven. Uh, okay. okay. And you would have. Uh, that's chicken stuff. I've never put fucking uh, cornbread dressing inside of a turkey and cooked it like that. Why? I don't know. I never done this shit. Some good shit right there. Eh. It's, it's all those drippings and juices into the fucking uh into the damn stuff. Okay. I gotta be honest. I would like to have some chicken and dressing right about now. God damn. Or you know, I I also like to do this. Deep fry a whole turkey. That's some good shit too. Hey, I heard about you talking about that I last bet year. I y'all motherfuckers never had no deep fried turkey. <laughs> I'm not a good cook. I, yeah, I wish I, I wish I would have had a deep fried turkey. Ooh, I've had a lot of deep fried turkey. You ain't gotta be a good cook. So let's just get you out of there for now. I ain't got a deep fryer big enough to put a turkey no in. God damn it. I had a damn turkey leg the other day at the fucking carnival. Deep fried? I think it was, I don't know if it was deep fried or not. It was a big ass turkey leg though. It was good. The ICP clown makeup eating a fucking turkey leg. I bet I was a sight to see. Should have got a. I should have got somebody Fair take a picture. No, he just talked. Huh? I'm a deep. This year again, I'm a deep fried turkey, and I'm gonna go live on that bitch. I do. That's good as shit, man. Deep fried turkey. Deep fried chicken, like a whole chicken. Hey, you can yeah. have one, like, what some dudes, they, they be deep frying right here in the front of their yard. They just sell them like this. That's, that's fucking raw. What a hustle. They get real. That motherfucker down for the I I love me some deep fried turkey. Me too. I love me some damn deep fried turkey. Ain't gonna wrong with that boy. Here we get all crispy. And it's freaking juicy. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A central strength. What about saying this guy over here, man? You know, you know how much you can sell the most for? Ten. Can you sell much for the most? Forty-five dollars. Yeah, he must have got, he must have got a good deal on those fucking turkeys. Well, you can buy a turkey for like eighteen dollars.
I'm hardly. I see fucking whole turkey that much out there on the wall and shit like that, man. Was it around Thanksgiving whenever he was doing it, or was he just doing it out in last week or something? We lost five. Me all excited about the damn deep fried turkey. Yeah, deep fried turkey sounds good. Egg said that he's good as shit, man. Damn deep fried turkey shit, put some gravy on top of that motherfucker, man. Ha! <laughs> Hell yeah! I hate that to get. Fucking I mean, turkey, man. Especially like you get like some, some fresh turkey, man. After Thanksgiving, make some of the best sandwiches you ever ate. Good Lord. Yeah. Oh, damn boy, that was... <laughs> Fucking hot dogs. I want some damn deep fried turkey, man. I might. Have to... Damn you, punch your hoe. I'm about to go to Bojangles. I think. Damn. Well, Bring so it I up. told you, bro, I can't, this is why I can't be a skinny man, man. I'm a fucking, we get to talking about food, I get to salivate. You want to play some rocket or something before damn, uh... Or some Fortnite or something before damn uh, dynamite. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play this game. I'm playing for like 15 more minutes and sure. All right. This damn town is up. Now, Alvin, I have been fortunate enough to where I am active enough. Even when I was uh, fucking in between jobs this last year, in between, um, uh, working where? How'd you almost be pissing? I ain't pissing. You hear the piss hit the toilet. No, I said, um, Alvin. No, if you Alvin pissing in the toilet, then that would have sounded different. I'm pouring uh, shit out. Hey, Alvin, like you pissing on the airplane bathroom, punch? Yeah, I just got off the plane. <laughs> he already knows it? that. He has his flight right in front of you. Rev, lucky he's not on my 600-pound life. Now, I've been fortunate enough, Alvin, to where I've barely cracked the 300s, and I've never gone much further past that. He <laughs> said... 600 pound life. Hold on, let me switch. Um, what you call it? Whenever she was going, but whenever she went and got her gastric bypass, before that, it's like over 500 pounds. She had other health problems too. She had bad, uh, she had like bad lymph nodes or something forever? Thyroid? No, no, she just, uh, just uh, emotional eating and stuff like that. Okay. I never, yeah. I never understood that. I mean, I get it, but I don't. You know what I mean? 
Well, I mean, it's like if you drink or, you know, you gotta have something to feel the pain, you know, you gotta have something to relieve the anxiety. And, you know, also, like, we were fucking, we, were, we grew up country, man, so it was like fucking starch, 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 you know, it was fucking, every meal was fried chicken, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese and corn. <laughs> like fucking, we ate heavy and we fucking ate before bed. Oh shit, Pesci's playing Hades? You know. How's it coming, oh. Pesci? Good. I already oh, beat yeah. Elden Ring for the you second time, it? so I'm done with Elden Ring. I already beat it. It's over. Second time. I'll beat it a third time eventually, but not now. Have you beaten, have you gotten through Hades yet, or are you still on your first playthrough of this? First. Because I know you took a break on it for a minute. Bro, Pesci, I found a, my latest YouTube obsession is this channel that's local to you, well, semi-local, it's a... Columbus police body cam Boy, they'd be wilding out in Columbus. I was watching this video earlier about this guy Who said he gave someone $25 to buy him crystal meth and the dude just took off with his money So he called the police He's like I ain't got no money. I ain't got no drugs. I ain't got no pussy <laughs> Nice they'd be, they'd be wilding. Ireland out there in Columbus, huh? What'd you do today, Mark? Uh, I had some meetings in the morning and then I played nine holes in the afternoon and now I'm just uh, getting some emails answered and then I'm gonna start these tequila shots, man. Uh oh. <laughs> Make sure you behave. I'm all, I always behave. Yeah, I was at the uh, I was at the course this morning and I stopped by the uh, the restaurant on the way out and they had these. They, they gave me a uh, a bottle of I'll say a Zulu Reposado. I've never had this tequila before, so I'm excited, man. It's like a ninety dollar bottle of tequila. It's still gonna taste like fucking lime and pepper. <laughs> it's all fucking tequila. Tequila just tastes like you knew it, man. This fucking slut. I love tequila, man. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, four. You know the drill. I know, but it just sounded like it, like it just tasted like fucking, like just some straight up black pepper to me. I don't know why. It just tasted like that. Fucking always like that Jose Cuervo or fucking 1800. Yeah, Cuervo. Yeah, Cuervo is my main. I got a bottle of that. Liquor cabinet. I'm taking a page out of Pesci's book today. I got some of these raw cones. Oh, these are really easy to roll up, man. You gotta make sure the weed's grinded. Yeah, yeah, of course. I just meant like how simple it is. Like I usually smoke out of zigzags. What up, John Carroll? So Welcome back to D Block. <clears throat> What'd you do today, Rev? How's work going, brother? Good. They called me in this morning. So you still have a you still have a job then? Is that what that means? No, of course I still got a job. Like I fucking they I was supposed to be off today and they called me in this morning. Uh, okay. I had and after we fucking stayed up all fucking night. Why would you be off on a Wednesday? Is is that like your normal day off? No, because they wanted me to work Saturday. Because I I've been off the last two Saturdays. So they wanted me to work Saturday. So he's like. Well, we're not going to be that busy tomorrow, so that was yesterday. No, we're not going to be that busy on Wednesday, so you just take off Wednesday. And then he called me at like 6.45 this morning and said, I had a guy call out, can you come in? I was like, okay. And, Good on you. Uh, That's the reputation you want to you want to develop, is the, 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 the dependable one, you know what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't that bad of a day. It was, it was pretty easy. It was pretty straightforward. So are you gonna get um, are you gonna get Saturday off now or are you gonna change well, supposed to be off tomorrow now. 
Cause he, like, he said, okay, well, I doesn't look like we're that busy tomorrow, so just take off tomorrow. But I'm gonna go to bed probably about 11 o'clock tonight, so just in case they call me, I'll be ready. Yeah, that's uh, smart. It, it's not bad. Like I said, it's. How much you make today? Huh? How much you make today? 125. Not a bad day, man. No, it wasn't bad. It, was, it really wasn't, you know. It was, so you, um, you get paid on straight production, or you don't have an hourly or a salary at all? Only I, I get paid a an overtime percentage if I work over 50 hours. That don't sound legal. I thought it was, I thought it was 40. Uh, they they said if, if I work over 50 hours, like a total hours that they clock me, like I as soon as I get there, I start job. Hello, B. Good morning. Until I get back to the, the shop. So if those hours, like if I'm out 10 hours a day, you know, five days a week, once I hit like that 50 hour mark. I'll get a percentage of um, I, whatever it is I've made that week. I'll get like a percentage of it for overtime, mm. which they don't want anyone to do that. Right. So like, you know, they they try to like they'll. Hey, you're Michigan, you. Mike. Or like say. Hey, you brother. What did my other alerts different. should go off? Oh, I damn. appreciate that, friend. Michigan Mike with the ten dollar super chat. Shout out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. Ten dollars goes a long way in Cleveland. We're watching AW later. But, but they won't. Um... Speaking of Michigan they... Mike, you uh, you've been swinging those clubs, Mike. I know it's starting to get warm out there in Michigan. Nice. Yeah, if you if you get your day off tomorrow, Reverend, you should go go back to the driving range. Thank you, Mike. I don't know if it's gonna rain tomorrow. I think it might rain tomorrow. That's why I don't. If I get if I actually get my day off, I'm gonna try to do something. Yeah. You guys don't have uh, covered stalls at your driving range. It's all all in the open. Well, the video you sent me was covered. Covered stalls, but we've got to fucking walk to get there, and it's gonna be. Yeah. You can. Michigan Mike said your... first time two days ago, shot 43. Wow. Now, Reverend, oh, would you? Oh, so there it is. There's the other. Oh, but Reverend, when you went golfing, did you golf or did you just hit balls? No, I was at the driving range. Yeah, you went to the driving range. Yeah, I wasn't. I didn't go out there and play actual golf. I just went and hit the ball. I wasn't just driving. That's not a bad score. I'm assuming Michigan Mike played nine holes and the par would be 36. They... So he shot seven over par, and that's not bad at all. That's respectable. He played, if he had played 18, he would have shot 86, and only 1% of amateur golfers have the ability to break nothing. So that would have been a uh, very good finish. Where you go, We should do a PW World. We should do a PW World Golf Classic at Firestone out there, out there by Pesci. Firestone Golf Club. Yeah, I'm not far. I'm not far from Michigan Mike, but I don't know how to golf. No, you'd be the MC. You'd be the guy at each at each dream. I I I get putt putt. You'd be in the live golf shirt at the DJ booth. <laughs> oh, Michigan Mike says, yeah, par was 38. Wanted to golf more, but way too many people, and the course came to a standstill. Got pissed and yeah. left. Yeah, you got so many people up there. Wait, what's a, what's that mean? So what he's saying is, is uh, he probably would signed up to play 18 holes, but the pace of play was so fucking slow because you got a lot of people out there that shouldn't be out there. Think you know, playing from the the back tips, thinking that they're Tiger Woods. Oh, and so you you basically it's like a haunted house. You have to wait for the people in front of you to go, and if they don't go, you're just sitting there. Right, you can't. You're, otherwise, you'd, you'd hit your ball into them, <laughs> and then you'd have a lawsuit on your hand. Oh yeah, that can be a thing. It's 100% spot on. 
Thanks again, brother. Yeah, you got. So, when you go to the golf course, there's typically four sets of tees on each hole, and what we refer to as the tips would be the furthest back tees, and that's typically where seasoned um, golfers that know, know the game and know how to play the game would would take their tee shots from. The problem is, is when you get people like Reverend out there thinking, oh, I need to get my money's worth, and I'm going to play from the tips. And they, you know, they need fucking five shots to get to the green. Well, you know, the typical pace of play for 18 holes is about four hours. You get behind a player like that, all of a sudden you're looking at a five hour, five and a half hour, maybe even a six hour round. And, you know, these people, they just, they're, they're fucking clueless. They're like, dude. Have I'm you ever golfed the... under par before? Me? Never. Yeah. Never. Never. Not at an 18 hole course. I would, uh, I would like the record to show that Reverend always uh, tees off in the limit spot. There's no thing, uh, that's, the, that's the thing, I mean, those, those aren't, those aren't ladies tees, you know, you, you gotta, you, take your 7 iron, and how, however far you hit your 7 iron, I believe, let me, let me look up the equation, uh, 7 iron equation for T. Let me see. So you're supposed to take your seven iron carry distance. So like if you hit your seven iron 160 yards, you want to multiply 160, uh, I think by like 45 or something. And that should be, it'll equal somewhere between like five and, and 6,500 yards, right? So you want to look at your scorecard and you want to determine which tees can I play from that make this course 6,000 yards long, because that's your game. You get better and you can move back, but you know those aren't ladies' tees. Those those are tees meant for different levels of golfers. You understand? What I mean? Now, back in the day when you and I were growing up, they were called ladies' tees. But you know, as the game has developed, and there there are some women. I'm not even going to front. I've played golf with some women that can outdrive me. <laughs> yeah. And they hit from they hit from the tips. I don't play from the tips. I, I'm lucky if I can get 270 off the tee, right? You don't belong at the tips if you're hitting hitting the ball 270. Oh. No, I yeah. just... That's a real problem in golf now, especially since the pandemic. The pandemic really hit golf with steroids because when you think about it, they told us to be six feet apart, uh, outside if we can well golf was a, was a sport that was tailor-made for the pandemic and golf courses were coincidentally one of the few things that were open for people to do during the pandemic so between like 2020 and the end of 2021 it, it, it was really really hard to get tea times that's why i had to join a private club because i couldn't get tea times at the courses that i typically played every week anymore because there were just so many fucking people and when i could Michael, Michigan Mike says pandemic these... killed golf. That's a shame. Well, see, the, the hardcore people think that because of all the new players that it, that it has brought in. And like Michigan Mike was saying, he got pissed and had to leave the golf course yesterday. Probably those were pandemic golfers playing in front of him. Yeah. But the thing is, it's, the thing is, is it's, it's a, it's a double-edged sword because while it's served as a as a nuisance for the regular players like me and Mike, it's also good for the game because it's grown the game. You know, the, the amount of golfers in this country was decreasing on an annual basis. There were courses that were closing. It was hard times for golf course owners for a long time, and the pandemic saved the sport in a sense in this country. The father's still getting caught up with work. I hope you're right. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got, I, I need to get back out there and really. But I have know. no problem. <clears throat> I have no problem. Like if I get slow players in front of me and I can see that they're playing outside of their abilities. When I see them at the tee box and I'm waiting for them he to take the He said the viewership for the I'll Masters say, oh. was off the chart. Well, actually the, the Sunday... The Sunday broadcast was actually 20% less than last year. We looked that up last night. There are only about nine, nine and a half million viewers on Sunday. Which was down from 12 million last year. 
but that's like I tried to tell you, like Scotty Scheffler is the most boring world number one. I mean, he's a great player. Every fucking shot he hits is perfect, but that's not what we want to see. We want to see these guys struggle. Every tee shot goes straight. Every approach shot goes to the green. That gets boring, man. I want to see this guy duck hook his drive and have to hit his second shot from out of the fucking gallery, you know? Thank you, NN. Hey, Rune, I'm back. What in the hell is wrong with people, man? Did you see that shit about that fucking home, that crazy homeless man in New York who fucking punched a nine-year-old girl? Damn. No, but I'm not. I'm not. Sho I'm not shocked. I mean, New York she is. She should have gave him a quarter. New York, San Francisco, Chicago, the, they've all become... Uh... I'll tell you something interesting I've done up here a few times. Um, when, this is a long time ago, but when homeless people would walk up to me and ask me for change, if you say you don't speak English, they leave you alone <laughs> immediately. <laughs> no English. <clears throat> I, had a, I had a guy come up to me at the gas station one morning. I was there real, real early. I'm talking like 5.30 in the morning. I was at the Shell station. And he, he he's parked two or three pumps over. I pump, you know, I, I pull up to the pump. I get out of my car. I'm paying at the pump. And I see this guy get out of his car and start to walk over to me. And it's like 5.30 in the morning. And it's just the two of us at this gas station. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? He starts giving me the story about how he's trying to get back to Bakersfield. And he's run out of gas. He just needs a little bit of gas. So I said, all right, well, you got your driver's license on you? He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, let me see it. He's like, what, He's like, what are you, a cop? Why do you want to see my driver's license? I'm like, well, if, if you're from Bakersfield, it should say that on your driver's license, right? I'm like, show me your driver's license that you live in Bakersfield. I'll fill your tank up. He starts to he starts to back off. Nah, nah, never mind. You, you're crazy. He's, he's treating me like I'm the weird one, right? I'm like, bro. You're just over here trying to hump me, and I'm, I'm just smarter than you. Just show me your ID or try to scam the next person. <laughs> oh, God. They're going to get me, bro. So this, like, this is the most fucked up bullshit I've ever fucking heard of. Apparently, this crazy homeless motherfucker who fucking punched a fucking nine-year-old girl was out on fucking bond of course for for, uh, obviously for assaulting another who the fuck he assaulted a 56 year old woman at the same fucking place you want to know what's funny if you look if you die if you dive deeper i would be willing to bet money that that guy was released on a recognizance bond and he's, fucking, and he's fucking homeless. How do you how do you give a homeless person OR? They literally have nowhere to go. <laughs> it says he was released on fuck with no bond. Recognizance, yeah, that's OR. Are you fucking serious? He assaulted someone and then he's just gonna get fucking released. Like, ah oh, well, go on out there. But you get when he, you vote that's what you get when you vote blue, baby. Start voting red. That boy will be in jail. That is insanity. We should try and hey, we should try and lobby Pesci to register to vote and get him to vote this year. See if we can do it. We're gonna get you, we're gonna get you to vote, Pesci. Annie? Oh, yeah. Can't. Yeah, no, yeah, you're allowed to vote as long as as long as he's not on active parole. He can vote. I don't want, listen, folks. I'm don't give a shit about voting, okay? When I you've know, been on the road, I've been you on. You've it. been you've been to prison <laughs> twice. You vote on yourself. You don't have time to vote on no president. You <laughs> said you vote on yourself. I would I'd like the record to show I've voted every year. Yeah, I've skipped a couple of bits of because it doesn't matter how many Republican congressmen I vote for, they're never going to win out here. <laughs> but I always vote for president. I always, I always vote for governor. And say what would I be voting on? I don't even know what I'd be voting on. Elvin said he's never voted. Just, just, uh, just, you just vote for Trump. That's it. 
Ohio, let me tell you something. You're in a, you're in a very Ohio, unique state. Ohio will do that for me. I don't, I don't need to go out and vote for Trump. Ohio will do that. You're, well, here's the thing about Ohio. They, they, they beat fucking Hillary when LeBron was endorsing her. Here's the they thing about Ohio. She was, a, she was a shoe in to win Ohio. Ohio is a very... Ohio is an extremely important state in the Electoral College. There has never been an, a Republican president elected without winning Ohio. Small, small fun fact about your home state there. If you're a Republican running for president and you don't win Ohio, you're not going to win, period. Join me in supporting Sir Joseph Pesci for governor of Ohio, says so Johnny Cash. Wow. Back from the dead, huh? That's a hell of an endorsement. Yeah, the man in black. Jeez. Honey, Autism Wrestling says, I feel bad for you because you're watching AEW after what they did last week. That was my breaking point. I'm just um, I, I, I always mean, watch... Johnny, I always watch wrestling, John, Johnny Cash. I always watch wrestling because it's a way just to bullshit. That's the re only reason. And Pesci also said a couple of weeks ago, if if this ship is sinking, I want to watch it go down. Yeah. <laughs> I want to watch the end. I kind of, I kind of, he's rubbernecking, Johnny. He's just rubbernecking. You know what I mean? He's watching the, he's watching the. the Crash. I just wanna. I kind of just wanna watch tonight and just see how they, what they can fucking do to like, to top whatever it is they like all the shit they did last week, man. I want, I want to see how they're gonna fucking do what they're gonna fucking do to keep that audience if they got it. Honestly, I don't remember anything from last week's show other than the Punk and Perry footage, and that was one of the few dynamites that I actually watched the I watched the entire show. And I don't I don't remember anything from last week other than the Punk and Perry footage. I think that's I think a lot of people are probably in the same boat though, Reverend. That really overscored everything else that happened on that show last week. I remember a little bit. I remember um, I remember the fucking FTR beat down afterwards. I remember that. But I don't. As far, I remember them I coming out. I don't remember them getting beat up, though. I don't remember the main event. There's two things that I remember in recent memory about AEW. Edge coming out and, and trying to, like, pretend he's Tony Khan and beg the fans to stay and Punk and Perry. Michigan, Mike said, I agree. Vote red. Only a few states matter. Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin. I actually live in one of the districts in Michigan that splits 50-50. It's nice to yeah. live somewhere where my vote matters. That would be called the purple district. There you go. Where he lives. Ladies and gentlemen, district. you heard it there. A purple district is one that's known to be unpredictable. It can go red on some elections. It'll go blue, but it's always in the middle. Stampede Wrestling was good. No, he's talking about Stadium Stampede, the AEW show. Oh. Shout out to Johnny Autism Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, Michigan Mike. Uh, I, it, to leave, man. That's all I got to say. Get to leave out of there. No turning back. If I was elected president, I shit you not, the first two things I would do would be to deport Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar. Damn. Well, here's the thing. They're both immigrants. And, and part of the, the, the oath you take when you're granted citizenship is essentially that you will represent the country and not shit on it. Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib have both made careers out of shitting on the United States, despite the fact that neither Johnny of them Johnny Autism says here. he wants Mr. Beast for president. I don't know, man. Mr. Beast went kind of woke when his co-host turned out to be a tranny. I want fucking Aaron Rodgers, man. I want him to fucking be president, man. Aaron Rodgers is a fucking... He's on Mudrabbit's level, bro. You can't be serious. He's fucking crazy. 
I would never. I mean, it would have been perfect. And RFK is a fucking wacko. I mean, what Kennedy wasn't crazy, but. I mean, it doesn't matter. Anyway. We all know that fucking Macintosh 2024 is gonna happen. Strength of the centaurs. Yeah, I'm saying, like Ilhan Omar, for example, she she came to America from Somalia, okay? A country that doesn't even let women have library cards, you understand? Let alone run for Congress. She comes to America, gets a college education, gets elected to our Congress, and then proceeds to talk about how racist of a country we are, how inequitable of a country. Why don't you go back to Somalia now? You know? Why don't you just get out of here? You know, I've said the same thing before. And that ain't no Andrew Jackson shit. I'm an America first. I'm an America first conservative. You understand? When the, when America does when America does well, the rest of the world does well. And you want proof? Look at your buddy Slick Willie's administration. When Bill Clinton was president, and we had the tech boom and the real estate boom, that all spilled off. We helped Greek. Greek. We helped Greece get out of debt. We helped Europe get out of debt. I mean, when America does well, it's trickle down economics, baby. The rest of the planet does well. It's well. Absolutely. Proven, you know. So if you're gonna get, if, you, if you're gonna go run for Congress and get elected, and then try and shit all over the country instead of making it better, then just get the fuck out. Yeah, go back to your country. Go. No, you know, we don't... Just get out of Congress. We need people that are going to represent this country, not shit on it. I'm, I'm with you on the. I'm a, I'm, me and Barkley agree on all that right there. That's me and Barkley agree. If you don't like it here in America, leave. Go back to whatever country of if, origin you know, this from. What, what, what Reverend just said there, now in 2024, would be, Hello, considered, Asia. Would be considered taboo. But when Reverend and I were growing up, good morning, like, beautiful. You imagine, could you imagine, Reverend? Thank you so much a, for stopping in. Shout out to Asia. If, Thank you, do, you remember, do you remember how united this country was after 9-11, Reverend? Do you remember that? I mean, could you imagine if there was a 9-11 today, you wouldn't be able to, Jesus Christ, this country would crumble. Yeah, Drugs were moving I'm... good during that time. My neighbor, my neighbor, my neighbor and I can't even agree on what, it's just. You can't agree on what a fucking woman is. And I'm not, an, unple I'm not an unpleasant person. I, I, I seem like it, but I'm really not. I'm really a reasonable person. You, know? you can't agree on what a fucking woman is. You have to. Okay, okay, so I'm glad you brought that up. I don't have a problem. If you want to go chop your dick off and run around in a dress, if you want to do that, that's fine. That's your prerogative. But here's the thing. I'll give you a... What's the capital of North Carolina? Raleigh, Raleigh? right? Raleigh, okay. So... If you and I are having a conversation, and you say, David, you say, David, the capital of North Carolina is Raleigh, and I say, and I say, no, it's not, Reverend, it's Charlotte. Well, mm -hmm. I can, I can think that, but it's not true, right? But here's the thing: you, you, you get, you get the people like, you know, it, it doesn't affect you. You're right; it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect you if I think Charlotte is the capital of North Carolina until. I go to the government and I start rewriting the legislature. I start rewriting the textbooks in schools. Then it becomes then it becomes your problem because now I'm I'm going after your kids. I'm going after your community and I'm deceiving them and I'm trying to I'm trying to condition them to think that the capital of North Carolina is not Raleigh, it's Charlotte. Right? So I don't have a, don't have a problem with you being gay, lesbian, trans, any of that shit. You won't be that, be that. But once you start trying to inject it into the schools and force parents to affirm their six-year-old child's belief that they're of the opposite sex, once you start trying to legislate this shit, now you're now you're making it my problem. You understand? Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, yeah. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. But... Oh, 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 you talk about right. that one. You're damn right. I'm saying, man, it, it, this is a free country. You're free to do whatever you want to your body. You're free to live however you want. But once you start trying to legislate your agenda, 
then it becomes my problem if I don't agree with you. Michigan Mike says she's awful, but if you think she's bad, wait till 2028 when the liberals nominate Whitmer Whitmer. and she wins. She will more than likely carry Midwest swing states for the Democrats, says Michigan Mike. uh, Gretchen Whitmer is- Thanks for being here, Mike. Governor of Michigan, she was one of the- she was one of the fucking wackos during COVID, for example, that let grocery stores stay open, but made grocery stores put blockades on the toy aisle. For She literally did that. I'm sure Michigan Mike remembers when Gretchen Whitmer was governor of Michigan. Well, she's still the governor of Michigan. But yeah, during the pandemic, she allowed these stores to stay open, but she required them to close certain aisles. Like... Toy aisles were closed, like everybody's locked at home. The kids have to have something to do, right? I can't buy my kid toys, but I can buy <laughs> The rest of the store is open, but that one aisle is closed. Well, to be Great. fair, you go on Amazon to get them some toys. Well, I mean, not everybody, uh, not everybody can, uses that. Not everybody Amazon didn't shut down during the pandemic. That motherfucker was loving life. What do, you do? What, do you, what do you do if you're like a single mother raising two kids in, a, uh, in Section 8 and you don't have an internet connection in your house? How are you going to use Amazon? Well, you know? there you go. Then, you, 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 then Amazon's not your priority then. Life is. You're in some trouble if you don't got a fucking internet connection at that point. It wouldn't be difficult to live. Still in 2024 with no internet. Oh shit, live golf! <laughs> Did I hear live? You didn't hear it from me. I guess the Rory McIlroy uh, to live golf rumors turned out to be false because he uh, he came out on Monday and said he's not. Uh, live Liv was offering we, uh, Rory. Thirty-six minutes, rep. Well, we're going in. Oh. No, I, I'll tell you what, um, I'll tell you what the problem, like a big part of that damn problem is, Barkley, is like, I know, personally, I know one trans person. And, uh, I've got, I've got, I've got family that are trans, bro. But the thing is, is, is like, she or he or why, you know, I'm, I'm very respectful. I really am. And she's gone through the surgery and she's gone through all of that shit. And she thinks that this is absolute nonsense. And she's like, I don't, I'm like, I've, I've never, she said, I've used the women's restroom and no one's ever said anything to me ever. Like, why are they making such a big fucking deal about it now? Like, I don't understand. And it's like fucking, like, how would this turn into like a fucking, like, I mean, like, if you actually do some research, like, trans women have actually been, like, actual full trans women have been competing in women's sports for a long fucking time, like, like on a local level and shit like that. Like, it, and most of them aren't that good, so they're just like fucking normal. I don't know. Uh, I guess that's where you and I split, because I don't, I don't support trans athletes playing. Well, no, like, if, you, if you're a biological male playing against women, you're still a man. Yeah, you can't, no, no, no. You can't I, manip- I, I, there's, there's a certain thing that, that no matter how many surgeries you get, you're never going to be able to manipulate your, your chromosomes or your organic chemistry. Males have larger organs than women, you know, allow, you know, for example, the, the lungs primarily. Lungs are, lungs are very, very uh, pivotal when you're using your legs. Anything where you're running, anything cardio, the, the, the breathing manipulation, you understand? So let me, let me fucking, let me, let me correct myself, let me finish. I never said I supported trans athletes. I said, apparently it has been going on for a long time. Okay, I, I never said I supported it. I don't, you know, I'm not really like, especially on certain events and shit like that. I mean, yeah, a, a man, a biological man has a lot of fucking advantage over him. I mean, like, they're, str- they're naturally stronger, they're naturally faster, they're naturally more um, athletic. I mean, it's just a fucking fact. <laughs> Look at the WNBA and the NBA. Yeah. But, you know, like, it's, like, I, I quite frankly, like, I don't follow women's sports enough to 
like to where it really doesn't uh it's not something i think about you know it's not something i dwell on but um no i just like i think it's just you know this whole idea that like they're just wanting there's what is the trend like what is the actual trans population it's like fucking like 0.4 percent of the population it's not very big yeah but here's like, the thing here's the thing that that's an art of that's an artificially in you know we were going back to social influence what we were talking about earlier that's an artificially inflated statistic because it would be just biologically impossible 15 years ago that the the Thank trans you, population was a fourth of that. You mean to tell me in the last 25 years there's been a two million trans people born? I'm not buying it. No. Mental illness. <laughs> it's mental illness. It's just like bipolar. It's called it's called gender dysphoria. It's an actual yeah. mental illness. It's classified yeah. by the American Psychiatric Society. Like, and last time I checked, the way you treated mental illness was not by affirming the mental illness it was it's a complete reverse fucking logic on this one subject that's why i don't i don't support it i have a cousin i have a cousin or i used to have a cousin named caitlin it's now my cousin named ryan and i've told her several times you're mentally ill And the problem is, like, you know, the problem is they're going to, like, if you look at, like, how many cases of, you know, trans people who, you know, later in life, like, regretted what they did. Dude, they're saying that, they're, that, that if we don't affirm, that if we don't affirm these trans people's beliefs that they're going to commit suicide in mass. So, again, I ask you, if these people have been living quietly in society for... 370 years or whatever how come we don't have documented history of all these millions of trans people that have been killing themselves for 370 years just answer that question for me <laughs> hold on i hear something social, in the other room i gotta go social check. construct is it you pablo the two thousand dollar couch pablo you better fucking get off there two thousand dollar couch man I don't know. I think it's just like I don't know, man. Like I know, I have uh, quite a few LG. Like, it's, it's female. It's female. Here's the easiest way I can describe it. Okay, it's female blackface. If you're a man that's dressing up like a woman, it's female blackface. It's a caricature of a woman. Because you understand what those minstrels, those minstrel shows are supposed to be caricatures of black people. You get what I'm saying, right? It's the same thing. And it's disrespectful. Here are all these women that support trans athletes and sports. I'm like, if you're a feminist who's backing up dudes, dressing up like, you're not a feminist. That's not, a, it, okay. So if, if I can, if I can just go to a doctor and become a woman and I, I have one question and this goes to any feminist out there that's listening if i can just go to a doctor and become a female what's so special about being a woman nothing absolutely nothing i don't believe that but that's what you're supporting but but, but this is the, like this is what gets like so this is what upsets me okay what gets me is how like these fucking and I'm just gonna go ahead and say these kids nowadays. I don't care. I sound like an old man. I don't give a shit. With the idea that the, the whole idea that well, if I, I just you know I can identify as whatever I want, and that means you have right, to right. you know what my identity is. Like you know, and and there are people who, and there already are, who are you know going to take advantage of that and be like, you know what, hey, I want to go see some naked ladies. So I'm going to go in the, I'm going to go yeah, in the I mean, Charlotte. It, it was Charlotte that fucking had that. It was the first city in the country to pass that bathroom law. It cost them the NBA All Star game. Remember? 
Amen. Amen. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that they fucking let everybody know that, hey, we don't, we're not going to do that stupid bullshit. I identify as a person who does not want to pay taxes. I, that's me. <laughs> that is me. I identified as that for years as a, uh, as an organized. I'm a, so I'm a sovereign citizen. <laughs> I'm some crazy motherfucker right there. Oh, they're, they're fucking nuts, man. Um, but no, man, it's just like, it's just so stupid. It's so stupid. And the thing is, is like, the media, like, you just cannot fucking watch anything on the news anymore. Here we go from, here we go from Michigan, Mike. I have been a gay man my whole life. Never have wanted to be a woman. Never have thought about being any, anything other than a man. But on the same take, this is a weird world, and I might not know all. Oh, yeah, you know that's that's right. Like the, there's very the actual like. Now that's a fucking base. That's a base gay man right there. He votes red, fucking pays his taxes. That's that's what I'm talking about. I know. I know many. Uh, Gay Republicans. I mean, yeah, you know, Peter Thiel, baby. Peter Thiel. He's the biggest gay Republican in Silicon Valley. Guy's a goddamn billionaire. See, my favorite, my favorite thing is like, now it makes sense. The the other day, Bolin was saying to Michigan, like, why do you vote for these people when they don't support you? They want you. They want you dead. What? Die. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't even understand what the hell he's talking about there. But. He was, Michigan Mike said uh, his life was a lot easier during the Trump administration than it was during the Biden administration. And the way Bolin read that was, why would you support Trump when you're a gay man? Trump hates you. That's what he said. I don't know. Based off what? I don't know. Someone tell Bolin to shut his mouth. Well, Michigan Mike, not black. Michigan Mike, we want you to know that we uh, we support you and we're happy to have you over here in the PWO. And um, yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand some of that shit, man. I just like they're just like a shit. I think they, they want to smoke some weed. I like to start off by saying I ain't Barkley. I don't know, man. Like, it's these fucking. I'm not some lawyer wannabe. It's these damn kids nowadays. I identify as a tech helicopter. Liar. Yeah, I'm just. Oof. Everybody wants. Everybody doesn't need to be included. Like, there are some everybody things. Everybody love me. Everybody in the club getting tips. There are some things people don't need to be included in. You know, it's just fucking. I should not be, you know, in the middle. I should not be in the uh, fucking fucking aerospace engineering room or whatever when they're fucking talking about, you know, landing the fucking space shuttle. I shouldn't be in the, involved in that conversation. It shouldn't be. I shouldn't be there. So. I don't need to be included. Just, I mean, you need to stop. Just stop. BC said boss man is a liar. Join the club. <laughs> right. You have the floor. <clears throat> I'm watching these motherfuckers make these fucking grilled cheese hot dogs, and they look like fantastic. I don't mind. Do you know why I can't be a skinny man? What the 
fucking all this goddamn food. Did you bring me my phone charger down? Bring me my phone charge. And give me a pop shit. He said, Hell. He said the only gamer. That oh, son of a bitch. Is, that is goddamn commie mother. <laughs> he called Lindsey Graham gay. That's hilarious. Should we? We're gonna pin that comment. That's great. We're gonna pin that comment. <laughs> hey, so Michigan Mike, let me ask you something. I've always, I've always had a. This is just a. Here we go. A political. This is a debate that I've had with some of my. Uh, friends who are political pundits, but you might have better insight being that you're uh, of that elk. What do you think about George Stephanopoulos? Do you think he's gay? Because I, I think he is. It's just in. Barkley has no gay dog. I have pretty good gaydar. I grew up in the Bay Area, man. Nice tree. What is this to this time? I think the first time I went to the Pride Parade, I was, I don't know, 13? No hot feelings. Were you proud? I didn't really know what was going on, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, definitely, definitely, probably saw some stuff I shouldn't have seen at that age too. You know, you know I just... But like I said, I, I, uh, I, 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 I'm the only conservative amongst uh, a pretty liberal family. Uh, I am not. Like, Believe it or not. Believe it or not. If you tried to if you tried to have a political conversation with my father, you'd probably it? Fuck off, question man. Like my father. Like, I've talked to your son, I've heard what you have to say, and I don't think you're his father. That's that's what, that's what you would think. Well, I'm I'm sure your dad I'm sure your dad would just find me hilarious and entertaining with my New York accent. Right. What is it? We got a damn Mulvaney in here, Bob. <laughs> oh my God, that's the. Co I thought you were pinning Michigan Mike's comment. <laughs> I, I, I could ask him all kind of good questions, and then I could tell him what Memo Robin would have said. Van, Van Piro says, "The first time you went to a gay parade, say what?" <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey man, when you uh, say what? When, when Didn't you even know those there, existed. Just it was invented in San Francisco, bro. Israel shut has one too. Talk to fucking Roman about that shit. They're the only country in the Middle East that has one. Give me a purple. <laughs> uh, uh, Reverend, I'm, I'm making I'm, Oklahoma prime rib, aka Mississippi round steaks. AKA smoked bologna. Bologna. bologna, Tennessee prime rib, AKA oil field steaks. They're going to be good. That's, that's how you spell bologna, Pesci. Who said that? Schmidt. Enjoy the series. My mom okay. is more left than home. I can't have political conversations with her. Chicago. <laughs> what up? It's funny. What? Yeah, my, dad, my, dad, my dad thinks I'm like a, uh, like a QAnon, like a wacko Where is this? conspiracy theorist, you know? It's funny. Oh, I thought this was somebody else at first. I'm sorry, brother. 
Go grab the ones from on, on Dude, my, uh, I, table. Dude, you don't even want to know. I thought you were Stewie at first. I'm literally like a study. <laughs> I, I have your phone as DD, and I didn't policy, realize that's Daryl. Dad thinks I'm a crazy, like, QAnon conspiracy theorist. <laughs> oh, good. How's it going? Oh, yeah. Baby, baby. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
see, I voted for McCain in 2012. I voted for, uh... Yeah, Jack's pretty bad too, BC. All those, all those social media, uh, all the... All, all right, let's set up for SmackDown. All those conservative political pundits that were born on Twitter, that... <laughs> They have no experience anywhere else. I mean, why do you think? Like, that's why I don't like Matt Walsh. Matt Walsh is fucking crazy, man. What is a woman was a decent movie, but he's still fucking crazy. And I don't take him serious. Pablo, you're gonna burn yourself. That's because he's uh. He's oh, dear on. Lord. He's just not very smart. He's, Matt Walsh is a lot like Bolin. He, he thinks he's a lot smarter than he really is. And he, he, you know. He's, a, he's like a deep fucking right wing. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's like a deep right wing. Yeah, he's, 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 he's playing out there by the warning track. You know what I mean? He's playing deep right field. He's like Alex Jones. Like Alex Jones. Now, I like Alex Jones. Now, he, now, but Matt <laughs> what, do you, what do you like about him? I just like how he gets you fired up. Alex, Alex Jones is bad shit. He, uh, he, 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 does, he doesn't think too highly of the Jewish people, that's for sure. Well, he's just a crazy conspiracy theorist. He's a QAnon, you know? You know what he is. White heat tonight, says Tolliver. Does Don Lemon even have a job anymore? I mean, I know CNN let him go like two years ago. Has he gotten another job? I haven't seen him on TV. Uh -oh. I used to watch Alex Jones just for the entertainment Cardona of it. Cardona tour pack. What's I mean, happening? Obviously, I'm, you know, I'd rather have Tucker Carlson any day of the fucking week, but, you know. You know, I, yeah, Alex Jones is okay and funny. And it's funny. That was, he, he, he was good with Rogan, man. Him and Joe Rogan were good together. Tucker, uh... Tucker kind of started to lose me with his most recent trip to Russia. He tried the whole look at this train station, look at this grocery store angle in Russia. And I'm just like, why are you doing that, bro? <laughs> yeah, Tucker's, I think Tucker's, I liked him. I liked him a lot when I was growing up. Like Crossfire was one of my most watched shows when I was growing up, but. Tucker's kind of Tucker's kind of lost the plot, man. You don't know what you're gonna get with him anymore. San Jose State busted hiding the real sex of transgender volleyball player. <laughs> San Jose State, it's right yep. down the street. I like yeah, I like Tucker better than Hannity. No, no, I won't. I won't. I'm not gonna agree with that. Oh. Hannity, Hannity's an OG, bro. I mean, since O'Reilly's gone, I mean, yeah. I mean, I've been watching Hannity since I was fucking 14 years old, man. He's an OG. Shout out to the uh, 13 in the build. We're getting ready for mm -hmm. AEW. Mm -hmm. AEW. Right Let me punch it out. You gonna you gonna be able to stay away, Grabber? Here now. Here now. Hope I don't get no goddamn. Buffer in the night. Tucker is a foundational American, says Tolliver. Alex Jones is controlled CIA. Uh, hey, uh, Schmidt, you want to pop in and watch um, what you call with us, AEW, and do some commentary. You want to help us out tonight? And we can talk about um, things and dogs and 
Ricochet and Bossman's left hook and all the shit that goes with that. I know Poncho was in here earlier. He he should be back. Our uh, thoughts and prayers are with his trip. Pablo, what are you up to? Why are you smiling? Why are you smiling at me? Why are you smiling at me? What are you doing? You're making me get up. You're going out. You're going out. <laughs> Talbert says, why is boss man a liar? You know that that's PC. I don't even know. He was going to give fucking uh, 10 grand to Granny and Rocco to fight. Isn't that what they were talking about? Making me get up for no reason. That's goddamn Bushy, and you know it. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm gonna do change that. I'm gonna have to change that. We're gonna have to change that. She was my lady. She was my girl. Michigan Mike says, I used to love Tucker, but I feel like he's losing it. <laughs> Pablo, get out of that. Get out of that. I told you about that, motherfucker. What up, Pete? I wish I could come to Texas, brother. I wish I could. Shout out to 16-bit Pete. I know. I know. Man. You hear what I said, Schmidt? You want to pop in and help us do the uh, SmackDown? Hey, E Dub. Hey, E Dub. You mean Dynamite? Or Dynamite? Hey, you got it on, on USA, buddy. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> You know, say, it's here or TBS? Oh, it must be TBS. It's going to be shocking as hell if AEW comes on USA. Man. There it is, TBS. All right, we got five minutes. Shelton and the Big Bang Theory. Will their ratings excel AEW? Tonight, I'm looking at it as, are they better than last week? Nope. nope. Will the show show the show tonight? What up, Retro Broski? Yes, sir. Retro oh, in the oh. hair. All right, let me call the action. All right, so we got Sheldon eating some Chinese food. And the Indian guy's there, whoever that is. And, uh... All right, now it's a commercial. All right, now we got a guy who's a doc, playing a doctor. 
and he's uh he's washing his hands with nasty looking water uh, okay now it's a commercial about uh fixing your pipes and he's washing carrots and the woman's drinking water and the dog's having fun or in the swimming pool all right good commercial I want the fuck sure what this has to do with anything, man. All right, this has been the Dynamite Review. Thank you, everybody. I just don't see how Don. I just don't see how AEW is going to continue to get that fucking big TV contract. Their ratings are shit. I don't know. Olive Garden's Unlimited Pasta Bowls are back. Starting at 1349. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the AEW Dynamite. I am Sir Joseph Pesci, and this is Reverend Robbins, the most honest man on the planet. About certain things. <laughs> I'm be honest. Tonight, we I'm dance my, like uh, Ewoks and fly like dragons to the land of dynamite. Will Tony Khan spill the beans? Will Reverend Robbins drink the coffee that allows him to make it two hours? A dino mat. I uh, I didn't make a second cup of coffee. I'm having a grape soda right now. I decided against it because I don't want to be having to get up and go to the bathroom. I want to be able to, want to, be able to enjoy dynamite. Be able to enjoy this shit without having to do that shit. All right, what is that? Ooh, that looks good, actually. Popeyes has some new wings. Oh, for six dollars. Honey lemon wings. Oh, that sounds good. Shit, man. My damn puncher hose ain't got me thinking about fucking deep fried turkey. The Big Bang Theory the Big Bang has Theory's a reputation of helping AEW get their ratings. Well, let's oh, see what they Bang start Theory. off with tonight. Oh, here we go. Here we, here we. Looks like Moxley. <coughs> Is that Moxley? It's been a couple weeks since we've seen him, I think. Yep, John Moxley. Okay, excellent. Schmidt says he'll pop in when my smoker is ready. Nice. Oh, no, don't start doing this to us tonight. Paid $100 for this thing. This channel worked great. Except for fucking wrestling now. To hell. There's John Box. Ladies and gentlemen, the plumber. He's coming out. He's got a belt, of course. His company just has a million people with belts. This belt isn't even a belt for this company. Tony, you're a jokester. You're a toy player. You're a wannabe lawyer like Barkley. 
pretty uh it's a pretty decent crowd for uh well the lower deck yeah. anyway no no i'll give it that Probably yeah. about, I, I, I would go I'd go on a limb and say there's probably about 5,000 people there. I'm going to go out on a limb, though, and say no one's in that upper deck, unfortunately. Oh, no, that upper deck's blocked off. But, I mean, maybe they didn't sell the upper deck. They got the lower section filled tonight. Good to see. I mean, that's, you know, that's good on them, like if they can, especially if they can keep the camera off the upper deck. Do that WWE shit. Fans look like they're happy to see Moxley. What arena are they? Plumber in? Moxley is the drizzling shit, says the wise dog. Yeah. yeah. He looks like he's gaining some weight. Though. We have lots. He looks so damn thin like before. I don't know what's wrong. He looked like he was fucking anemic or something. Hey, talk about someone that gained some weight. Did you see Seamus? Yeah, he looked like he put on a couple pounds. Yeah, I watched oh, uh, Raw. Good to see him back. Jeez. He looked like a hot air look, balloon. Look, at, what do you think of this? AEW with a wrestler with a belt that doesn't even go to this company. <laughs> I actually like that belt he's got for the yeah. Japanese belts. That one's actually not bad. But yeah, they, they, it's not their belt for their company. It's like Tony Khan loves it when people have belts. Everybody's got a belt. But none of us wrestle like, oh, he says his show's about wrestling. No, they wrestle in tag matches or they'll be in a squash. He's afraid to beat anyone. That's why everyone has a belt. And Tony, I've been watching and I'm getting sick of it. I'm wearing my Luchasaurus mask through this whole show, says the wise dog. Uh, your boy Moxley, the plumber. I wonder if I should put the. Let me put the earpiece in so you guys can have sound. We'll hear what this idiot's saying. All right, there you guys go. You can hear Moxley. The plumber! Earpiece in! To get a feel of the crowd, to get a feel of Moxley's promo. Moxley says his message to the world is kiss my ass and watch me. Quit cheering this plumber. This is a fraud chant. The IWGP Championship. A belt that Barkley has never held. The You Deserve It chance have sprung out. God. Do you of see the course. belt? Are you watching, Barkley? Hell no. You're not watching? All right, I'm looking. That looks like a fucking women's title, bro. That looks like the Divas title. The one that Alicia Fox held. Damn right, I never held that belt. <laughs> that belt sucks. <laughs> Damn. It looks like the fucking pink Divas title from 15 years ago. You know what I'm talking about. Same shape. This guy sucks. Surprised he's not bleeding yet. Well, when you're choking on your own blood, <laughs> shades of Barkley. Bye. <laughs> That's what AEW is about. What a weirdo, man. 
PWO shirts. I never did a WO. Did you see that? Yep. Those guys are wearing BWO shirts. AEW, AEW. Okay, the upper, upper deck is completely tarped off. You could just see it in that camera shot there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Moxley's calling out Don Callis. It's like a pot calling the kettle black right here. He just called Don Callis a creep. John Moxley, you're a creep, bro. Whoa! You ain't shit! Look at that late. Oh, so, you know what I saw the other day, Barkley? Mm -hmm. Guess who was sitting behind Triple H and Stephanie at the Hall of Fame? Ooh. I'll give you a hint. This motherfucker was not only sitting behind Triple H and Stephanie... He was wearing his fucking flag on his fucking shirt. No way. Trinidad. Are you serious? Look it up. Go to like triple scenes of the Triple H Stephanie He's part. And they show yeah. her. And there's a part where they're all clapping and Trinidad's right behind them. Flagged up. Like right behind him? Dude, at least maybe, maybe, maybe one row or two. He could have gave Triple H dap. If Triple H wow. wanted to reach out, I wonder. Hey, I wonder if he's got juice with the company because I'm pretty sure that like those first three rows of seats are reserved for WWE like friends and family. Well, I mean, he was probably like maybe two rows behind, but he was in the camera. If you yeah, shine yeah. the camera on Triple H, if you could see him, you're close to me. Wow. Because I saw Austin Theory. And you know, you know, he didn't plan that. He just happened to have that seat, and that's where Triple H and Stephanie happened to be. Good, hey, Trinidad hit the lotto on that one. So that explains why we probably didn't see him at Mania because he was at SmackDown and then he was at the Hall of Fame thing. Well, he was probably at Mania. He probably just didn't have his typical seat. Yeah. Um, That's hilarious. He had his fucking Trinidad flag right behind Triple H. Triple H should have turned around and been like, hey, man, why don't you put on a wrestling shirt? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, guys. So I, uh, I just looked, uh, did some research. They are at the Indiana Falls. I the Indiana Falls Coliseum in Indianapolis. They're in, in, they're in Indy? Indy? Reverend, your your shit's breaking up, man. It sounds like you're talking underwater. Nope, can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Yeah, can now, you hear me? Now, yeah, now we can hear you. Where are they? I was sitting there watching. They're in they're in uh, Indianapolis. Mm. They're at the uh, Indiana Farmers. Uh, they're at the Farmers Coliseum. Um, is, that, is that where the Pacers play? No, this is like the ice hockey. Oh. Uh, it's an ice hockey arena. Okay, it's it says that the seating capacity, upper and lower deck, is 65. Oh, wait a minute. There Robert, she is. Here's Sasha. Hold on. Here's Mercedes Monet. She looks like crap. I'm not going to lie to you. Why don't we hear the crowd going nuts? Whoa, she said, she said bitch. I don't I don't think the fans are liking her because wouldn't you be cheering? <laughs> WWE girl. You better do something or hit somebody, Mercedes, because you're starting to stink up gorilla like Tony Khan. Mm -hmm. You're starting to smell up. Yeah, I might love you like I love goddamn uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. But you better start doing shit. Monet. What the fuck was that? 
Boy, if I were Tony Khan's dad, I would be fucking living right now. Are you paid fucking ten million dollars for that shit? Hey, it would be interesting if uh, AJ Styles got to fight Cody Rhodes because he fought Dusty Rhodes for the NWA title. Look at look at Biker Edge. Yeah. yeah. How the mighty have fallen, but Edge, I still love you. He said he's only got like a year and a half left. So, so let me finish what I was saying. So they are in um, they're in Indianapolis Farmers Coliseum. The maximum seating cap capacity, it says it is a 6,500 seat building, but that is with upper and lower decks. So they don't even have 3,000 people there. No, he has not, BC. They don't even have 3,000 people there. That's crazy. Because the upper deck is blocked off. Man. But the, that, that capacity doesn't factor in for what they can put on the floor, Reverend. It only counts seats. Edge comes across as a they man who's have, getting paid very well. They probably have between 2,500 and 3,000 there. <laughs> Because you can you can generally get between five hundred and a thousand on that floor when you know when they cover the ice. Oh, oh she was attacked, Reverend. Her partner, their partner was attacked. Who the fuck is this? Willow Nightingale was attacked. Fucking Nia Jax or what? No, it's Willow Nightingale. She reminds me of the female version of Dusty Rhodes. No, she ain't bad. So he's just, gonna, that's what he's, I was just saying. If uh, if AJ Styles, he's never he's never fought Cody Rhodes, but if he gets the chance to fight Cody Rhodes, I think he'd be the only person that's fought Cody and Dusty. Here we go. Lights are out. House of Black on Dynamite. We've called for it. Even though uh, our boy Malachi Black and Buddy Murphy are barely on it. Wait a minute. Brody King. Brody King from behind. He just attacked a rated R superstar. I can't believe it. I can't believe this. And there's Jesus, there's one of my of favorite. There's one of my favorite parts of the House of Black. Uh what what's her name? Katie Harder. This guy has probably spent a thousand hours in the tattoo chair. That's insane. They, should, they needed to use him more than they do. I like Brody King. A lot of ink. Him and fucking Eddie Kingston should have a fucking like Jenny Craig on a pole match or something. <laughs> Barking like boy. Rick Steiner. Wait a minute. Brody King. Oh, shades of Kevin Owens. This is wrestling. This is wrestling. <laughs> Wise Dog says I'm putting the whole PWO on notice. The next time Spaghetti is on the mattress. It will be cleaned up, not just mattress flipped over. I don't know if Wise Dog was here yesterday to find out that that story, unfortunately, well. <laughs> that story didn't age well. We are the lives. Are you there, Reverend? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, Miguel. I don't know why, why y'all can't hear me when I'm watching the damn thing. Bossman is probably out lying somewhere. That fucking liar says BC. Damn. <laughs> liar! He's probably at a Mexican restaurant, I would imagine. That motherfucker says Mexican is bullet. He's as, he's as Mexican as bowling is Filipino. <laughs> I love the scissor me. Pablo, go lay down. I'll let you out. Go lay down. Ready? BK, have it your way. 
You rule. Uh, oh, four, four more Burger King commercials and we might lose Reverend. Nah, I'm not. <laughs> He's gonna go make a run. I'm not much for Burger King, man. It's, uh, the shaman says everyone is cussing out Boss Man and Fatal is in here. <laughs> boss Man! Boss Man! Boss Man! Boss Man! Boss Man! We not want Boss Man! We want Boss Man! Liar! You know, it comes down to the Jim Cricks of the world and the boss mans. As far as I'm concerned, you could lie all you want. You could wipe that dribble off your lip, get out of that dark room and clean that damn blanket that smells like a goddamn piss transaction. Don't miss your opportunity to witness golf history at Pinehurst Number 2 this June at the 124th U.S. Open, Reverend. Tickets are on sale now. <coughs> I'll probably have to work that way. <coughs> um, Tolliver says, we'll be on I'm day. over burger in New York, bad service, and bad franchise owners. Michigan Mike says, Barkley, I'd be fat if I lived out by you. I don't know if I'd ever get yeah. sick of in and out Boy! Yeah, I, I don't like in and out at all. I think they're overrated. Uh, Mountain Timer was in here last night. God bless the Mountain Timer. He's currently in the middle of a relationship, strong one. He's doing well. He's spending lots of money on her, and other than that, it's going well. <laughs> Hopefully, we get an update. <laughs> Hopefully, that chicken shit will pop into Discord once again and reclaim his goddamn throne that he goddamn left. BC says, shout out to Punch. He's on a plane to the UK right now, according to Barkley's itinerary. <laughs> According to Barclays Cookbook, Punch should be in Thailand right about now, but he doesn't leave until next week. I don't know why he didn't come back in. He's active, I, I, he's active in the Facebook chat, so he's probably coming back. I should have booked Punch's trip. I'd have saved him some damn money, probably. Should have had Poland do it. Or at least book his hotel. I remember that time I was trying to help Punch find a ticket to damn... Fucking uh, to go see the Green Bay Packers. Not wanting to do it, man. I told him I'd save him some money. He flew in on a if the game was on a on a Sunday. If he flew in on a Thursday and then left on a Tuesday. Julia Hart, looking great. Wait a minute, that goes out a couple for the top rope. I can't believe it. What up, JP? What up, JP? How are you guys doing today? Good. Live on YouTube. Oh, oh, no. No. Uh, Q9 Shaman says, Rev, have you ever thought about getting into the hotel booking industry? <laughs> Do they still do people still do? I thought that was all online. Uh, Tolliver says Mountain Timer likes to flip chick a lot. Yeah. You gotta keep flipping out here. He's doing good, says Sean Smith. Shout out to Sean Smith, shout out to Michigan Mike, shout out to Don Kenich, Lord Wah, the Twisted Sisters, everybody from the Herb Sif Siflix 10 en Enterprises. Hopefully Fatal will be in tonight. All right, can you hear me? Yep, yep. All right, so I don't know where I can do it. 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 I
Oh, I mean, yeah, drew, yeah. Drew, drew, drew the heart. Will, Will Nightingale got attacked before the match. Yeah. Oh. Sounding muffled, Reverend. What does Edge regret his decision of coming to the company? You think he's regretting it as he, look, as he looks out at those hundreds of people? Fuck, man. Is this rain fucking my shit up? Have a good night, good Michigan, night, Mike. Mike. See you later, Mike. I don't, know can, I don't know if he can hit him straight or not. Have a good night, brother. <laughs> I'm going to try, Mike. Have a good night, brother. Hey, uh, did, did you watch Phil today at all, Pesci? He's playing yeah. Elden Ring, right? Did he finish Elden Ring? He fucking sucks at that game, man. I don't even like watching him play Elden Ring. He's awful. Really? Dude, and it's, dude, he's like, it's crazy as this. He's beaten a game before, and he'll say things like, I don't remember this, or like, shit like, oh, what, what's this? Or, like, it's almost like, Dude, you don't mem like I could see all the enemies in my head in an area that you're like I don't remember this. You know, it's just he sucks. All right, guys. If, if you were wondering, yes, Willow Nightingale has finally come back out. She is in the ring. She just <laughs> did a uh, su she just did a damn uh, whatever the fuck that damn thing a cross body block. About time, um, Robert. Damn, she just did something on Brody King. A little man on woman action. I like it. What, what's with that move, though? It, it's like the most popular move right now, that running and like... Julia Harlow hit her with Brody King's chain. Look at Julia Hart. Sexier than ever. God, do I love her. The house always wins. She probably weighs 85 pounds soaking wet. Oh, here she comes. The C. E. O. They're chanting CEO. Punch said he'll be back in. No one's going to bring it Speak into the microphone, Rev. Speak into the microphone, Rev. Get your goddamn shit together, man. Mm. Your goddamn equipment's hokey. Imagine me a Barclays headphones. I don't understand why it, when I'm when I'm watching the fucking thing, y'all can't hear me. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. Mercedes drops the chair, and I feel like booing this bullshit. Do something. That's some hokey bullshit. Have her fight, Tony. Her fucking whole month she's been here smells like gorilla to me. And we all know how gorilla smells in your company. You uh, shitbag. Pesci. Uh, breaking news. The Toronto Raptors' Jonte Porter has received a lifetime ban from the NBA for gambling. Damn. 
24 years old. Look, she's Fancy dressed like Moxley. You goddamn trick. Quit <laughs> tricking. You got your job because you were tricking the Tony. John Smells like Porter. Gorilla. John T. Porter banned from NBA for gambling on games, giving info to bettors, and, limit and limiting play for betting purposes. He gone. That's crazy that they caught him up too, because I mean, like, they have to, like, they have to like prove that, like, they have like footage of him like skimming games. You know, like that's six foot ten power forward and center is the brother of Denver Nuggets sharpshooter Michael Porter Jr. <laughs> and has spent most of his pro career in the G League. Played twenty six games this season. The NBA said its investigation... Oh, so the Warriors, Warriors are out of the playoffs then? Yeah, they, they got fucking demolished last night. Clay had fucking zero points, bro. He gone. He gone. in Orlando. How do you know he's going to Orlando? That's what Punch said. Hmm. That's who we play on Saturday. So I, I, I don't know. I know this. I will be watching the Cavs game. The NBA said in its investigation that Porter had engaged in widespread gambling. He allegedly disclosed confidential information about his own health status to an individual he knew to be an NBA better ahead of a March 20th game. An $80,000 online bet was placed ahead of that game that he would underperform, which would have paid out $1.1 million. Well, that's crazy, because it still has to be, like, offshore or some shit, because, like, even, like, any major bet, like, phone betting service, they, they'll show if, like, a player's not playing, you know, like, it'll be, like, yeah. it's, like, still using a real book, you know, I mean, that's, cr that's crazy, you know, but... Ladies and gentlemen, NBA playoffs this week. You better wake up, Cavs. You better not do that bullshit, Donovan Mitchell. I'm on my way out of here and get blown out just so he can say see ya. Because this is going to be the last chance we compete at anything. We're always jokes. So we might as well just joke up this year and become no kicks and beat Orlando and go in there. No, we got one shot. We win. W-I-N-E, win. Four and a half is the spread for that game. Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame next year before he dies and before more comes out. Are you there, Reverend? <laughs> what else? You stinking up gorilla. What else you smell is like Barkley. What do we know about? What do we not know about Pete Rose? He doesn't tip or something. I mean, what, what this point was. He said before more comes out. Hey, like Bolin said, I love you, but I can't afford it. Yeah, you sick bitch. That just showed your whole hand right there, Kenny. That was great. That you was exposed great. yourself. Oh, Bob saw that because that was worth enough tears to fucking dry up a goddamn Seuss manure. Mm -hmm. Hey, Coltrane, did you message Bob yet? All these gamblers are going to make him look like a saint. They already did. These leagues are in bed with gambling now. DraftKings, this. In your face. They're in bed with the devil. Why Pete Rose has to sit there with a dry palm and some fucking cheap trick traveling around with him. I mean, I'm pretty sure Pete Rose does all right. But yeah, not as much as he probably should be making. And all right, POJ. He was fucking charging $150 fucking dollars for an autograph last time I seen him, so he's doing all right, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Pete Rose, uh, an autograph bat was... Uh, or, or what was if, you're in, if you're in Vegas, I know it's cheaper than on the internet, but... Remember when Bob? Remember when Bolin said he was going to give Bob one of his one of those Pete Rose signed bats that Pesci sent him? He Did still he? hasn't. 
He still hasn't sent it yet. He said it like two how, weeks ago. He how do you like know that? Weeks. Because he uh, said two weeks ago that he thought he finally figured out how to ship the bat to him. So it's taken him like three months to figure out how to ship a baseball bat. Why don't you just ship it to Bob the way Pesci shipped it to you, you dumb fuck? No, you gotta find the ship cheapest way possible. You know, find a dead animal, send it, say it's like animal getting cremated. You know, that's what I'm saying. Bowen never, never appreciated Bob the way he should, and that's why I hope Bob doesn't come back. You know, I don't think he appreciates shit. You know, but he still hasn't sent him that fucking baseball bat. You know, he re he re gifts. Pesci's <laughs> gift to him, and then he doesn't even send it for three months. A loser, man. Here's Okada. Oh my God, Tony oh. Khan's on! Hey, you fucking guy, thief! You're a hey, goddamn you crook! Get you that crook that off my television! They're Tony, at Gorilla. You, you, you know the whole the goddamn room gorilla. smells like shit right now. They're at Gorilla. Ironically, what does that mean to you? Listen to him talk. Yeah, he, he, he speaks good English. You are a dead man. <laughs> oh, no. His, his English is comes, too slow to get into him. Oh, it comes no. From China. China. Let's go. All right. Oh, my God. Tony is such a fucking weirdo, man. Let's go. Thank you, beautiful. <laughs> They got new music. Nick and Matthew Jackson got new music. Thank you, sweetheart. I miss you. Good morning. Oh, look, they're doing oh, the they, Cody they, entrance. They, hey, and they go. They don't even come through the tunnel. They have their own entrance. No, that's Cody. Cody used to do that. That was Cody. Shit. What they're get, what, what this gimmick's supposed to be? You know, it's like weird pirates. I don't know. No, they're they're they're, they're, they're the EVPs. Did you hear um, did you executive hear vice president? Did you hear Cornette talking about them, uh, Kenny Omega? Like he did that interview where he was talking about how how the yeah EVPs, I saw the I saw the Omega interview. How they have like no real power and it's all just like a fucking just a, like a storyline position or whatever. Fucking Tony Khan runs everything. I wonder if they're chaining CM Punk and they're blocking it out. Probably not that good. Okada got a little bit of a pop. He better as much as they're fucking paying him. This guy's a badass. Uh, Cornette called him the Japanese Cody. I like this guy a lot. Yeah, he's good. I just wish he could speak a little bit better. I like, they need to I like his, speak Japanese. I like his nickname too, the Rainmaker. That's look at that yeah. looks like uh, in Yakuza when you throw the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy's too good for AEW. Look how much bigger he is than the Bucks. He's like a foot taller than them. <laughs> well, that's why, I mean, he's Okada, man. I mean, the dude has a shot. Roman fears Osprey. That sign made their waves. Yeah, right. What is this fucking Mulvaney ass? Oh my interest? god, Daniel Garcia. I hate that stupid dance. What a dweeb. I like his shirt though. Yeah, that's not a bad shirt. Oh no, he's he's representing the dance now. Oh, they're doing the dance on his shirt. Oh, here comes my boy. 
formerly known as Pentagon Dark in Lucha Underground. He's had many different names, but I'm a big fan of this guy. Penta El Zero Miedo. If Tony Khan was smart, he would turn the bike over to a committee with a veterans like Jake, JR, Jerry Lynn, etc., or hire Cornette or Heyman. Yeah, right. Nah. Cornette ain't go- Cornette's not going there. I think WCW showed us what booking by committee turn in the modern era will, will look like. It's got to be one person. Here comes the bastard Pac. Here's a man who went against Orange Cassidy in his first match ever that I thought was a great Orange Cassidy match, and since then his matches have been all downhill. <laughs> they have been. Pockets. pockets. All pockets. The, po- the, the pockets versus pocket match was great. I'm not going to lie. And the crowd was into it. That was a while ago. That was before COVID. So what happened was they had that match. COVID hit. Pockets was never the same. For me. One of the best AEW matches I ever saw to this day was that ladder match that Cody Rhodes and Sammy Guevara had for the TNT title. Nobody's hiring Johnny A. Schmidt. (laughs) Schmidt's been drinking. Okada going to open up the ring first. Here we go. So you're going to get to see a brief preview of Dynasty right here. Is this 3v2? Oh, it's 3v3. Okay. Hey, you beautiful RA. Pop with the super kick party kids. This is according to Dave Meltzer eight months ago. Young Bucks with their contract extension are now the highest paid tag Hello, team Ed. in the highest paid tag team in pro wrestling history with the biggest amount of guaranteed Thank you, money. Sweetheart. And that would include contracts for Nash and Hall. Shout out to Ann Duel, man. Well, that's oh, the Zero Miro chat starting. They, they can't do anything by themselves, though, either. You know, it's like this. They're, uh, they're a conglomerate. You know? So that's going to be a trend you hear about AEW. The highest paid guaranteed money. <laughs> the Young Bucks are making more than Nash and Hall made in WCW. That was 25 years ago, Mark. They're EVPs, yeah, they though, Barkley. They, they were making a million and a half a year, weren't they? Not like that, probably. Yeah. yeah. Money went Because they, they had that, uh, what was that thing, that favored nations clause. They had to yeah. be the highest paid. That money went a lot further back then than it does now, man. Million but you just, said, you just said yourself, Pesci, that they're, they're EVPs in name only, according to Omega. I said that. Hmm. Danny Garcia in the ring, one of Puncho's favorites. I guess they probably do sell way more merchandise than Hall and Nash. But yeah, you got to think like TV views though, because I mean that was that was when TV like. You think they sold? You think they sold more merch than? And Hall it was Nash? harder to order that. shirts when Hall and Nash were there. You couldn't just order a shirt. You had to do it on the phone. It was much harder to just get I mean, delivery like shirts you wanted. Nash, like, which I wish I could find that shirt. Here's that. Like I, I don't think I don't think the Bucks have sold more merch than the NWO has. Do you? No, no, no. That's that's different. You know, I'm talking about Hall and Nash. You know, the, 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 those NWO shirts. People like, have bootlegged for that at a time. Are they going? To people are still buying NWO shirts. Yeah. yeah. The book, and I, I think only... WWE still sells them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, definitely. The, the Bucks maybe only have like probably a half a million like true fans that are like their fans that like hang on to their shit and stuff like that, man. 
I still Fucking see people. I still see people walking around in Bullet Club shirts all the time. They sold that shit at the mall. I mean, they had, uh... Yeah, they sold it at Hot Topic. You're right. They sold Bullet Club at Hot Topic. Which not to say that I mean they sold NWO. They sold you know Austin shirts at the mall. I mean I think an all like, bootleg Austin shirt. They talk about you're gonna see till the end of time. You know, three sixteen. You know. Bastard White sure, Dawes sure. says I consider Barkley an EVP. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, still to come tonight, Orange Cassidy will be going against Sean Taylor Promotions. One of Reverend Robbins' favorite factions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pesci, Pesci loves that Sean Taylor Promotions stable. He's big on them. And Shane? Yeah, Whatever. it's probably Shane. I don't even know who the hell he is, to be honest. Uh, uh, honest Rev here would like to say I have no idea who that fucking John Taylor promotion shit is at all. I've never heard of it. This is my first time hearing it. Hey, this is a shop that get in trouble for later on where people be like, oh, I, I get grouped in with this. You know? <laughs> Claudio will be going against Osprey then. That's not a bad dynamite match. Funny it's funny that they'll have Claudio go in a singles match in a match that he has to lose. Like, we couldn't have built him up. We couldn't have had a couple singles matches and see him win. This is what we're talking about, Tony. This is why when people walk into Gorilla, before they say, hi, Tony, they say, what's that smell? It's you. <laughs> fucking stinking up Gorilla. Feces and all. Pissing. Stinking. I didn't know they could stack shit that high, you know? You know, I don't understand why people like the the, the wrestlers complain about AEW. They're making a fucking fortune, man. Schmidt said uh, Rev is too busy on Grinder to watch wrestling. Get in here, Schmidt. We need you for the final hour. I mean, he, that that's why he's getting a divorce, huh? <laughs> what is a Grinder? Like a power tool? What are you talking it's about? A, it's a gay dating app. Well, why would I be on that for? Well, I think they're I implying that you're gay. I don't know. I don't you tell know. us, Reverend. I didn't even know what Grinder was either. I didn't know what fucking Grinder was. I thought you were talking about a damn sander or something like that. It's it's the gay version of Tinder. Being a, mach a machinist, you know, working at a. I have no problem at all with gay people. I'm men attractive, so that's not I'm not homosexual. No, I'm not on there. Mm -hmm. Why does he have the microphone, Rev? What? What? Why is he doing announcing why he has the microphone? I don't get it. He's, he's calling the match. Apparently, the Young Bucks have a microphone in the ring as they're wrestling. He's doing commentary. Classic rock angle. A couple of other people have done that before. Hello, Widowmaker. Shivani just said he's out of his mind. <laughs> How is, who is, is that Nick or Matt? Which one is that? That's Matt um, in the room. Okay, why is he, how is he so dark? Is that like just... Tanning, spray is, tan. Did they just pour tanning on him? Spray tan. They're famous for it. Oh, it's gotta I'm be. not even joking. They're famous for spray tanning. Oh, man. He is darker than shit, man. They Young spray tan before you, you every... You can't tell the difference, you know. They spray tan, like, all the time. No joke. I spray tanned when I was in college. I'm not going to lie. Pop running it. Here he goes, taking out the young fucks, the Cucamonga kids. Penta L is zero on the outside. And Alex, the translator, is with them. Danny Garcia trying to get his breath back. Pac with a suplex. Shades of Tiffy time. He's calling Okada, the Rainmaker, the Jap Taker.
Here we go, Okada bringing him up. The Japanese sensation. Here comes Okada. It's real interesting, Jake. Straight yeah, out of Plaza. I guess that these, uh, you know, it was first it was Shohei's translator and now Porter. The leagues are cracking down on gambling, I guess. I, I, how tall do you think Pack is? Like five two, five three? No. Oh, like five six, probably. You know, five six, five eight. I, I'm thinking O'Connor's got a foot on him. He's well, fucking. The Bucks are the Bucks are five nine, so. Mm. Yeah, I imagine mean, Okada. I imagine Okada's probably six, like maybe six, right? Because like he's like pretty big. He's pretty big for a Japanese guy, you know, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. There it is. Penta's got Okada. Who is the guy on AW that is dressed up like Bullet's living room colors? That's uh, used to be called <laughs> Pentagon Dark in uh, Lucha Underground, but now he's Penta Lazero or some shit. Oh, it's good. He looks like an accent piece at Bullets. <laughs> He's actually not that bad. I actually like him. Way more than Danny oh, Garcia. I, I've seen him on an indie uh, show. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okada's 6'4", 235. That's, that's pretty good. Jesus. Wow. That's like, he's like a fucking football player. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. I'm he's a goddamn free safety. You still got it! What? You still got it! Losers! Fucking marks. This is awesome! Oh my god. What? What's awesome? Look how big Okada is. Yeah. Godzilla. Sean Smith said Godzilla. <laughs> oh no! There goes Tokyo! B -b 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 -boss man. Roman fears Osprey made the airwaves. Get this fuck out of here, bro. I, in a shoot fight, I have no problem believing that Roman Reigns would kick the shit out of Will Osprey, bro. It's a goddamn tribal chief. He was in here earlier when he was bowling. So this, so Wikipedia says that fucking Pack is five ten. There's no fucking way he's five ten. He's like five six. Wait a minute, Garcia whacking away on Okada. Okada's been taking the elbows all night. Okada looks like Garcia is the one that's gonna take the pin in this match. Here's the guy that's gonna take the pin. And he's he's advertising. Garcia's here to take the pin. And I'm the same I'm size the same as him, like in red, like red, flat red, shoes, flat you know. Like, I mean, like... So it I told exaggerate. you, no, Garcia crazy. was putting this match to take the pin. Here we go. Wait a minute, Tombstone. Okada does tombstones. Another Very Tombstone. Well, now, and, and Lucha, and Lucha Libre is because they do tombstones a lot more frequently. Look, they don't even drop him on the head at all, which they shouldn't. But what's funny is, J JP uh, Kevin Nash Super Kick Party, party. Super oh, Kick Party, <laughs> Super uh, Kick. I think he was like legitimate, uh, like five. I think I said he was like six, like uh, six eleven. And he said after his knee surgery, he's like six seven. I mean, I think I think the Hulk Hogan's definitely like document where it's like he's like fucked up his back so much, where he's shrunk in size, you know, like, he, he like where your like back, your back's so like uh, degenerated, you know. The, the, the there we go. They decided the to go Barkley yeah. on him. Yeah, I, I think I think it was what he was like six seven before, and he's like six three now or something like that. Like he's he's lost a lot of inches because his back. Tombstone is, is one of his main moves, says Sean Smith. Because he was like, you know, those rings were concrete. Oh my, like the back, and those fucking rings were so hard. And he was like landing directly on his hip and his ass every single night, man. Yeah, jump up in the air and sit down on your ass and just hit the ground. Yeah, 
I'll tell you this though, flop. when Dynamite first started, they were getting people in the second balcony. Fans. Sure. When they were the new kids on the block, everybody wanted to see what was going on. Now we've seen their one trick pony and the people have stopped showing up. Really also, it's not like the WWE thing where you gotta like bring in these stars. Like, what, what is the point of what they're doing right now? Okada and Daniel Garcia are not gonna have a feud, are they? What is the point of this? Huh? Tony Schiavone said somebody stop this right now. You're gonna waste Okada on beating up Daniel Garcia? Oh, there you go. Hogan's Maybe had the booking. Hogan's had ten back surgeries, two. Knee replacements, not one, not not one time with both knees, but two times with both knees, and he's had three hip replacements. Wow. Uh, Bastard Wise Dog says Daniel Garcia is just a Von Dongo wannabe. <laughs> Dirty Dango at, at TNA, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God! Up next. Barkley's favorite wrestler, Chris Jericho, will be with Hook. Lion Hook tonight. Let's go. Finally, a name I recognize. He's going to sing with his shitty-ass band. Do you think Jericho will ever go into the WWE Hall of Fame? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like 10 years from now, if he's still alive, AEW's probably not going to be around anymore. Yeah. I'll make sure I'm at that at that Hall of Fame. I'll go to that one. You won't get Trinidad seeds. Because Jer Jericho's my he's, he's a function. You won't get punk. Trinidad. No, you won't. He's still like a bruiser. You know? Those are yeah, probably I mean, Jer those are a pretty penny. Yeah, for Jericho, I would sp I would spend it. It's still SmackDown. It's probably a five hundred dollar ticket. For for Jericho, for Jericho, I'm talking Hall about. Where fucking uh, Trinidad was sitting, you're not getting that seat. It's available. Yeah, right. Take a picture of that price of that ticket. For for him, <laughs> for him, I would uh, I would spend like that. <clears throat> like you said, he's my favorite. Well, shit, if you want to spend your life savings on a Trinidad ticket, God bless you. Yeah, what do I look like, Boston? That's not my life savings. Jesus. That dude probably owns a store in Akbar where they sell tobacco and he's just cleaning millions. Who said a store in Akbar? Where is Akbar? In Trinidad. Zanzibar? Jericho will ruin Hook just like everyone else works with. Boo! Wise dog, that's not true. Maybe he's had a couple stinkers, and that's because of Tony. That's because of Tony's booking in Gorilla. He books this shit in Gorilla, and he stinks up the spot. You want to smell something foul? You want to remember what your fucking diaper smelled like? Go into AEW's Gorilla, and you'll Check get a nice taste. You'll get some lip service. Boss man has a TV repair shop in Akbar. <laughs> Zenith. Mm. Motherfucker was motherfucker was married to two Mexican women, and he arguably knows the least Spanish that I have ever seen a guy that was married to two Mexican ladies know. Meaning his Mexican ain't shit, his English ain't great. He smells like <laughs> Tony Khan's gorilla. <laughs> I could smell him. I, hey, I could smell him from up here, bro. He's all the way at the bottom of the state, and I can still smell him. It's the Thriller and Manila gorilla. Oh, they're in Indiana tonight. Yeah, uh, Rev said that already. Oh, I'm surprised fucking uh, JP's not there. Oh, I'm not that close to it. I'm not that close because I'm sure where did they're not Gary. I mean, they're probably oh god. Look what music he's coming out to. Gary, Indiana, the home of Michael Jackson. They're probably Look real quick. Or like uh, probably the Kentucky side almost. You know. 
Jericho's coming out to his Lionheart music. No, they're in, they're in indie, JP. Yeah, so that's not really close. The, that's not close at the AHL arena. Jericho's coming out to his Lionheart music. Not as Bro, much of an ovation he, as he used to get. Is that ring gear that he's wearing, or is he just going to cut a promo? He doesn't look like he's wearing tights. No, he's not wrestling, I don't think. No, but, oh. but you, you can tell he definitely bought the copyright for like, this like Lionheart gimmick. Like, the, like, or he wants to merchandise it. You know, I don't know if they really do it or not, but... Weird until he bought he bought he bought like the licensing to do like the it's weird because the only other place he ever used that character was in mexico yeah that's what i mean but i think that's how they try to gimmick it where it's like he comes out this character he's got face like the young guys you know like it's like if you've never Uh seen ladies and gentlemen you know what that signal means it's time if for Hulk. Never, uh, if you've never seen his matches as line art in mexico jp definitely go watch those man uh, Frank said, here's how bad AEW is. I live in Indianapolis and never heard or saw that they were in town. There you go. Where, where do you live at, Nandy? Do you live in Indianapolis, JP? Oh, Chicago. Oh, in Chicago. I hate that they let him carry this belt around that means nothing. He's coming out to the ring looking like Justin Bieber also. I don't know what the what the outfit's about. I hate that they let him fucking carry this belt around like it means something in this company. Hey Frank, what's the what's the weather like in Indy today? Should he be wearing a fucking hoodie? Yeah, because it's a little <laughs> it's probably the same weather as us. And I'm feeling the wind from outside, and it feels like I can put a jacket on. I thought she said the same leather as okay, us. I was okay. like, what the fuck? You? Yeah, I'm not doubting that. It's... The bastard wise dog said, is Hook carrying the 24-7 belt? <laughs> That's what some, like. And some ECW shit. <laughs> Look, he's eating chips or something. That belt means as much as the belt The Rock got from the Ali family that he carried at Mania. <laughs> I bet you the, the People's Championship that The Rock got is worth more than the belt that Hook has because it came from Ali. Oh, he said right now it's 65 degrees. It was windy. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't need to be wearing a fucking beanie when it's... He's our Deshaun Watson over here. It's probably a part of the a hockey rink, probably. Season's over. They melted the ice. Chris Jericho's called himself the learning tree. Get in here, Schmidt. He should have called himself the earth tree. That motherfucking <laughs> reverend fell asleep. No, I did I'm wide awake right here. Smile on my face and a song in my heart. Hey. I'm actually making. So they were about to have a hoot, hoot nanny. Making some French fries. Diet French fries. Don't anybody worry about it. <laughs> Diet French fries. Jericho says he wants them both to get to the top of Wizard Mountain. Jericho bets on wrestling, says Sean Smith. Listen to my pearls of wisdom, says the wise dog. Uh, Shout out to the 14 in the build. Can you call air fried french fries uh, diet french fries? <laughs> Wait a minute. What is Hook so. eating? Is he eating? What he's up, Godzo? Oh, he's got, his, he's got his chips that he always has. Pretzels or something. He's always got like Doritos, right? Oh, uh, Hook no, is no, eating no, pretzels, no. disrespecting Chris Jericho right now. Fuck you, Gonzo. I haven't said that in a while. Yeah, Frank says they are Indiana one. Farmers Coliseum, a 6,500-seat indoor multi-use arena located on the Indiana State Fairgrounds in, in Indianapolis. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I told Hulk him that. I think Hulk is eating gummy bears, says the wise dog. It's, um, and they got the upper <clears throat> blocked off, so there's probably only about 3,000 people there. Now Tony Khan's talking about signing the Bella Twins. Only 30 people there. I'll, I'll give them that. They're, it, it, it looks fuller than what it is. But ah, there's, you know. I mean, a, a good good camera crew can make a fucking Wait a minute. Very minimal Jericho's getting in Taz's you know, face. That's how the, your, good your cam, cam, camera crew is, you know. Jericho is, is starting a problem with Taz. Which is sad because they got all that star power and they couldn't sell out that building. Like that's uh, Chris Jericho told Hook he's not as good as he thinks he is. Wait a minute! Jericho just pushed Taz. That was an oversell. Oh, they're chanting you fucked up you on TBS. Ah, hey, TBS, blurb that. <laughs> Anywhere. Now get out of my rig. <laughs> Get him! You pushed his dad, you piece of shit, washed up has been. <laughs> you goddamn wannabe lawyer. He was, uh. <laughs> w was he talking with his mouth full? What the fuck was that? Gummy bears. I don't, I don't like Hook, but. Like, the the whole Jericho the pushing Taz thing, that was a little bit. Like, why did he even push him, though? It made no sense. Taz wasn't doing pretty, anything. Taz took a pretty good bump there, though, for a man of, for a man of his age. What's up, John? There, there he is. I was here a few minutes ago when I had to back out. The Crib Keeper. Hey, uh, Pesci, I got a response from Rave. Because I'd sent him a message last night, said, hey, if you're around, Pesci has a question for you. So his response was that if you had a question, you could go through the proper channel. I was like, damn, dude, It'll be so formal. So, yeah, I guess uh, I, I shouldn't have messaged on your behalf. Probably not. I just don't know what the big deal was. <laughs> uh, como estas, el jefe? You're a choke You're artist, a choke. Swerve. El jefe, you gonna ignore me? Who is this, Who is this guy? It's Swerve, bro. Swerve, bro. Talking? Talking? You kidding me? No, I don't know. Rip, rip, he said, there's the, the liar. I, I, uh, I'll acknowledge you. That son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but what are we watching? Talking to the Talking boss, to the man, boss man, man. Oh, AEW. we're watching Real Housewives. <laughs> no, I didn't know if it was AEW or WWE. Oh. Uh, Swerve Strickland movie. actually is friends with Marty the Moth. I actually need to learn Spanish. Gotta fucking, I'm, I'm probably going to be uh, in interacting with quite a few uh, Latinos in my everyday life when I go to Latino. start a, a fucking Swerve's um, house! I might start a being able to communicate, would you like to? You'll, you'll, you'll learn it. You'll learn it quick. Like the shit you need to know, you know, because like, 
like a Spanish class will never prepare you for being around real people like that speak Spanish. You know, like who's you'll, learn, you'll, you'll know like basic shit, you know, but like you'll never learn like how people really talk. You know, a, and, and like you have to like watch how you like who you're talking to as far as like you know when you're speaking because like there's the masculine way of saying it and there's the feminine way of saying. It. It's like the the men say it this way and the women well, you, say you, it. You, you'll, you'll figure it out. You know? it, it's a, it, that, that's just very simple. You know? it's a... Yeah, I agree with you, Rev. That stuff's confusing. Oh, here's the fucking... Ah, this is so stupid. BC says Boss Man's a liar. One of the worst characters in all of wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Storm. No, I like Tony Storm. Hey, man a liar. I think I think the gimmick sucks. I think she sucks. That's not Tony Storm though. That's Mariah May. Tony Storm's uh, getting in the ring right now, isn't she? She's the one in the background. Yeah, she's got those glasses on, right? Yeah, I like her. I hope Mariah May makes out with what, the girl. What's this her week, gimmick supposed to be? Yeah, I guess I don't she's like a, she's like a, she's supposed to be a a bitch in the fucking forties, nineteen forties, right? That's why she has that whole fucking L.A. Noir entrance with the black and white. Oh, okay. I'm not understanding. Here comes Reverence Girl. Now, here's what a woman looks like. <laughs> That's why I call a woman. <laughs> I would let Deanna Perrazzo sit right on my face. Anybody know why BC's saying boss man's a liar? Uh, no clue. You probably you know better than gonna, we would. You told him that you were going to play Rocket League with him and then you didn't? I don't even know who he is. <laughs> you don't know who BC is? You know Brian Christopher? You Never kidding me? <laughs> he was part of Two Heat. Oh, here we go. Him and Scotty too hotty. Well, Mariah May looks like Tiffany Stratton. BC said, there he goes lying again. <laughs> Not ya. I mean, I mean, I know the name, but I've never talked to the guy. <laughs> I would know him. Oh, man. Looks like Deanna perrazzo has been spending some time at Golden Corral, JP. She's not looking as fit as she did in TNA. Ooh. I'm going to be honest with you. I still think she's hot. Oh, she's still hot. Ain't, 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 ain't nothing wrong with a little girl. She had, she had meat, more meat of a, bones, you know? She had more of a Coke bottle figure at TNA, though. This is interesting. She's still a baddie, though. Yeah, she's definitely, uh, she's definitely not been in the gym as much. You could tell she's got that Tony Khan money now. She's still a Puerto Rican in the back, right? I mean, that's all that matters. You know? Oh. oh, I was waiting for someone to get hit, hit with that fucking Thank you, music. <laughs> Gonzo said, boss man making new friends. <laughs> I like Tony Storm. Nah, I don't it's like her. Then boss man says, uh, boss man has all the friends he needs. I feel like at least half of Tony's women's division wouldn't have jobs if AEW didn't exist. I feel like Tony Storm is one of those people that wouldn't have a job. I guess she already, she, she, already, she, she already crashed and burned in, you know, NXT, famously. Thank you, Ann. Who, who's the Japanese gal that she was like the Freddie Mercury character? That was I a good person. Like, I, I don't know. This is the Re, Reho's trainer or whatever. She was on there, you know, for a while. And it's like, oh, this is the worst. You know, like... <clears throat> That motherfucker's never be talking about shit in here. <laughs> yeah, just in time. You're, it's the uh, Perrazzo and Tony Storm and uh, whoever this blonde bitch is. But... Mariah May, they might start making out. There you hey, go. Hello? What up? Nah, I wanted to watch Willow earlier, but I don't know. Yeah, 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 we're good. We're he, good. We're uh, good. She got attacked before the match. She didn't even fight until the end. We're good. Like the last five minutes. Like the, the class I will. Save, you know, I got um. I'll 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 check them out. 
first thing in the morning. Ah, shit. I got about 15 <laughs> for you at the moment. Damn. Yeah. AEW is for all the professional wrestlers. What? And that motherfucker's always in wrestling and making his tags. Wow. It's so where the big boys play. That was oh, WCW's no. uh, thing, wasn't it? Their, their motto. They must know. I prefer a Stone Cold model when he make it where the big boys play with each other. When he did that promo on uh, WCW while in ECW. Yeah, he was a good character then. Damn. But he had no choice. He couldn't do nothing else. Yeah. No, I'm just saying he was good. All right, later, friend. I think that's when uh. Vince started noticing him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the second hour of Dynamite. Punch your holes right in time. I rely on y'all motherfuckers to be the wrestling observer of these matches. Uh, right now, Mariah May Punch is in the ring with Deanna Perrazzo. I was hoping they'd start making out. With, uh, Mariah, she's uh, her old girl from Stardom. That was her uh, friend from Stardom. Picture in picture, ladies and gentlemen. So you might you might get your kisses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. talking this into fr fruition. He's like, he keeps talking about them making out. They're going to make out. And I think he's talking about it, you know. Well, I don't BC, know. BC says, how was the flight, Punch? Cornette, what, Cornette said uh, it was more of a sister kiss. That's what he said. It wasn't a lesbian kiss because there was no tongue, tongue action. It was more of a sister kiss. Um, oh, a little vagina wipe. When he said that, I was like, damn, that must be some Kentucky shit. That must be some Christmas <laughs> shit. Oh, it was just a sister kiss. What nothing? Kiss some cousins, you know? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I ain't kiss no kiss. <laughs> Motherfuckers just try to find some way to do shit. Pop, get out of there! The flight was good, BC. I'm on here in my my little motel right now. My uh, what do you call that shit? Motel 6 over here in uh, London right now. I told you about getting that shit. What the fuck? Get, get, get you, and, you and Red were saying they got some shitty food in London. But you know what? I'm going to go. When I go there, I'm going to go there to prove you I'm motherfuckers wrong. I'm going to be vlogging. And I, be I never sorry. said I never said that London had shitty food. All I said no, I was said B, I said BC and Rev. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, because the British people as a culture, it's just not really a culture about the food. You understand you're, what you're I mean? Thinking, you're thinking real nationalistic, you know, like they have good dishes. They have, you know, shepherd's pie, fish and chips, baggers and mash, the full English breakfast. But they well, really have it. Yeah, but that that's really the extent of it, you know. It's not. Yeah, but, really but, but if you if you're if you're out that way and you're like by like a bar area or like a late like a late night area, they got like kebab, you know. They got like it, it's right. it's influenced by like you know like all them countries around there, you know. A... Now, that's not to say that London doesn't have food because London is a is a crock pot of ethnicities you're gonna have yeah. you're gonna have amazing middle eastern food you're gonna have amazing indian food you're gonna have really really good chinese food i just meant england and the british as a culture just really aren't known for their food. fish and you chips know? and chocolate is good says schmidt fish and chips yeah i would i would not and, I, and chocolate uh, chinese food in london but i did have some mexican food in uh Tokyo, so I ain't gonna say that. That's funny as hell. Well, there's, a, there's a lot of Chinese people in, in, in Britain. They have a good, a lot of good uh, Mediterranean slash uh, Arabic food there too. Uh, yep. Yeah. I said Middle Eastern. 
Uh, you get amazing baklava there. I had that. I get that here, here, man. man. You should try you should that baba ganoush. Shepherd's pie is one. You, once you had one, you had them all. Yeah, I mean, no if, you've had, if, if you've had the shepherd's pie like a cheesecake factory, then you don't really need to get it. Right? <laughs> I make my own. Well, especially because they don't even got no hot sauce. Their hot sauce there in Britain is like hot curry sauce. So it's, it's not even really that hot. You know, it's, uh... See, look, you know how motherfuckers see, I'm going to do my own version. Like, I'm from Texas, of course. Pudge, look at Tony Storm. During my vacation. She's showing her ass. So you What's saying it? they ain't got no hot sauce? So I'm like, I'm from Texas, of course I'm gonna use my Texas people. To, to keep to keep in uh, to keep in theme with your previous trips, if you want to see what fast food looks like in Britain, I would go to Pizza Hut or Domino's, and I would go to McDonald's. I only Taco did that to, because it was different. They got good breakfast sandwiches at McDonald's in Britain. I'll tell you that. Red, red, the bread, the bread ain't no, ain't as soft, right? Like they make it like more. Uh, I know, and um, I don't know. I had the English, I had the English muffin sandwich when I went. No, just mean like, mean like in America, they consider like bread like cake almost. Like if you get like bread like in the United States, you know, at a McDonald's. I didn't in know Australia, those... you don't even get a biscuit at KFC. You get a roll. Huh. Yeah. I would be pissed. Like, what the fuck is this? Get some kind of bullshit at roll instead of a biscuit. I want my biscuit, bitch. They've got a whole. Whatever uh, happened to uh, Britt Baker? <laughs> That's a good, good question. She's getting her DMD right now. Or DDS. It's, it's braces season, you know. She's putting them in. You know? Like these I two guess. ladies right here, Thunder Rosa and Tony Storm, perfect example of what I was saying earlier, Pesci. If AEW didn't exist, these women would not be professional wrestlers, period. I like Thunder I Rosa, though. About, I know Thunder Rosa? You like Thunder Rosa? Yeah, I, I, and I, Tony Storm. She, she had one of the most boring championship runs of any female anywhere wrestler I've ever seen. Anywhere you go. Anything with AEW and females has been boring, but she's a good wrestler. I think Thunder Rosa, she used to make a living outside of AEW. But I mean, yeah, I mean, just she's like an indie. She's an indie wrestler. I mean, here go, here go, here go, Pesci's boys. There comes the guns. The guns. Get in there, Schmidt. What happened to the acclaimed Pesci? Why haven't they been on TV for a while? Well, they eventually they finally split them up. Oh, they did. They did. Well, oh, that's, right. that's a shame. Punch, you you're already in the UK. Or? Nah, according oh. to Barclay, I am. But, you know. Yeah, no, no, that's this what I thought. You know. No, according to him, I am. I'm already. Look, here. everybody in this company has a bat. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't Jericho in the was carrying a bat. Um, Sting <laughs> was carrying a bat. And now Jay White's carrying a gold bat. Cool it on the bats, Tony. Gorilla's really starting to smell. Does anybody remember when AEW signed the hottest free agent in wrestling, Jay White, and debuted him against fucking Commander? Me? <laughs> Motherfucker was walking on the ropes and shit like it was a goddamn tightrope show. That's who Jay White debuted against. What a hey, joke. Frank, I don't never had no curry, Frank. I don't know if I want to try curry. Oh, curry's right. good. You, you, you get some great curry in London. Fuck. That's kind of like some Boston shit. Mm. Well, that's there's the a difference that's between like that's the, that's the real like Indian curry that's like super spicy and super stinky. But then there's like the Hindi or the like English their version of curry, like the curry sauce and shit. Is well, it a little Boston spicy? Boston but... That ain't that ain't boss man shit. That's Barkley shit. I'm the one with the Indian you accent. Want some, um, you want some authentic shit? Like when you eat some, what do you call that shit? God damn it. When you go like over there in Louisiana. Here they are, Reverend. Look, you got that gumbo. To get some gumbo. You can't, go to, you can't go to no Boston market like Pesci did and eat their gumbo because you, know, you want the real shit first. So that way, wherever you go next, you're like, oh, no, this ain't no real. Shit. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, the, the, the Indian food in England is definitely authentic, Punch. Trust me for that. So when that you will get some real ass curry. Also, also don't dip, like, differentiate like 
curry sauce because they'll have that like out in bottles. Well, Jacob is live with Macintosh. Like a like regular curry, yeah, if you go to any restaurant, that's hit or miss, you know, because that shit could be like killer, you know. That's a uh... oh, there goes Bossman, man. Hey, Bossman, Jacob Waters is live with uh, Michael Macintosh. You better go check it out. Nah. <laughs> Show horror. <laughs> Best believe I'm gonna bring my own hot sauce with me. You crazy, you're gonna bring man. your own hot sauce out of town with you? <laughs> crazy man, you're like Seinfeld bringing the fucking syrup <laughs> to the red. <laughs> George Costanza over here. Got to. Hey, just man. I'm just gonna say George Costanza is probably. A top five sitcom character in the history of television, in my opinion. Yeah. You, you ever see those things on the internet where it, they, they show like the like modern day, like it's like modern day like uh, storylines for Seinfeld? They always crack me up, you know. Like, uh, Bro, it's uh, so I'm saying it's the greatest TV comedy ever made. No one will ever surpass because of the era it was made in. They were able to get away with a lot of taboo. Also, I, I hate I hate Jerry Seinfeld. You know, like I, I don't like Jerry Seinfeld. You know, like, really. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't think he's funny at all. Like, I always his, thought that show could do without Jerry. His biggest accomplishment is being friends with Larry David. You know, like that's his biggest. You know, like I don't know, man. I think he's pretty funny. He he doesn't make the show though. You know, like even though it's called Seinfeld, he don't make the show. You know, it's, uh, yeah, you're right about that. I think for me, I'm a big, I'm a Kramer Mark. I love Kramer. Yeah. If, if I could pick, if I could watch two characters on every episode. It would be Kramer and Frank Costanza. That would uh, be it Q- for me. Q- Not Shaman says, fuck Jacob Waters. He backed out of the deal. He said he'd match Bob's money. Then he reneged uh, on the deal. It's uh, true. I love the, I love the, the non-show time. character, Bob Sacramento. You know, that's my favorite. You know, the, <laughs> like Kramer's hey, friend, hey, Bob Sacramento. Like, that's my Larry, Larry David as George Steinbrenner was always fucking hilarious, too. So much get better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, especially they got the Walking Dead on still. 375. Get better, George. I punch. Now, oh, uh, wait a minute. Is this the acclaimed right here? You said what, bro? I you, wait, I thought you said they broke him up, Pesci. I can't hear you. I said QAnon said a minute ago, Punch, be careful. There's a lot of racists in uh, London. Yeah, it's a pretty racist country. Not as bad as Italy. It ain't ain't as bad as Italy, though. And he's already been all all the race. Italy is definitely the most racist country in Europe. There's there's no questioning that. Who? Italy. Punch you. That's what I'm saying. You've already been to Italy and you didn't feel bad at all, so you should be fine. It's like it's documented. Italy is definitely here the most comes Orange Cassidy in Europe. The legend. I felt Punch. great. I was a welcome when nobody well, there. Not, if, if you wear like some khaki, if you wear like some corduroys and a polo, you could pass for a tan white man. A corduroys. <laughs> I don't even think I even seen. Wise dog says fucking pockets, and he doesn't even have his hands in his pockets. I can't believe he doesn't even have his hands in his pockets. You're a shit show now, old Cassidy. I used to like you. Now your hands aren't even in your pockets. So now you look like a Jiffy Lube attendant. You look like Reverend. You look like you can clean carpets. He looks like he works. He looks like he works the register at Abercrombie and Fitch to me. Still have those. Oh, here Italy, they come! Italy has, Italy Barclay's has favorite wrestler, still. Shane Taylor he's Promotions. Too, huh? For sure, every oh, every country hey, has too much. Not sympathizers. On Pesci's up and coming list. This Shane Taylor Promotions is at the top of his list. No, this these people suck, I think. No, what is it, Sean Taylor? Sean Taylor Promotions? Hey, Hello, big artist. boy. Hey, we got an artist. Sean Taylor Promotions. Shane Taylor. I, I was the one to correct it before you guys all say it. It's play that music for me. It wasn't me, you know. 
Shay Taylor promotions know. aren't screwing around. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just kidding. Tell you, is just keep your white man voice on while you're over there, and you'll be fine. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised. Uh, Orange oh, it's Cassie. going good, big boy. Hey, well, I was having, I was playing my music over there, the Texas music. I'm surprised Orange, Orange Cassidy doesn't have the athletic tape on his back like he usually does. Yeah, dude, dude, te Texas music is the most broad thing you could ever say, though. You know, it's like Texas music, you know what I'm Yeah, but well, see, that, that's what I, I want to do. That could mean I'm anything, you know. That could be... I'm from Texas, of course I'm gonna fucking let these boys out here know. And it's gonna be that one where they say Texas is the home of the players and pimp showing naked ass in that great state of Texas. So the UGK dude. There coast born and where I stay. Texas motherfucker, that's where I stay. Nah, there ain't no UGK. That's really that Pimp C. Oh yeah, you're right. But that, I was thinking of a song, Paul Wall, but that, not that verse. I like the remix better. Hey, that, who's the fucking poor man's MVP on the on the outside of the ring? Is that Don Callis? No. Look, hands in the pocket. Hands in the pocket. Here he comes, Reverend. This is what I used to like him when he would keep the hands in the pockets. Now he don't do it. I used, to, I used to have a Pimp C t-shirt. I bought it at the flea market where I bought a fake ID when I was like 20 years old. Pimp C, bitch. In Houston, the Martin Luther King flea market in Houston. Who is that jigger man? Pimp C and B. What you doing all those south side, boy? Getting a fake ID. It was, it was in the flea market where you could go buy, and they sold them as novelty IDs. They're like, Thank oh, you, you buy it, but it's a novelty. And yeah. the guy shows you how you erase the top part. That's get rid you know, of the warning. Them at, back then, they used to have them at all the check cashing places, too. Uh, uh, Vince Russo like, just like released a video. Sure Tony Khan like, is an alien. Like dog and I'm mean, like, get out of here with this. You know, they all had like Texas, you know, University mm -hmm. of Texas shit, you know. That's a uh, TSU. Tony Khan yeah. is an alien. Oh, you from a UT? Yeah, well, I had Texas in because my brother just gave him all his old clothes. So I had like all his free shirts he got. Like they were like Texas A and M. So was your brother an athlete or something? No, he he was he was there for like a doctorate program, you know, chemistry. Uh, when you no, say my brother's my brother's smart, smart. I'm like, you know. <laughs> Is that crime time? Who, who's he, he's in the ring with? Oh my god! <laughs> Hit the music, Pesci. Bear, bear, bear. What up, Daisy? Oh. <laughs> I was a legitimate person. You know it's not fucking crime time. You fucking bozo. Yeah, the one guy, the one guy fucking died. Who is that? Is that the gangsters? Is that the gangsters in the ring? They look like New Jack. They look like Mufasa. Like a young Mufasa. My God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet my Robbins. <laughs> Rev's Rev is sounding more and more like Antonio Brown every day. Who's Antonio Brown? Please. Come on. You watch football? No, I was, I was the leading receiver in the league for like four years in a row, man. Someone get Hello, Lindsay. We're watching Dynamite. with Pesci. I don't fucking watch it to where. You know, I'm like, I'm like hip to all the know-how or whatever. You don't, you, don't, you mean you're not a, you're not, you're not American not enough to wake up on Sunday and watch football? I do unless watch football. Have, unless you, unless you have a bet on it? <laughs> yes. I, I watch football. Well, you should know who Antonio Brown is, then. Yeah, I'm watching when I'm watching with the boys. And I'm watching if I got some money on the game. But I normally don't watch shit, really. I watch it a little bit. You sound like a communist right now, Reverend. Get your head out of your head, man. You know what? You know what? He said, who's Antonio Brown, Punch? What the fuck? Hey, Punch, where are you right now? 
God damn, what the fuck is it? Where's Waldo and shit? He doesn't leave till next week. He doesn't leave okay. till next week. The reason I was asking is someone said in the chat said, how was the flight? It's like, I already answered that. That's well, yeah, he's, he's, in, he's in Rome. He's in Rome. Get in here, now. Schmidt! Let's go! He already knew where I was. He said, well, I got a ticket right here. Puncher, this is broadcasting live from outside the Coliseum. Don't know I've been what the country's coming to. When I went to Coliseum, see, that's why I want to go back to Italy, because I didn't, I wasn't able to go underneath, you know, in the basement and den and shit. I was only able to walk around the inside. He wants to see where they hide the bodies. <laughs> and I didn't go to Vatican City. Easy. So this time I'll be, I'll be prepared. Oh, hey, make sure you get a uh, get a picture with the Swiss guard. <laughs> you know, you wear the you'll, you'll, you'll recognize them immediately because they look like motherfucking Quasimodo. Barkley, he, he's uh, he's broadcasting live from the vomitorium right now as we speak. Oh, That's unreal. I always see those guards with guns, right? They like guard and shit all the time. What the fuck That's what I'm that? saying. The, re the reason why the the reason why the Vatican uses the Swiss Guard is because the Italian police to this day are the most corrupt police organization on the planet. <laughs> no, I was in that Vatican City. I was just like walking. And I see. No, I mean, like, let's go, Schmidt. There. When you People get there, you're... Guns, and they were like, there was two of them blocking the entry. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah. When you get to the Vatican, you'll you'll record, you'll know what the Swiss Guard is as soon as you see him. I promise. <laughs> it looks like clowns, bro. But it's a baller ass uniform. I'm not gonna lie. I don't gotta worry about where to find good shit at and over there in Italy because every place I go to, every place I went, it was bomb. The Vatican is. You stay away than, from the tourist spots and get your own shit. The Vatican is cleaner than Disneyland, man. They didn't keep that place spick and span. I never eat at the tourist spot. Oh, he went for the Superman punch. Wow, ah, close line from hell. You got to make sure, man. When if the menu is in English, don't eat there. If they're encouraging you to walk, walk to go inside and eat, don't eat there. Yeah, a pepperoni if it pizza. Was good, it'll be a pepperoni pizza. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, it's, it's that, funny. You gotta ask for salami. They don't know what pepperoni is. You gotta ask it's, salami. It's, it's funny. It's you funny that you yeah, don't ask for pepperoni either. It's funny that you say that bunch because at the restaurant at the restaurants in North Beach out here in San Francisco, which is like the little Italy district, if you walk by the restaurants at night, every one of the restaurants has a booth out front with a person trying to recruit you into the restaurant. Every one of them. <laughs> hey yeah. Warrior Warriors fans heated after Draymond Green laughs on press conference after not making the playoffs. Listen, I can pull articles I wrote back in 2015 where I said the Warriors need to get rid of Draymond, man. I've said it a million times. I'm not going to say it again. Bob Myers. Bob Myers. Listen, I wanted to get rid of him after he kicked Stephen Adams at the balls. And then he went to the NBA Finals and thought he could do it to LeBron and got suspended. And that was the only reason that series went seven games. People, everybody raved about Draymond's performance in game seven. But guess what? The only reason there was a game seven is because he fucking hit LeBron in the balls. So fuck Draymond Green. Period. He, he, he ain't no Rod Zuri. He cost us Kevin Durant and he cost us a championship. I don't care how much Bob Myers loves him. Get the fuck out. I would like to say uh, rest in peace to Maurice Jason Speaks. Kelsey Super Bowl ring. Maurice Speaks did peace. more in, in 2015 for that championship than Draymond did anyway, period. Rest in peace to Jason Kelsey Super Bowl ring. Oh, yeah, I saw that. He lost it on that game show. What a moron. He'll buy another one. What happened? Jason and Travis Kelsey had some fucking Oh, my God! Trump Red is tanking! No! He's attacking the best some, friends. No, reality, I can't reality believe this is happening. They did, where they put their Super Bowl rings in trash, literally, and they can't. Trent Barretta's attacking the best now. friends. They lost it. Oh, I'm sure they'll get it. I'm sure they'll get it. No, he'll just he'll just buy another one. <laughs> Wouldn't be the same. Don't matter. 
the, those that ring that ring came a good six months after he played in that game anyway, so the ring don't mean shit. Uh, Shane Taylor sure and Nia Jax must order. be brother and sister. Uh, order ice with your wine. <laughs> Thank you, Ari. Order, order ice with your wine and then get some. Be sure you put Parmesan cheese on everything. He's been to Italy before, you know. Uh, this motherfucker here. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but like the most traveled person here. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan cheese on everything. Put Parmesan cheese on your spaghetti. Ask, ask if we got some... Um, what you call it? Get you, make sure, you want to get the... Uh, the fettuccine Alfredo. Mm -hmm. And make sure you uh don't know what the country's coming to, but in Rome, what does the Romans do? <laughs> Dean Martin on an evening in Roma. I like a little wine old drinker me, you know, that's my favorite Dean Martin. <laughs> I love Dino. Grab the first dish I'm gonna try to eat when I get up there. The Casio e Pepe. I he, doesn't, try he, doesn't, he doesn't understand what you just said. I don't know. <laughs> He's, he just called the hey, he he just called the police on you for speaking foreign to him. <laughs> say, Ladies and gentlemen, here's Will Osprey, the guy that Pancho has high hopes for. Just, like, don't be don't be going down to, to the local Walmart over you don't in know Texas. What Pepe is, man. Uh, al dente is pasta, right? That's like the, the way they cook pasta. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't. <laughs> I say Casio e Pepe. <laughs> when you go to an authentic air quotes here Italian restaurant, ask for hey, do you have any Casio e Pepe? It's, it's, Roman most, it's, it's Roman mac and cheese, Reverend. It's the most simplest dish, but it's so it's mac, it's mac and cheese. Casiola Pepe. Casiola Pepe, yeah. Casiola uh, Wise Dog says this guy doesn't impress me any at all, talking about Osprey. Basically, Reverend, imagine you had a, a big bowl of pasta, but it was, mm. but it was cheese sauce instead of pasta sauce and whatever else it's just you know because macaroni is a noodle casio e pepe is just roman mac and cheese it's just made oh, of three ingredients that's it Put black pepper, pepper pasta and cheese punch be sure you go over and ask for some hamburger help that's some good shit uh, punch I mean, a lot of those dishes, though, they are good, especially even the ones. Oh, if I'm going there, I'm going to get seafood, you know. I'm I can't believe it. Rev loves eating his you. pasta on his mattress, says Wise Dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good one. He's got Pasio El Pepe in Tucama. <laughs> I guess we'll let it live, Reverend. Rev trying hard to stay up too though. I'm it's a good insight. I'm, <laughs> I'm on, girl, you're leaving after me this. See, I told you he's, he's struggling to stay awake. He, 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 one. he worked when on I his open day. And it's hey, he worked on his day off today. Give him a break, man. You know, I stayed up. You motherfuckers, and then I had to get up and go in it. Fucking, I would have just like, looked at that phone and just turned and looked away. Got up and fucking got a damn call at 45 in the fucking morning. I told you to go to sleep. Call you me again. Come back. You ain't gonna be saying that on payday. <laughs> Bob, there he is. You, you, we, we, you know, I told you, Bob. Donald told, Trump himself. I said, if you ever show your face over there again, don't ever bother coming back. And you know what, Bob? He went over there. Fucking idol shots. Your shit's buffering, Pesci. Goddamn Zuz. Fucking frauds. That fucking T-Mobile channel. 
You know, I, I wish they wouldn't do that over there. <laughs> Uh, I wish they wouldn't do that over there. It, you know what? Goddamn, Barkley's got a channel now, and he and he's watching me over there. Oh, he, call, is he that what he said? Bro. No, no, he didn't say that. He wishes. No, it would be hilarious if he did though. <laughs> it would be. Fucking now, Zuz is just fried out right now. Fuck. Zuz is a buzz. Is a snooze. Oh, there we go. We're back. I hope you yeah. hey, Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Claudio and Osprey. Here we go, boys. Claudio Future and Osprey. Is this is there. why we brought him to America. Shout out to Chris Schmidt. Why? Most man, man's uh, writing in Macintosh's name on his ballot, I heard. Shout out to JJR Plank. Ah. Uh, Shout out to Brad Ankovic, the potato lover. He was in here last night. No, nah, not in the morning. Did he, did he actually join Discord or was he just in the chat? Chat. Chat. Yeah. Like, he ain't no like, potato yeah. lover no more. No, he's, he's got, got a new girl. girl. That's why we haven't one. seen him. Oh, he got a he got a carrot this time or a turnip. Something like that. You know he's spending. She's got me spending. <laughs> spending all my money on me. Bark Barkley had a bowl of chicken curry last time, I believe. So that was hey, we were together three years though. Oh, you're you're still I thought y'all were back together. No, no. no we've been broken up for dead mice. Two and a half months now? Almost three months now. Yeah. Do you have any naked pictures of her, Barkley? And, and I'm probably somewhere on my phone. And you want some get this fucking. Do you want some more? Get this fraud out of here! Get this Vince McMahon ass motherfucker out of here! Uh, hey, I just asked him if he wanted some more. Now, now wait a minute. What was what was this I hear about? Reverend got caught in a lie again. What what is he Is he working at Stanley Steamer? Yeah. Stanley Steamer, get your we shit know that he had, We know that he had. The, we know that he has a shirt. That's all. Reverend, do you or do you want to tell him, Reverend, out of your own mouth, what was a fib? Do you want to break him the bad news? For the record, I would like to blame all this on Wise Dog for come bringing up the fucking cheese grilled cheese sandwich that started all this shit. <laughs> um. There you go, bro. You got well, the floor. I made, I made Reverend, you got the floor. Reverend, you got the floor. All right. What's the fib that you told? I, I don't remember telling the story. That's what, that's my thing. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, fine, I'll do the talking for Reverend. Uh, okay, do you remember I'm that great about story about Reverend was upstairs eating pasta on his bed? The dog ran up like a Mickey Mouse cartoon, ran through the spaghetti. Instead of cleaning it, he flipped the mattress, and then eventually him and his wife started smelling it down the line. Uh, according to Maury Povich, that was a lie. <laughs> According to Maury Povich, I was like, she would she would have divorced his ass for that. Fuck. It was a great story. Unfortunately, we are learning Reverend is a man of many tales. Unfortunately, oh, is he actually similar is he actually to Bolin? No. A lot of them are nonfiction. So you're saying he's getting deported. I was like, damn. Is, 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 he, is he being deported? I don't think they do that to people anymore. Yeah. Bullshit cleaner. Where are they going? I don't know, but I'm smoking on the finest grass this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> hey, they're going to deport you to Giggle Pickles. <laughs> they're going to deport me somewhere. I don't know. There you go, man. Prefer, preferably Cuba or uh, Puerto Rico or something, right? Somewhere. I right. just uh, we're hey, pass I, the two v yeah. two in fourteen minutes. Where, where else would anyone okay. talk? Yeah, talk. Yeah. Look how happy What's punches. Rev, I, I think Reverend needs to get him a new forklift job and redeem himself. Person. Well, I just I'm just shocked Reverend doesn't remember telling that story. I know oh, yeah. that Brad Bob was here when you told it. I don't know. I remember the story. Well my I, thing I is, remember. Reverend, if I was gonna start lying, I wouldn't lie about spaghetti in bed. 
No, he, he just lies about seeing kids thrown in the cheetah pit. I was probably uh, I was probably drinking that day. I can't remember. Yeah, and they got right, chaos back. Rev tells so many lies you can't keep them straight. Why well, dog says I think I think Rev needs a new mattress. He's going full Brad. Tell country stories. Remember, I remember that guy that was on that was on Giggle Pickles' show. That well, he was. Her roommate, Ooh. the country yeah, guy. Yeah. Uh, that guy, man. Hey, that, that, guy, that guy needs his own show. Even Granny was like. You, you keep cutting out. Was like. Me? Even Granny was. No, what? Schmidt. Uh, I can I, hear I, Schmidt I, fine. fine. And me too. Yeah. 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 Granny. Granny, uh, yeah. Granny was even like, yeah, that dude needs his own show. You can even understand. He was like the guy from Joe Dirt. He's like, I want a whole one to make it. You like to see homos <laughs> naked? <laughs> That's how he talks. <clears throat> he, he can review anything. He could do a wrestling watch along, a fight night, a movie review, and people would watch it just because. Damn, uh, I wonder why he keeps he cutting out on my end. Yeah, Schmidt keeps cutting out on my end. That must be uh, something on your end. You know, I just want to say, you know, pillar to post. I'm the best in the business at what I do. You know, I just want to say. Pesci and Schmidt were interfering in the deals behind the scenes. Angelo doesn't want, you know, we did the Barbara Goodis show. Angelo doesn't want what? I didn't hear that part. Angelo doesn't want us all. You, I did the Barbara Goodis show. <laughs> I hope, I hope you do you good. Do good. <laughs> I hope you guys do good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Fuck, you. Fuck you. Bye. Bye. You did. Sean Smith says the lie detector determined. That was a <laughs> lie. Lie. That was a lie. Those old Maury episodes were fucking great, man. You are you not are the not father. No, the lie detector yeah, ones. Who would you rather cook food for you? Who would you rather have cooked for you? Giggle Pickles or Jake Hudson? Giggle Pickles. Oh, gosh. Giggle, giggle Pickles. Giggle pickles. Uh, Lindsay Mann says, Missy Schmidt, it's been so long since I've heard you in chat. How's life treating you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip out of the toilet so I can sustain myself. Hey. And leave, you know? <laughs> at least Giggle Pickles has experience at Hardee's. At least Giggle Pickles isn't going to pick her nose or stick her finger up her butt and show it and then, like, cook your burger. Oh! Giggle Pickles smart enough to poison you, though. Well, I'm just saying that Jake did that shit on camera. He stuck his finger up his ass. Yeah, but J Jake's not smart not really. enough to poison you. I've never done that. I've never seen him stick his finger up his ass. He I'm going to let Jake cook for me. Fingernails. I didn't need to hear that. And blood oh, on his finger from his oh, yeah, cause, Jesus cause, Christ, cause, boss man. Yeah, you didn't know that. what he did. People paid him for that shit over there on that fucking Howard Stern reject oh, show. Opie, 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 or one of those Anthony. Yeah, yeah, one of them. One of them. Yeah, they paid. Uh, uh, the least, they the paid. least successful one. <laughs> right. They like fucking paid him money to dig into his butt and show it and lick and lick his finger. That's great. It might, it might be truly not even. Can we, can we change the subject? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> Bullet County like strikes again. But I'm, I'm just saying that that right there is why you would rather have Giggle Pickles cooking your food. She at least has food safety experience. She at least had to sit through some kind of training. Ladies and gentlemen, she's right. an Indian. Indians cook great, and she's right. what is she? Chicken we don't know. What is she? Uh, she's she really good curry. You know? <laughs> Man, we don't know. Who met, who met Indian with the feather, JP? <laughs> I'm just. I'm not feather around you. Schmidt, we don't know if she had to do food safety because Reb just jumped right in at Hardee's. Well, he didn't have to do anything. Well, that, that's because they saw a fat, a fat country guy. They're like, yeah, this motherfucker knows how to cook. Look at him. That story. There was no fucking food. That place was disgusting. I think they'll get a, I think they'll get a job anywhere in town cooking. I guarantee it. With no experience. That grill had never been fucking clean. There was bacon just sitting out on the fucking counter. And I asked her, I said, do we put that in the refrigerator? And she said, no, it, it's fine the way it is. 
How many thousand well, fucking lungs am I supposed to be sitting out there in room temperature? And it's well, like, nobody right. can care it's about this. As long as you cook it day of and don't leave it till the next day, it's good. As long as it's cooked, yeah. And you should have seen how greasy that fucking pan was. Like that's down. seasoned. It's called seasoned, Rev. Yeah. That's because nothing can live in there, Rev. That's why they leave it in there. <laughs> no. So they got, the, they got that damn flame bro conveyor belt thing that you put the burger patties in. And you fucking put the burger patties in there. And there's like a greasy drip tray. And it looks just the god awfulest thing you've ever seen. That it's called the seasoning, fucking, sir. It's called flavor. That the burgers. Wise dog down. says she's Indian. Just look at her dental plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, so when, I like, yeah, parties, when I work at parties, when I work at parties, you uh, you cook the burgers on a flat grill. Now yeah. that Carl's Jr. Yeah. owes them, that that charbroiled crap. crap. Yeah. They, well, I, Burger King did that too. I yeah, but Carl's they just, Jr. They bought Hardee's. That's and now they have that famous star and all that crap. Yeah, Hardee's is Carl's Jr. Same company. Yeah. Okay, so I think they did that with the sausage. I never cooked the sausage. Um, I know the bacon is made in the oven. Yeah, well, they do that way. They put all that. They put the big a big tray of just fucking yeah. bacon in the oven. I was it's sneaking through. Even when he cooks it, you know, the... 350 for about 15 minutes, probably 10 or 12. 15. They're not crispy on it. I, I will admit, I did sneak some food while I was there. I was eating a lot. Oh, one no. day, the one day he was no. there, he, he wasn't up. even there for a day, he was there for like three hours, wasn't he? Hey, you know, that motherfucker, he motherfucker had like three Frisco melts, <clears throat> fucking uh, rodeo burgers or whatever. Why didn't you eat any of those biscuits, motherfucker? Yeah. yeah. He knew Carla would, Carla was going to get him if he did that. Uh, that goddamn Frisco melt's a good burger, though. I must, I must goddamn say. good burger, that damn Frisco melt. <laughs> um, they you go to the have... original place in San Francisco, I'm sure it'd probably Ant, be pretty good. Uh, Anton Tomer says, Rev is always sneaking food. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Well, I just had a large pizza. You're like, you just had dinner earlier on the stream. Well, this is my snack. That was probably the only time he was telling the truth is when he was eating that meal after five minutes after eating that other meal. Yeah, I'm going to a large Domino's or Pizza Hut coming or some shit. Or <laughs> Remember when he baked a cake in between Rocket League games? I don't yeah. know why you told me about he that shit. He baked a cake. Wait, wait a minute. He baked a cake? Yeah. He's like, hold on a second. I'll be right back. I got to bake this cake. This motherfucker went and mixed <laughs> And he oil said it was his last box. Egg. I'm so he was trying to get rid of it. I whipped out some shit in a bowl and put it in a fucking pan. <laughs> I used it. I, I got a damn metal. I got a metal bowl that I cooked that, that I put that shit in. And I fucking got my uh, my mixer. And I'll just go in there and mix it up. And I'll grease, the, I'll grease my damn 9 by 13. Uh, Pretty good match, by the way. Elvin Marin huh? says, remember when Rev ate the crab cakes that poisoned him? That story's still up for debate. Did that really Did happen? Did that uh, happen, Rev? The match huh? is pretty good, though, by the way. Rev? What? Did that really happen? What the fuck? Can't nobody hear me? Hello? We can hear you. It might be on my end. I couldn't hear you. What was the answer to it? The what? The crab cakes. Did that really happen? Of course, that really happened. Okay. I ate crab cakes. They were you got poisoned? Food. And you got poisoned? No, it was the damn White Castle that upset my stomach. I had White Castle, and I had crab cakes. Oh, oh what the fuck? God damn, bro. Crab cakes for the that, dinner. That's a, that's well, a ruthless yeah. combination. White Castle yeah. was the dessert. White Castle was the dessert. This guy, this guy's butthole was like, wait a minute, <laughs> shellfish and rot gut dehydrated hey, onions? Might as well had a Taco Bell on top of there, dude. <laughs> oh! You motherfuckers act like, like y'all still get hungry after you finish eating. Y'all y'all act like I'm, like I'm supposed to eat one damn meal a day and I just sit quietly and don't move or something like that. Well, probably, uh, right? Tolliver says his voice got high. That's not true. 
Uh, what? Tolliver with the incoming. Was oh, you know. wanting to I'm, blow your ass out, go. Rev? What the fuck? Oh, he's wife gonna ch he's gonna choke out Claudio. Nope, he didn't. Uh, this is a good uh, match. We've been, we've missed the match. It's a good match though. No, it was a good match. Osprey. Sean Smith says two. Tolliver says one out of ten. Those were damn good crap jokes. The White Castle, no, not real. It was the fucking. It was the uh, the Frozen Rose. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, because you don't have White Castle down there. I forgot. No. Yeah. That gave me the shits, man. Well, yeah, this pretty, Sunday, uh, Osprey all, all versus Danielson. Up, you, know, uh, you got, you got, you got to. If the if you get the shits from them, it's because of the onions, bro. Because they get bloated in your belly and just destroy you. I, Osprey not, gets the win. Oh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty solid. Solid. Every time I said I'm gonna go make a cake, I've actually made a fucking cake. I now have. How much, made, how much of the cake do you eat at one setting after you make it? One piece, but it's one big piece. Two slices, depending on. I, I have kids, man. I got, I got a damn. I got one kid here who enjoys cake. And so you're starving I, the children by eating all their cake. Hey, man, shut your face. I can't. Freaking, oh, here we uh, go. I can't deny them their sweets. You mean like on Halloween? In the ring, he's attacking him, but he's up. It's he's John Moxley! Moxley and Hobbs! Moxley we and Hobbs! We the candy to make sure that is, there was no metal <laughs> objects in it. Hey, and the, the, these Reese's look a little suspect. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Scanzo says, fucker, how old is Rev's kids? This motherfucker ain't 130, 130 out of the house. Said, fuck him. She's out of the house, and I got one that's nine. Fuck you, Rev, you piece of shit, nothing. Fuck you, you're done. I've been called worse. You know, I just want to say, Rev, you know, my father. The post, corner to corner, I'm the best in the business at what I do. I just want to say, you're you're a poor man's Kenny Mold. Oh, well, you know, you know the damn, uh, the fucking, like they be putting needles and razor blades and shit like that in the Halloween candy. So I got to make sure that my daughter's Halloween candy is safe. Yeah. 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 Gonzo said, I thought Rev was old as fuck. I, I've heard Rev talk about food. He eats better than Kenny Bowling. You know, he, he's, uh... now, sure. now, hold on now, goddammit. I make 17 meals out of a goddamn Costco chicken. Uh -huh. I get four <laughs> meals out of goddamn two Big Macs. Over here running your dick liquor about things you don't know. Over here, the goddamn over here, Pesci's over here. Now, we don't call him Pesci, we call him Michael. Michael's over here, goddamn supporting it. Now, now I've always, I've always wondered about that whenever he says, I get, you know, I get five meals or I get six meals out of this. We explained it. Somebody, somebody donated in support of me on Bowling Show yesterday, according to people that watch Bowling. Uh, Michael Lorry Defense Fund. That donated. definitely wasn't me. Yeah, I, I mean, is that just the way he calculates that shit? <laughs> is he eating like 30 meals a day or something like that? Well, here's that what, what he does, Ralph. Uh, let me tell you where the story half. came from. So we were talking about rotisserie chickens, right? And I and Kenny goes, damn, rotisserie chicken. I get about six meals out of that thing, and I'm like, Bullshit, I'm dude. like that. No, I said that. I said, Kenny, I'll eat one of those one to two sittings. I, yeah, I mean, that's what that, uh, that's what happened. That's where the whole I get six meals out of that. That's where that started. That's hilarious. Well, what it is, Rev, he's got that bypass, so he can't eat as much as he used to. But he'll eat six or seven meals a day, but they're small. So he, that's what he means. Oh, I can make that last six or seven meals, but it's really just people, one day. People wreck, people wreck that bypass, and they'll still keep eating their normal way. And I think he doesn't keep up. I don't think he keeps up with that shit. You know? That's what Rev's sister did. Well, what the, wait a minute. What the hell's going on right now? The, the show's still on? Swerve Street. What is this? A three hour dynamite? What the hell's yeah. going on? 
Was that NBA play? Oh, the private, private NBA player playing? They, they're going head oh, to head with the NBA player. Something? Frank said the problem is that Bowling can say he got any amount of donation when it goes to his accounts. The only donations you really know are of are the super chats. The wise dog said more like he eats six chickens in a sitting. Gonzo <laughs> says Bolin's stomach has already stretched back out. <laughs> His words, not mine, Kenneth. That would be true. You know, like, if he's getting, like, six... I mean, I wouldn't trust that fucking rotisserie chicken for six damn days. It's not six days, bro. It's one day. It just eats six different times throughout the day. Oh, okay. I mean, well, I mean that's, you're still eating a whole... That's... Kind of well, uh, with that being said, then I would probably eat a rotisserie chicken throughout a whole day. Then. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it's easy to. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's six easy. meals. Or two days. Just say, just say two days. Two days if you're like not pinging out. You know, because you have, you have, if you're only eating chicken, yeah, it'd be gone in one day. But if you have sides with it, you know, potatoes or greens or what, you know, some kind of vegetables and chicken and dress, uh, rolls, biscuits, whatever the case may be. And you eat other snacks, you drink other stuff, you know, throw water, drinks throughout the, the day, you know. 70% of Baratic yeah, patients gain the weight back because they don't change their lifestyle or get active. Short tomb solution. Eating a damn, uh, you know, a fucking Costco rotisserie chicken, but like one of those little Walmart ones, I could fucking eat one of those ones, see? Sure. Well, yeah, I'm sure I could if I wanted. I don't. Now, I, what I have, what I usually do is I like the chicken wings, chicken legs, whatever, sure, I'll eat whatever. But I always save the chicken breast off a rotisserie. Samoa chicken Joe chicken coming out on one. Swerve. I can't believe what we're seeing. I'll always make like chicken salad out of those or use them for soup. Oh, use hey, Rev. Whatever. Rev, um, Rev, I apologize for what I said a few minutes ago. I, I wasn't thinking. I didn't hear you. What did you say? Okay, okay. Oh, never mind then. If you didn't hear me. That then. motherfucker don't think worth a <laughs> shit. He said, yeah. he said, he said, he nah. said, you're, you're a transsexual piece of shit. Q-Nut said, said bad Chris, you identify bad. as a skinny man. You identify oh. as a Ray Ram. I, I don't know how to respond to that. Um, is that a tranny? That was, that was pretty cool how Swerve did that. All right, here we go. Now they're brawling. Was that a tranny? I like the swerve. The swerve versus Samoa Joe thing has been pretty good. I will say. Yeah, I like it's swerve. By the stupid shit. Yeah. But swerve should get the belt for real. So swerve's part of Shane, Shane Strickland Productions, right? Other than that Orange Cassidy match tonight, which was out of place and stupid, this Dynamite was one of their better Dynamites. Yeah, the matches were decent. Yeah. Even the female no, angle wasn't. Uh, yeah. The worst thing you ever seen. No, he's got no, Nana or whatever. I don't think he's part of... Is he part of the Shane Taylor oh. Productions? No. Hell no. They're, no, they're part no, of the Mobile had, Industry, yeah, whatever it's called. I didn't mean it, but cue, cue to music. Probably... I love the swerve kick. Look, someone's got that Who's House. He had a bunch of signs. So the guy who's got the Who's House sign, he also had a sign that said, um, uh, Roman Fears Osprey. <laughs> They need it. They need to get the belt on Swerve so when MJF comes back. Crazy amount of salt in those rotisserie chickens, says Frank. Well, definitely, yeah, it is a super heavy brine from just the chicken in general. Yeah. Um, did you see that? There was a damn article. There was a, a damn YouTube video I seen with like it was an article about those. The uh, Costco rotisserie chickens had like some kind of bleach or something. Like they were some kind of solution they were washing them off in. Have you heard about that shit? I'm sure. That's why you got to cook your own shit. Uh, I don't know about the bleach, but I mean, like to bulk up the chicken, you hear about some shady, they shady shit. It. They get, yeah, they, they, they inject it with water. Salt. Yeah, on, salt water. Uh, salt water so it holds. That's why they're salty. <laughs> 
I'm gonna but, find yeah, that just, buy, just buy your buy your own chicken. I'm telling you, the easiest way to do it, unless you got a you know, if you got a smoker or a good pellet grill or something easy, you can cook it in the oven too. Don't get me wrong, it'll be good. But you cook that motherfucker in the crock pot, motherfucker will be awesome. A beer, beer, beer can chicken? Like that's a, oh, wow, that's, that's, that's the end grill? of Dynamite. So all that was was a runover. They had a six-minute runover. Yeah, they did. They ain't going to like that. Nope. Oh, wait. Come on. So that's what that was, six-minute runover. And there you guys have it. There's Dynamite. Fuck off, Brad. What, what, were, they, what were they running over? They had a six-minute overrun. They had a six-minute overrun, too. That's what I'm no, saying. I mean, like, what I was the show that. they would have been showing? You know, uh, oh, a rerun or a movie? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. <laughs> Tim Tim Taylor Two Man. You know. Okay, now the, the Bulls and the Hawks are playing. Let's, uh, Sixteen to twelve Bulls in the first. All right. They're, they were favored to win. I don't know. These are those playing games, right? I mean, the... Yeah. Yeah. Lakers won last night. The Kings. I don't. Did this? I assume the Sixers won earlier. No, they're still playing. It was. Um, oh, no, no, they're not playing. Sixers. Sixers beat the Heat, one hundred five to one hundred four. So they're in the playoffs. Bulls are up seventeen or eighteen to twelve now. First quarter. There was a there was a rumor it said going around that Costco had was washing their uh, chickens in a chlorine solution. I think a lot of places do. What wash chicken? Yeah, because of all the my, what is it? Well, I mean the, the uh, shit you get from restaurants or... is probably different. You know? Get a Ronco Showtime rotisserie, set it, forget it. No, you just get you a raw chicken, Frank, and cook that motherfucker in a crock pot or your smoker. And but there is better. an option. It'll be better here. than anything at the store. There, there, is, get it. There, there is an article here talking about how uh, Costco has, I don't know, they do uh, nitro or nitro injections on their birds and uh, nitrate. Nitrate, yeah, nitrate injections. That Costco uh, itself does. Just chop a chicken's head off and defeather him and <laughs> soak him in some salt water or pickle juice for a while and then. It's or nitrate. Butter, or butter. Olive juice. juice. I like olive juice. And, and then just a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika, cumin, chili powder, etc. Whatever else. Maybe a little brown sugar. Does, does nitrate chicken well, no, it's, it's a sure, right? it's a flavoring type thing, like MSG or whatever. Who knows? You're not that's supposed the, to eat stuff with nitrates, but that's an everything. Nothing you get, nothing you get from the store is going to be good for you unless it's raw. You know, Costco rotisserie chickens are—they were never the best tasting. They were just the cheapest. You can get a full fucking bird for like four ninety nine. The master wise dog says, Rev, you should bleach that mattress. Pesci, you still have those chickens coming into your yard. I remember yeah. that story. Yeah, they still yeah. live across the street. FAA issues nationwide Probably like ten, twelve, maybe Alaska chickens. Airlines. Oh wow. The Federal Aviation Administration on Wednesday ordered a ground stop on all Alaska Airlines flights, with the exception of SkyWest Airlines. The reason was not immediately known. That's sure. what Punch is flying. Yeah, he's not, he's not flying Alaska. <laughs> Air, Alaska Airlines flights resume after a ground stop lifted. Oh, there you go. Six minutes ago. They got their old ass news. This breaking news. <laughs> this news has already been broadcast. Hey, update like your shit, brother. Oh, I'm just looking at my uh, push, <laughs> I'm looking at my, uh, push notifications. They're grounded for an hour. But all Did it say an hour? hour? Did it say why? Why would they ground the whole fucking airline? <sighs> Probably a computer glitch. I would. Computer glitch. 
Or they don't, they don't, they don't have enough workers and they decide they're covering behind you. Give, uh, give it up one time for the breaking news, bar, bar. Hold on, hold on. I didn't on. even say breaking news. I just read a headline. <laughs> um, it, it, says the, it says the aircraft experienced an issue while performing an upgrade to the system that calculates weight and balance. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty fucking up with me. Because yeah. that, that'll tell you whether Bullen, the, Bullen was on that flight with you. The, yeah, that'll tell you whether the plane can fly or not. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like you're putting all those maintenance people there. Basically, basically, the center of gravity on the plane has to stay in the middle, and you should the, you should theoretically be able to balance the plane on your finger at the middle of the plane, right? That's like one of the toys you get in a fucking thing, you know? I like Bart who feel like he got to dumb everything down for him. Oh, God. Reverend doesn't know fucking center of gravity limits, bro. Are you kidding? Why are you? That's just a guy, you're just a country boy, right? Hey, 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 how long? How ma- okay, I got a question. How many times has Reverend been like, sir, you're too big for this ride? Feel. You can go to hell. That's what I got to say about that. Yeah, I think. You, you know what? Fucking. Fuck you. Go eat me a piece of cake now. That shot. He was cooking cake the whole time. Imagine I'm a big that. dude, but I can't eat no sweets like that. Why the fuck is this shit in Spanish? Oh. I mean, Pe- Pesh is the only person I've ever seen in person. I mean, or not person, but you know, on, on camera, you know. I know he, he's not too husky, but I think the rest of us probably besides Barkley are fairly husky fellows, you know what I mean? I know I am. I am I'm too. Not, I'm, 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 I'm about a buck. Bar, Bar, Barkley, I can tell in his voice. He, he don't have it in him. You know, he, I'm about a buck sixty soaking wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half, he's a half pint. You know? I'm a full point. I'm a full pint, damn it. <laughs> yeah, that punch will. Yeah, that punch will. Yeah, that Wait a minute. Actually, I've, I've seen Schmidt. Schmidt, Schmidt, Schmidt he, he, he's a husky fella, too. I mean, he's a. Yeah, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. I like that, though. Break he's saying we're all. all he's saying we're all. Uh, we're all like, like uh, 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 Barkley and. Actually, this motherfucker seem like man, it feels good well, that you I'm know, the only one who loses their breath when they bend over pick some up. They're all there blowing, they're all there blowing so much dope, blowing so much dope, doing all those illegal drugs. Thank you, all right, skinny. thank you, Ed. You know, you know, is I just want to say, you know, Pesci's on skid to the cod. Why so skid? Damn nicknames does Barkley have now? Break or uh, breaking news, Barkley. Broke ass We can call him Broke Break. The I've Jewish never hammer. called him Breaking News Barkley. called Broke Ass in honor of Bowling. Let's just call him the new one, uh, uh, bro- uh, Breaking News Barkley. Motherfucker using dial up over there. Fake lawyer. I got fiber, bro. Breaking Broke News. Bowling's nicknames it's, hold water. That still sounds like dumb little boss, man. Yes, Fake, like lawyer. Fake lawyer. Fake lawyer. Wannabe that lawyer. Want, that wannabe lawyer. I should go I should just go to law I should just go to law school and then four years later throw it in Bowen's face. <laughs> now now what are you gonna say, bitch? He would, he would still have some he would still have you're something not gonna to say. Like of, course, this candy. of course. You're not gonna, I would you're expect not gonna nothing like that. You're not gonna like that. Broke back bar uh Frank says broke back Barkley. Pish. Gotta put Diddy Diddy in it. Pish, you're not gonna like this, but I voted for Trump. (laughs) That sounded more like Jake. I voted for Trump, too. 
a vote of true. Not and, boss, man. And, every election. I never voted for Trump. I voted for Trump in 2006. Oh, come on now. You're the racist. Bo- I, I, I know boss. I know, I know boss man. Didn't. Boss man voted for fucking Jill Stein. Yeah, exactly. Where do you, where do you nah. rank? Where do you rank boss man's intelligence after that line? I uh, I vote for. Uh, I always go for the libertarian. You vote for Ross Perot. And I'm better than better than. Yeah. I never voted and in my I'm life. And I'm better than Bowling. Yeah, Punch is the Michigan Mike tonight for the $10 donation. On a Saturday. Bossman did not vote, vote for Trump, QAnon. We He's a liar. Are... You know, if I wouldn't have voted for Trump, I would I probably wouldn't have been allowed back at the uh, Robbins family reunions. We are the let what them in. Let the Robbins in. family. Hell, Red was out there doing that shit. Let them oh, in. Let that them motherfucker. In. This He's reunion, they fucking wife. they have it in a fucking house where the carpet is just oh. a fucking Confederate flag. Let There's fucking me flaming in. torches let everywhere. <laughs> We are the... Oh, shit. It's crazy, man. They're made... And, I mean... We are the lads! <laughs> <laughs> You're what? The Robbins family goes deep back into the South. The bigger the business... Q&I Chapman says if boss man didn't vote for Trump, then Pesci doesn't smoke weed. Yeah, that's true. DC said boss man's still lying I, over here. Not shocked. Look, look at look at that Farver mustache he's rocking. You know he voted for Trump. The bigger the business. That motherfucker voted for Glout. Look, if you motherfuckers think I'm lying about voting for Trump, y'all don't know me very well. We're you not know, talking God about you, me. Jason. No, I don't think, yeah, yeah, I don't think we're going to question your vote. I don't doubt that for a second. I don't think we're going to question your vote. shitbag boss man. <laughs> Reverend can't even spell Democrat. A goddamn <laughs> wannabe Trump supporter boss, man. That goddamn old racist, homophobic Trump support shitbag over there. Oh, I'm trying to get you. Homophobic shitbag. I would love to do it. You know what my dream would be? You know what my dream show would be? It would be a spelling bee hosted by Pesci. And the contestants, oh would, the contestants would be Reverend Bolin and Jake Hudson. Fuck <laughs> I will pay for that show to get produced. I will pay big. Okay, can we throw in like a Rocco Giggle Pickles or Granny like as yeah, a wild card? I don't, I, if you want, but we I think we should cap the contestant numbers at five. Okay. No, I'm just saying just one of them can like randomly pop in for. Yeah, I mean, I would throw Jake. I would throw Jake a hundred. I would throw all the contestants a hundred for sure. <laughs> Barker is kidding. Fuck you. I'm taking that bud. Well, Jake's not as dumb as you might think he is. But can he no, oh, no. I, I, But being that doesn't mean he knows how to spell. We, like, we, we all, know, I'm not saying he does, but like I was, I would, don't, I wouldn't underestimate yeah. Jake. I would ask, I would ask Jake to spell, spell necessary. <laughs> Spell inconsequential. No, I'm I just want to hear. I just, I just want to hear Pesci pronounce these words. Yeah, that would be. That would, that's why I wanted him to be the host. Yeah. <laughs> it's D E M O C R A T. We had Pesci. Me and Bowen had Pesci guess the state capitals. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> He'd be like, Jake, <laughs> Jake, spell, spell. Uh, I'm trying to think of a word. I don't know. Fucking spell adventure. Can you use it in a sentence? So, so, somebody, find, somebody find that footage. Me and Bolin asking Pesci what the state capitals were of different states. That was a, oh. that was a good segment. Yeah, how many did he, Pesci get? He got a couple. He got the obvious ones, but he got a couple we didn't think he would get. Nice. But like fucking Providence or something? Yeah, well, that's what I want. I need to know how to spell. You got spell check. And you can just actually you can just hit the damn microphone no, button. No, because you, you have to be on you have to be on camera. I want to be able to see your hands. Q and I says Jake does know how to spell Mississippi. 
The bigger the business, business that's good. You is can what we all day. fear, but the bigger the, the bigger business, business, it gets me oh, in you, you here. Spell we are the lives. Hey, Pesci, Everybody so can this spell Mississippi. This, right. this, this this part of Zelda that I'm in right now, this is a lot like Souls. Like I'm like, oh, okay, I finally got. Die! Me. Boss man, you should make two hundred dollars a month, and he came over here with this racist homophobic Trump blowing shit that we had to block him. Don't get your life back. The bigger the business is what we all fear. Mark, Mark. We are the Go lives. G V A. What are you doing? What are you doing? A. I don't know. You don't have to start spelling words, Reverend. It's all right. I believe. Are you, you. having a stroke, Rev? <laughs> no. Mary had a little M. <laughs> we I'm, I'm are the, we are the, we are the lives. I'll be a part of it. I, I'll lose the fucking. I'm not, I'm not that. Uh, I'm the uh, fucking speller. But I can spell M O N E Y. The bigger the business is what we all fear, but the bigger the business. <laughs> we all the, we all the lives. Rev is saying the alphabet, says Frank. We all the, we all the. Oh, we all, we all. Jungle up. You know, man, like, fucking, I used to could do, like, math in my head, like, fucking just snap it off, man. Now it's just, like, I'm, like, having to fucking, like, pull out the calculator on my phone, man. It's like, shit. <laughs> What's two plus two? Hold on, let me bring out the calculator. <laughs> you know? I hope he wouldn't need a calculator for that one. You know, it's like 38 plus 49 or something like that. You know. 87. The bigger the business is what we all... For me, it's, for me it's measurements that aren't fucking grams to ounces. The milliliters, if, liters, I'm not good at that shit. You know? Shaman says if Bossman didn't vote for Trump, why was he at the insurrection wearing a MAGA hat? <laughs> well, Bob, we we always knew. We knew. What did we say? Two weeks? <laughs> rhymes with DeSantis. Controlling dreams. I was thought that was Barkley, the rhymes with DeSantis. I was like, what? It don't make sense. You know? It's a joke. I know. It was, so, it was something I started. We and stuck. I said, well, I was pretending I was bowling, cutting a promo on Barkley. And I'd said the whole. Oh, I'm yeah, the yeah, I understand now. Before. That's oh, something, bowling, bowling, that's actually, something bowling would say, though. He would say something. Oh, like yeah, that. definitely. <laughs> yeah, I thought he actually oh, said yeah. it. <laughs> no, see, that's how good I was. No, it was me doing an impression. It was me doing an impression of Bolin, and then Schmidt and them liked it so much they kept yeah, it going. Dope smokers over there, you know, the Confederates, you know. Over there blowing dope, right wing supporting, Trump supporting, racist, homophobic shit bag over there. And they got the other guy. Remember that guy? He, he sent me a penny. Yeah, he's over there too. All people I block, people that stalk my family. They listen to Leonard Skinner. They're having a rally over there. AEW warned over Nyla Rose. I wonder what that's about. AEW warned over Nyla Rose. I wonder what that's about. That's the tranny. Uh, what's wrong with Leonard Skinner? Nothing. I'm just, all I'm just, the bigger the uh, reverend uh, is what we all uh, fear. Oh, yeah, they're all the originals. <laughs> yeah, Gary, Gary Ross has died since then. He's, he's, uh, been... Yeah, they're all dead. Be a simple kind of They've been a cover band for a long time. I always thought Skinner was a little overrated. 
Look, I always thought it was funny that the dude, the dude that that smell was written about, you know, like the guy who's like the biggest scumbag, was the guy that lived the longest, you know, like whiskey bottles, brand new car, whiskey bottles, brand new Schmidt, smell, oak tree in my hazelwood. It's too much coal when I train. When bowling's inside you, hell yeah. You and I, Shaman says, it's, it's only all the people I've gotten rid of. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even trying to envision that. Well, <laughs> hey, now, now Michigan Mike donated $10 over here. What's bowling going to have to say about that? I sound like some duty shit. What happened? What happened, Pudge? When you say a bowling inside of you, I'm like, oh, shit, that's some dirty shit. <laughs> Owen has his finger in the youth of America. Punch, you know. I'm not insane inside of me. I'm talking about inside of you. <laughs> nah. The finger the bit yeah, me. is what we all Never me. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Fire bark. No one Oh, black kitty. So, is there anyone that can help me? Ooh, that up? smell! Is there anyone that can help me set up a pay per view for this Granny Rocco fight? Liar! We don't set lies up. Uh, Count me that's out. Where I'm gonna make my money. What's Count me out. Bone fight. Granny's got a pretty yeah, bum, big eye. They were doing bum fights. Yeah. Called liars. Granny's got a big Bum audience. Fight. I can get the little family to follow. Uh, what's his name? Rocco. It's called Live Fight. Put a Go, put a Go Find Me on there. Yeah, you, you just stream it on YouTube and then uh, have Super Chat set up to somebody's channel. Or, or Ooh, that or smell! You just put a but no. I want him to have to pay to watch it. How do you make him pay to watch? Well, you you could do it like members only on somebody's channel. Like Jacobs or the Little Family or whatever, one of those people. I think when they see the contestants, they just gonna walk away. Nah. nah you know, there's, a couple, there's a couple hundred people that will will watch. The, the, just spend your wealth on your wealth. Yeah, the same ones that <laughs> will pay money when they paid money to for Granny to shave his asshole. Or right, right, yeah, but you gotta realize Rocco has a, like a group of a couple hundred people that. Want to see him get his ass kicked? So, Granny, seems, Granny just seems like the kind of guy that, you know, kind of that, you know he he fights he like you know he he like throw he like flails his arms in front of him and does like little slapping scratching thing kind of thing. Yeah, well, he Granny ran from the know. he ran from the gay guitar yeah. player. Granny he ain't fighting nobody, nobody, bro. Come on. And just oh, that smell. Him and uh, Jake Blars. You can tell Jake Blars ain't a tall guy, but he makes Granny look small. You know. <laughs> hey, I always bring this up, but you should see that. He should uh, show you that picture of him standing next to uh, uh, badass Billy Gunn. Yeah. Jacob, I'm tired, hey, bro. Gonzo, oh. Gonzo says, "Boss man, I promise you this. I guarantee this. Rocco will not be an easy person to work with." Yeah, I'm sure. Of that. <laughs> is, he, is he still? Is he still on his Jesus shit? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's great. No, but but Dude, he streams for hours every day, like doing takes his shirt off and like shadow boxes and punches apparently, the wall. Uh, apparently, he was on Jacob Waters show tonight. But Jacob's convinced that it's not the real Rocco, that he's been replaced. Oh, yeah. has he? He's a clone That's what he man. claims, yeah. I'm like, really? You actually believe this? He's like, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, I can tell. That's great. Nobody, nobody would waste their time. Jake, God bless Jacob Waters, man. He's the What's fucking man. I think it was Gonzo. I think it was Gonzo who said that. He goes, Rocco is not important enough to this clone. Right. That's what I say. Nobody would waste their time. Take it back to the rank. Yeah, if, if the sheriff came back, Gonzo, like, oh, Gonzo was sure. coming of a night there. And Gonzo was there. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Think Gonzo was queer. He's not important <laughs> enough to clone. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. Gonzo's right. He says he calls his mom. Yeah, Rocco calls his mom on the trolls. He does. To be on stream, but mom, let me tell you, guess what they did this time? Oh, I have no idea. Why did he sound like 
L.A. Knight with a New York accent. Let me talk yeah. to you. <laughs> Let me talk to you, Rocco. Hey, Ma. Yeah. Well, your fucking credentials, Pesci. That's the clip I want to hear, man. He's over here with his fucking clipboard. What are your fucking oh, credentials? Yeah, that's I, where have, I want to hear that clip. I have all those hit, clips. Hitting the fucking lighter and hitting the I ball. I posted them in the shit a long time ago. Of him Mark, see if you can figure. find that one. I want that one. Yeah, I got all them. Well, he's taking a real good one. Uh, uh, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I, I got that, too. Cause this shit ain't weed, you know. We, we, yeah, we, like, like, we like, don't light up like that. You're smoking some shit. Yeah, we don't light up like that. I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, you're toasting the glass, dude. And if you did have a lighter, that motherfucker. Going going to, yeah, that's true. Up. That's true. Q and on Shaman's right. Rocco thinks this is actually going to happen, and Boss Man has ten grand for the winner. You better come through, Boss Man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that fucking liar. Don't be on that jig of water shit. <laughs> Oh, granny, oh, granny, not granny, granny. Unless you front him his, his share anyway, right? Well, yeah, granny, hold on, says, hold on. granny says, I want 2500 up front. I'm like, Granny, it's winner take all. He's like, no, no, I want a share of it no matter what. I'm like, no, that's not. I mean, you just, you just go in and take a dive, you know? Right. I'm do that. No, winner takes all. Winner Fuck, takes all. People, you guys sound like his, fucking clucks. His people will crowdfund him. They'll pay for him to fly there or whatever. People in his community would pay for yeah, it. Yeah, then he wanted I, me to put. He wanted trans and all. All, uh, all I have to do is show up, and I can win ten grand if I beat this guy up. I'm telling what you, though, Rocco, 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 Rocco would win that fight, though. I'm afraid to say for Granny, Rocco would. Win. Oh, Rocco would kill him. As long as you're uh, equal, e equal party to make sure nobody has nothing on them. <laughs> Roman Reigns in Hollywood. Is he acting? I want to see uh, Jay Walks versus uh, Jacob Water. That's what I want to see. Oh, no. Yeah, that would. Jay I don't want to see that because it's gonna be yeah. fucking gross. Yeah, we don't know. Jay walks. Jay walks doesn't need to get punched no. anymore at all. Uh, I, I see Jay walks going for somebody, somebody's eyes, and no one's expecting it, you know. And, uh, yeah, we don't need somebody to get hurt. Yeah. Unless Jacob it's Bar Granny. Jacob Bars will think it's a fight. Jay walks is going. Like, yeah. Unless it's Rocco or Granny, then we don't care. Because let's face Thank it, you, Granny will get knocked out and just laugh about it. It turned into like a skit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Walk, Jay Walks, yeah. and Jacob. Jay Walks and Jacob actually know how to fight. Granny and Rocco don't, so nobody's really gonna get hurt unless it's an accident. Rocco is not beating Granny in anything. Gonzo, there's no way. I think I think Rocco would would beat Granny for real. Didn't you see Granny fight the gay guitar guy? He couldn't throw a punch at him. I mean, maybe he didn't want to as well, I guess. He's just he running. Yeah, ran the whole time. Maybe, maybe he just didn't want to punch him. I don't know. I guess that's possible. I think he would try to punch Rocco for sure. I don't think he's going to hold back against him. He currently thinks Boss Man is going to put restrictions on him. Cost him the fight. To cost him the fight. Wow. Yeah, if I can get somehow this pay per view, but they're they're not getting a dime of that money. That that all goes to me. I just gotta figure out how to do it. What do you think? What do you think is gonna fight, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Boss Man. Hey, goddamn I know, I know like some uh, Nick Gula shit right there. Boy, boy, I know that. I know that Ken, you talked to Ken Boland with his old contacts in the. Oh yeah, I'll get uh, Al Snow involved for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you and Kim, you and Kim Bolin are co-promoting with a distribution. Living in America. <laughs> Living in America. <laughs> I, I think people would pay ten bucks to see that. Oh, I would. I'd, I'd pay ten bucks to see that. Maybe two. Uh, I, I'm telling you, Rocco would knock him out. Because no, like Rocco has way more anger and aggression to want to fight. Granny's just drunk and happy and fucking whatever. You know what I mean? Unless he had some real beef with the guy, he don't want to fight. Yeah, but like, like Granny, I think is still like a normal functioning person. Like, 
Rocco, I think, is like a depleted. Like his, his body is depleted. Like he, he probably has no muscle like whatsoever. You know, like. I mean, I don't know. Rocco, uh, Rocco does. Yeah, he's been flexing. Going yeah. granny. What he's got. I mean, gra granny at least still like, goes and paints or whatever he does for a real job. You know, is a. Uh... Rocco's been going to the gym. So he's, yeah, but uh, yeah, but yeah, but granny drinks like eighteen thousand beers a day. This is why Granny will win. Rocco won't be able to hurt a drunk Granny. Drunk now that now that may be possible, God, though. A drunk people never get hurt. That is possible. Reverend, they want to know what you're cooking. Well, pet you mean, <laughs> drunk people get drunk people get hurt. It's just not immediately. You know? He's that making. Thought he was asleep. He's making the cake. Will Pesci be taking bets on the Rocco versus Granny fight? Oh, if it happens, I'm sure he would. Rocco would hit him with his crack rock punch and win his album. So, Pesci, you see my the screen that I'm sharing? This is called the number one punch, yeah. baby. You see how that heart has a break through it, and I can't, I can't get it back. Every time an enemy down here in the depths hits me, I lose one of my hearts, and you can't get it back until you find the shrine. So it's kind of soulsy in that aspect. Living in America. America. <laughs> and in a live golf world. Is that what they play when they're at live golf? That song? <laughs> no. Rocco. Can you imagine that? Yeah, I think Rocco wins though. Oh no! So, so it's, a, it's a weird. Schmidt. Apparently, uh, Greg Norman didn't get an invite to the Masters this year. So he had to go to he had to go to the secondary market to get a ticket. But the thing is, is you're not allowed to resell your master's ticket. It says it right in the contract that you sign. You know, you have to you have to apply. There's an application process for master's tickets and there's a lottery every year. But they 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 know which ticket they sell to each person. So the poor sap that sold his fucking ticket to Greg Norman is probably going to get a letter in the mail in the next couple of weeks letting him know that he's not allowed back ever again in a, at Augusta National. Wow. Can you imagine selling your ticket and Greg Norman buys it? You're fucked. He's the commissioner. Oh, he's the commissioner of Live Golf. Like, oh yeah, we know who you are now. <laughs> the thing is, it's like he literally filmed a 30 for 30 out there like a year and a half ago. And they let him walk the course and play holes by himself. So like, it's just crazy. Like he couldn't get a he couldn't get a ticket to the Masters. He had to go buy one. He's a commissioner of the the league that the defending champion. Seems like saying? it's a it's a to build the story. Like I'm yeah, and I, I thought yeah, and I thought I thought PGA like said that they weren't going to hold anything against anybody. Well, the the Masters is not run by the PGA. The Masters is run by Augusta, Augusta National Golf Club. They control every. They control the TV broadcast. They control everything about that tournament. CBS gets a one-year contract every year. They get a one-year contract. Oh, if they fuck up, they can. Yeah. One year there was a there was a female commentator. You know how like when you hit your your golf ball down the fairway on on a fall day and a, a piece of mud will stick to it. It's called a mud ball, right? Right. You're, that's a banned word at Augusta National. And there was a CME, CBS commentator that called a called it a, a mud ball, and she was fired that night. <laughs> wow. Why is it banned? It's just not a word they like. There's a whole list of things. Yeah, it's like unsatisfactory. I mean, Augusta is a banned word. Yeah, because they they don't they don't want you to think that their course wasn't properly whatever. Yeah, it's like Disney World type shit. No, here's no the, way there could ever be mud or dirt here, sir. Here's, yeah. here's, the, here's the full list of banned phrases. Uh, Baba Booey, Mashed Potato. Oh, these are for the fans. Oh, wow. So if you say this stuff in the gallery, you'll get kicked out of the chorus. One Where of the them white is, women at? Hey, Pe Pesci Living this in America. <laughs> this, is, this is a banned phrase at Augusta National on the list. Dinklage for president. <laughs> Lindsay Mann says, on, what Bob, is Vince Bob. McMahon doing Twitch all 
the shares he's selling. And did you see the video of him walking into a restaurant with a walker? Time has crept Vince, up on uh, him. Vin, Vince he just sold had, the he rest said, of his, he just had he back surgery, surgery, didn't he? Yeah, he had he had he had back surgery. He That's sold the rest of his TK, he sold the rest of his TKO shares. I know that. Allegedly, anyway. Wouldn't it be I funny if he started his own company again? Like, if he started another company, company, like yeah. how long he'd have to wait, you know? Bro, he can't start another company at his age. No, it was like a hypothetical, you know, where he could, yeah, like, yeah. Where he could like. No, wait people out, did like, say that, like, though, hypothetically. They were saying it. I'll have to give Rev Sauce a lot of credit because Rev Sauce was the first person I ever heard suggest that idea. You know, what if Vince McMahon oh, sold he did all of his, his own thing? He did. <laughs> No, I'm saying Rev Sauce like a month and a half ago was talking, and no one else. Yeah, like, what what network? Unless it was like all internet, I guess. But I'm sure Vince. Vince has enough friends at NBC and other places. He, 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 could, he could get a fucking TV deal on some channel. You know, may not be cable. He might he'll, just be a silent he'll, partner. He'll get a he'll get a deal. He'll get a TV deal with BET. <laughs> Living in America. Sorry, is, doing is Vin, with Vin, all Vince these years. Vince was a do rag on. <laughs> oh, ECW champion Vince. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was great. No chance, cause that's what you got. Yeah, I wanted to, it would have been amazing if that music hit at WrestleMania this year. No, ch crazy politicians, and you know you got no chance. Just to fuck with people. No chance in bowling. Oh, you got Schmidt on your show. <laughs> I don't care how much pasta you bring me, Schmidt. Don't come back here. You're banned for life, motherfucker. You are who you stand by. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down, <laughs> Get down to down that. Tonight. Get down oh, to that. Out of the three do bands a little that dance. I said, out of the three bands that I said were my favorite, which ones do you like, Anthony? Earth, Wind, and Fire, Cool the Gang. <laughs> Hey, Poncho, <laughs> Chubby Mom's got the best thumbnail of That's all time. That's how you know right he's now. not a real oh, person, yeah. man. It's just total. It's like a meme list of these are my top three favorite musicians. He's not a real human, bro. He's a fucking living parody. Get down tonight. People say Rev Sauce is a living Do a little meme. day. No, is a Make a meme. little low. Best thumbnail uh, perpetrating a fraud. Get down tonight. And if Casey and the Sunshine Band is your favorite of all time, you're, you're making making little little low. That's like some school, up, yeah. It's like some school shooter shit, man. Like that guy that shot up well, Virginia Tech. Well, show. And a guy doesn't supposedly not do drugs. Like I, I can see if, right. like, if he did drugs and he's his age, uh -oh. he might like Casey and the Sunshine Band. You like this? Uh oh, your boy's here, Schmidt. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. <laughs> The, the man black dude. Johnny Cash. Make a little, uh, make a little low. Hold on. Hold on. Reverend, how's the, how's the cake? John how's the cake, Reverend? <laughs> Johnny Cash says, I just want to let everyone know that you should donate to the Star Maker Volan. He does a lot for the Philippines. Your money can work wonders there. Sir Joseph Pesci loves him like a father. Step. Um, just real quick, if I do a if I do a quick Google search, uh, if I do a quick Google search, you can donate to Bowen or you can donate to Save the Children in the Philippines, which has been around since 1981. SaveTheChildren.org, the children.org. You can donate there. Uh, in fact, I see a Wikipedia, I see a Wikipedia page here, list of charities in the Philippines, and I do not see. Uh, the Bowen Foundation. <laughs> Only <laughs> in America. What was that? Hey, what was that? Pesci Living in America. Pesci, what was that with the fucking Michael Jackson? The, Heal the world. <laughs> Make it a better place. Look at him. We are the world. Donate to the Philippines and the entire human race. 
We are the lights. Ten hours of Firelink Shrine music. Johnny oh, Cash man. is a uh, Baldwin and Pesci supporter. Right. Nothing wrong with that. The man in black. And I don't be bowling. What have I become? <laughs> My sweetest friend. Black Ocean. <laughs> Black Ocean. Won't so you come? He covered that song from who? Yeah, dude, I cannot listen to that version. That's awful. Lost the rain, lost the Bible way. <laughs> Black I hole bowling, won't you come? come? Come and save Jelly Bean. Black hole Bob, won't you come? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That's Soundgarden, right? Yes. Black yeah. hole yeah. Bob, won't you come? The bowling yeah, Gonzo, Granny fought that gay guitar guy. Yeah, you have to probably find it on his Twitch or something. I'll just ask Granny. He'll send you the footage. He don't care. But he fought yeah, that like, gay guitar I feel like guy. Granny was sending you the footage of him getting his ass whooped. <laughs> Black hole, son. Won't Johnny you Cash. come? Johnny Cash says Bob Hazelwood is the best in the business at what he does. <laughs> is Bob back on the show again? No. no. I don't know yet. Must be on you know he's coming back. And I'm better than better than. It's the vacation arc before like the big summer yeah, you premiere. Know Kenny, will, Kenny will call him crying. He might have a colonoscopy scheduled or something. It's all a work, man. Can we? Well, when is Mountain Hammer coming back? We need Mountain Timer. Got a new lady, man. Oh, he can still make an appearance. Nah, he's he's too busy. Boss man, go steal his woman so we can have him back. <laughs> make it happen. You're the you're closest to him. I can yeah. see Rock over his grand and boss man wants to have let me ask a uh, round card girl. That's right. Well, he might he might she'll do it. I'm sure if he offered money, she would do that. I guarantee that. <laughs> Should be like five hundred dollars. All right, here we go. <laughs> what do you want to have her wearing, boss man? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. A, sh a picture with him on her shirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. If he's not over there smoking dope and playing video games, he's definitely going back. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a blow up doll. It might be. Might got, you know, he probably paid for one of those real dolls. You know, he spent the big bucks. Oh, there's robots. It's got like a portable vagina you can put in the microwave and warm it up, I guess, you know, whatever. What? Oh, you didn't see that shit? Uh uh. Oh, I, I've seen a documentary about the real dog. <laughs> Howard Stern used to joke about them. Yeah, Eric Howard Stern Midget. used to, I remember Howard Stern the, the, would always. Uh, he they're going to make one of Eric the Midget. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They can make them like of your favorite celebrity. Their dimensions or whatever. Well, if those dumbasses are drinking to, uh, celebs, alleged celebs piss, then I mean, well, they said that uh, the bath water. The thing, the thing that like the companies here thank, thank, thank Allah or Yahweh or whatever that they uh, don't have them here, but in other countries where it's not a big deal, I guess, or not against the law, they make real dolls of like children and shit, bro. No, I mean, no, I've no seen shit. that. Yeah. 
Like in America, you can't get that shit shipped here officially. You know, they ain't gonna make it from the real company or whatever. Yeah, someone but trying yeah. to justify it by saying, "Well, if they have real, those, they won't." Oh, yeah, they won't no. No. he's like, they, yeah. they won't hurt real children. Like, yeah, 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 sure. No, they're just practicing, bro. Motherfucker orders one of those. You should like investigate them. I was just saying, but anyway. But yeah, that though that's some that's crazy. Like how much? It's just crazy how much money dudes will spend for a like. There's no women buying those dolls. Let's face it. Yeah. Well, dude. Hey, when he got it, what, what's wrong with whacking off, dude? Well, it depends on your state. Like down here, we can't watch porn. Yeah, but you could. There's you got VPNs. There's ways around it. Yeah, but spend a hundred dollars a year just to watch some fucking porn. You got a well, reservation, your, I guess. You know? I mean, yeah, you could I'm just ready. get. You could have to go back to Boss Man days and get the Sears catalog. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you gonna do that? There's no more Sears. Well, I guess you have to get Maxim magazine or Good Housekeeping. Order some back issues. Bro, this is, you can tell Schmidt ain't been out in a long time. All this shit <laughs> no. His porn is outdated. Bro. It's outdated like a motherfucker. I'm surprised he ain't said the Source magazine. Oh, you shit. got a VHS? You gonna put it in? Yeah, hey, yeah. Fuck. Have you not watched cable television, sir? They have, they have, they have titties that on shit. cable. They have titties on cable television, bro. You know the only yeah, porn that we have you? down here that some skin of Max. Require, skin of Max. Yeah, there you go. Do your I better thing, go buddy. on X. Well, do your thing. There's um, always ways around. There's, re there's Reverend. Or, I'm not or, been asleep this whole time. You hey, didn't even check him this whole time, Reverend? Re or you could just find you a new woman, Punch. That that could be an option, too. You can find you the real thing. I do, but sometimes they want money. They ain't got money for that. Well, Giggle Pickles doesn't require a lot of money, bro. I ain't talking about no relationship. What the hell is that? I ain't no relationship. <laughs> Who shit is blaring? Oh, oh hang on. <laughs> Turn that fucking Pickleball this... Crane shit down. Yeah. Well, the, uh, uh, the power crane. keeps tripping. I'm trying to turn this TV off. You said a TV, on. that fucking fraud TV, huh? I Fucking told liar. you, bro. You need, you need hey, to I'm, I'm in my, my landlord. Look at that garage. liars around the TV. Hey, Hello, sweetheart. Liar, Shout mine. out to Miss D. You need a liar thing, something like the other. Liar. Liar. Hello, Miss D. I'm in the garage. It's not mine. Hey. Liar. Pesci, look up the song. Pesci, look up the. And, he, and he's an old punk. What the hell's this sick bastard doing in a garage around a television at 7 o'clock at night? Pesci, Pesci, look up the song it. Liar by Henry Rollins from Black Flag. I I thought thought he he the the He's in his landlord's garage, he said. Be like, every time Boston Hello, comes Misty. in, I'm a liar. <laughs> I thought I had to <laughs> get Oh, okay. They both. That's gonna be that's gonna be Boss Man's theme song now. Henry Rollins, I'm a liar. Oh, I can't find the on off switch. No, it just keeps tripping the breaker keeps tripping and there's can't find the on off switch yeah. of the television. He doesn't have one and the, the How the mighty have fucking right fallen. Remote. Hey, well, tell the motherfucker. I, hey, boss, boss man, I just got a rent. notification. It says, it says, uh, Rocco is live, boss man. I just got the notification. Rocco's modern life. Rocco's modern life. Good show. Uh, new tip, I can find that clip for you, uh, boss man. All right. I can't figure out how to turn this TV off. No, nah, there's the remotes, uh, not the right he remote. He ain't watched no one in a long ass time. Mic drop! He doesn't, know how, to he doesn't know how to use one. It's been a long time. Mic drop. Let's hey, see if my microwave strips the circuit. I told you that mother, that's how about he's been build, uh, making a Well, mother, I mean, you know. No one was close now. Boss man lives in a goddamn garage out back in fucking East LA. Give him a goddamn. No, my my landlord's always get this bum out of here. East LA. Yeah. Get him. 
Now, he's always he's complaining about the, he does electric bills, bills 700 a month. Well, he's got three TVs, two in the living room, one in the garage, and they're always on. Well, TV, TVs don't cost shit for electricity, boss. Man. Well, when you have three of them. Yeah, one, there, there's three, one and the other guys. So five. There's five the of them in the house going on. The shit that costs money is the... Is the uh, stove you, and the furnace and the fucking dryer to like the <laughs> hot water? Yeah, but he's got too much stuff going. Yeah, if, you don't, about... if you don't have all the new LED lights and shit, yeah, they'll. The, if you have old type type lights, yeah, that'll burn your shit up. Well, if your bill's seven hundred a month, I wouldn't leave everything on. No, yeah, if it's seven hundred a month, you might want to like you know downgrade. I'm back in the garage, so I'll put you on mute. Hey, which one of y'all motherfuckers said that uh, Rocco smoked meth? Pesci. Hey, I thought he smoked crack. <laughs> I never said that. I said it looked like he took a hit of crack on my fucking yeah. show. Yeah. Pesci said, look, he hit the big fucking pipe, and then he's like, what are you That's crack. That ain't shot, meth. Pesci. I said hey, crack, look. not meth. <laughs> That's what his uh, answer was to that. Yeah. To, to be fair, me and Pesci and all of us, we thought crack. Because, like, he, I remember Pesci, he, like, leans down and it's like, oh. we thought crack. I mean, just stereotyping where he lives in the country, I would assume crack, but it could be meth, you know? Look, this is Rocco talking about real. Hold on. Huh? Look, Rocco. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. And we got Mr. Bible, Red Brain. In the Red Brain, but I know I talk bad about people that I don't even know from a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh too. All right. He's supposed to be an old big monster, reverend, whatever you want to call him. And he said that and he talks crap about people. That's He's supposed to be a reverend. And I don't want to be a liar. Yeah. Uh, those guys like to watch wrestling men in tights. I don't understand anybody who likes to sit there and watch <laughs> men in tights. Men in tights. Men in tights. You know, well, he's just the the laughing. Men in tights. Men in tights. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're men uh, and tights. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> now, there was back in the day, back in my day in the 80s, you know, the 70s and the 80s. Oh, giggle yes, Pickles. Do, <laughs> hey, Giggle Pickles is a goddamn tra national treasure, I'm telling you. Legend. What, what, what Legend. was that speed of get, Giggle Pickles been doing? Like, what do they call them? Cross tops, black views? I mean, what is it? No, uh, uh, Giggle, Giggle Pickles ain't, dude, uh, at least she's smarter than Rocco. Giggle Pickles was off. way more over than Boss Man was. Yeah, Giggle Pickles gets off the internet. She's smart enough to disappear, unlike Rocco. All right, uh, um, Stanley Steamer gets ready. Yo, shit, cleaner! cleaner. Well, uh, man, have, have a fun day tomorrow, crashing forklifts and... Goddamn hustling man whore old men for blow jobs and hand jobs on the street for two in New York and Stanley Steamer. Supposed to be his day off tomorrow, I think. Oh, oh you're off tomorrow, man? <laughs> Even better. <laughs> it's off today, but I wasn't. Oh. So do you work Saturday then, Ref? I have no idea, man. Oh, okay. no Thank you for no the super Sunday, chat, Von right? Pyro. He said he's hey, donating for some soap on the rope. Wash Rev's mouth out each time he embellishes. So, no, no, no Sunday, Rev, you said? I don't open Sunday, no, sir. Okay, well, that's good. Every Sunday, I'll, I'll take the money. I'm sorry, guys. I will. Well, <laughs> have a good night. Enjoy your, enjoy your large chocolate <laughs> cake. I'm just, I'm tired, man. I don't <laughs> Easy, Rev. You guys have a uh, pleasant day and a happy tomorrow. Fuck off, Brad. I'll be at the auction tomorrow, Rev. Okay, Rev buddy. I'll be praying for you. I'll probably be. I'll probably be working. Oh, wait a minute. Quit trying to crack me out, you hillbilly bastard. I don't know what you're talking about. Get the hell out, you old 
Carolina cocksucker. I'll give you five minutes and your internet will go out. But you are one of them cocksuckers, ain't you? <laughs> I want to find out why AW was warned over the tranny. I did get the last uh, minute of it where um, Samoa Joe was fighting the uh, other guy. Swerve! And the steam will get your shit cleaner. They should change the theme song to that. <laughs> they should. Living in America. <laughs> Boom. Thank you, Ed. Did you, ever, did you ever see the fucking James Brown interview where he's fucking tired yeah. on fucking cocaine and just... <laughs> Who who was that damn interviewer? And she was sitting I look there good. I look good. I feel good. I make love good. Yeah, that well, was a huge trip. Well, Schmidt, it works. Living in J Walks. It works, Schmidt. I got the TV off and the circuit didn't blow this time. What's wrong with the TV? Hey, hey, hey duck, duck. No, I get, I'm trying to use the uh, microwave. It kept blowing hey, the circuit. Hey, hey, duck a muck, duck a muck is in Rocco's chat. He says, boss man is already talking to sponsors for the fight. Granny has asked for 2000 up front. Boss man told him it's winner take all. Rocco's live? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know Rocco still goes live. Oh, dude, he goes live all the time, every day. Well, it's, not, really, it's, not, it's not really Rocco's. No, he's live. No, I mean, that's what Jacob said. That's not real. Wait a minute. What does the microwave have to do with the TV? Kept blowing the circuit. Kicking breakers. The microwave is. It's on too many. He ain't got enough amps in his house wherever the microwave is hooked up. Oh, no, when there's five TVs running a fish tank, all the lights are on. You know, I'm like, damn, dude. Turn the shit off. They've got a motorhome out front, one out back. They're all on the circuit. He's got two motorhomes that are plugged in. Well, yeah, he rents them out for some. He, he lives in California, uh, dude. They got the fucking. Living in a big golf world. Yeah. They want to call Kentucky full of hillbillies. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got That's everything on one plug. It's like, dude, that doesn't. Yeah, work you that can't. Way. Yeah, you can't do that. You, you have to get. <laughs> Like each motorhome should have a dedicated breaker, like a hot tub or a pool. Yeah. yeah. Like a 30 amp, at least a 30 amp. Yeah, but this ain't a campground, Schmidt, you know? <laughs> well, well, as much as that motherfucker's probably charging him, he should be. Uh, sounds like someone living him. in front Guess of Guess what? <laughs> for, a, for an electrician that's a decent electrician, like that, you know, like somebody, like a friend of a friend, you probably get, you could get that done for $500. Both. Both of them get their own little plug. It's fucking a 30 minute job. Dude, he built this little shed. And if you measured, I would say it's maybe five feet by maybe eight feet, the living room. And there's a uh, toilet, a shower, and a sink. And he's renting it for 700 a month. Yeah. Rev, you better get on his ass, man. <laughs> what? My Rocco, we were talking about uh, but this right here is what you're talking about, pissing you know? Or the rim needs to lose some weight. <laughs> we can make this a comedy hour, just like we made the comedy hour. By the oh way, God. I don't smoke uh, mints. Um, I'm a cowboy killer. <laughs> uh, you got me mistaken there, Pesci boy. Pesci um, boy. And Pesci the way, boy. it's kind of funny. You don't even know what slander means, but yet you've been to prison. And your name is Butcher. Your name is the, you know, yeah. It's because you don't go to prison for slander, bro. You're a tough guy. That's far. You prey upon weak individuals. And anybody. <laughs> Like, uh, you know, Jake Hudson, the way you treat that man, I, if I was him, I hope he keeps you blocked. And, and if, I have my, if I have my ways, 
in which I could find my ways because you don't know me that well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it was real funny. Granny was a real, uh, you know, he's the one who needs mental health. <laughs> Um, and you know, mm, true, great. If I can use some mental health, <laughs> I've done certain things. Is my alters of energy have actually altered Alter. things and shifted things in time? Oh, um, kind of like paradoxic. What? Uh, <laughs> and um, I've changed things really. All uh, right, Red. He said you need to lose some weight. Red's a rocket. Yeah. <laughs> you need to get on his ass, bro. What's that, man? <laughs> but he said, "What could, what kind of reverend talks down on people? He got you already as an ordained minister and all that shit, bro." Damn reverend that I've ever fucking interacted with has talked shit about people behind her back and fucking just they talk shit to their face, but they'll do it in a loving way. I just, you're also like really overthinking this because that dude's like not like a functioning member of society. You know, like that dude's a... Well, I'm just thinking to myself, how many people actually heard that? But nine, ten people at most. How many views did that get? Hey, this is the one where he's talking about like why he didn't go live with Pish. Oh, I'm going to ask him a bunch of questions. We're going to play the psychiatrist game tonight. Well, you know what? I'd like to know where you got your degree, where you mastered. What What? What do you have to prove? You're a felon. You tell everybody. Oh, I'm a time felon. I believe it's four, he said. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know about that. I'm four, but. Five, 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 you have no five, 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 uh-oh. Where you need to be called out. Taking just... advantage of people is not a nice thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hurtful thing. And I'm being take, very calm with everybody. Taking advantage it's of people. Funny. Who the fuck did I take advantage of? <laughs> take knows. advantage of people, Pesci. Yeah, there's a lot of liars out there. And there's a lot of people out there that are trying to create problems for others. Him and Giggle Pills need to get a show together. In the future, they, they do. Rather than moving backwards. They gotta get a show together again. Mm-hmm. What am I gonna find? Oh, Gonzo, put a link so we can watch it. Yes, you'll play it. All we have is the now. Wait a minute, Walt. That's all we have. Bro. Love Later, you, Walt. Walt. I want to know Damn. what the fuck you get for being a felon. What the fuck is hey, he talking hey, about? Hey, hey, Pesci. Gonzo says you all should watch the video of the guys who brought an apple to Rocco today. Gonzo, if you can send the link, we'll get Pesci to put it up on the screen so we can all watch Apple? It. Wait, what? Do you watch the guys that brought him an apple? They, br- they brought him an actual apple, right? Gonzo, is that what he says? Gonzo, explain it. And I'm better than better than. All right, I'm going to bed. Thank God. Yeah, shut up, Smith. Piece of shit, nothing. You know, here's the thing, Reverend. You know, I know that your wife is leaving you because you're not a good person. But hey, you know, Reverend, will say you should go back to the Lord and preach the good word and take old lady social security money. Before you You're go to bed, bro, you was asleep earlier. This is what he said to you. Red brain. I'm the red brain, but I know I talk bad about people that I don't even know from a hole in the wall. 
<laughs> All right. He's supposed to be an ordained minister, reverend, an ordained whatever you want to call him. And he sits there and he talks crap about people. That's not a reverend. Damn, man. <laughs> Goddamn right. He's a liar. He's yeah. a liar. Those guys like to watch. Uh, Rev and on defense going to be in a relationship officially. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. What once you Rev's wife that, leaves him, hey, once Rev's life wife leaves him, Rev's going to move to fucking Canada. I have no doubt. All right, that's um, that's enough of that. <laughs> All right, Adam. Have a good one, Rev. Good one, Rev. Yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. 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 You gotta stop taking advantage of us, bro. Do Man, don't say stuff. Don't say stuff like that because he's having a hard time with with things right now. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Oh, I thought it was. Because I'm better than better. <laughs> I didn't know that. I wouldn't. Okay. Have well, that now that. now we know. So. <laughs> Way to go, boss man. <laughs> Bossman day late down short. Bossman's three days late and seven. I wasn't gonna go spreading his business, but well, on the fence, it's all you, baby. And I'm bad. Do is bring a frosty. She gonna swallow it all for a baconator. She already said it. She'll swallow it all for a baconator. That's too high for my blood. Yeah. Maybe it's like, uh, like a fourteen dollar combo out here. Yeah, yeah, I'm like crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wait a minute. Up, oh, Gonzo put the link. One hour and twenty seven minutes, thirty yeah. seconds. Yeah, that's a whole week check for me. I eat that fucking combo hell. I won't. I'd be taking a bus to work every day. What are we watching here? So, so the um, little family guys, brought, brought brought Rocco an actual apple. So you have to click the link and go to the one hour and twenty seven minute thirty second mark. Only in America. <laughs> Only in, only in Canada where you get a blowjob for a frosty. Damn, I'm in the wrong country. Bitches <laughs> well, be desperate there. I don't care. I will stay here. Here we go. Hang on. You just say hi to the I see. At the one hour, right, here we go. Seven minute mark. Let's go. Here we go. Watch the stream. Let's go see if you can eat All right, watch the stream. I'll be back. What? Watch the stream. Pesci's, Pesci's stream. On the He's got two of them. The the and if it is during the day, it will be in and out. Oh, that's Rocco? Yeah. You fools. I, 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 I do have a beautiful daughter. Huh? Look at this. This is the little family bringing an apple to him. They're showing up at Rocco's apartment to deliver an apple to him. They're, they're basically just showing him, where motherfucker, we know where you live. What's going on here? I don't like showing this. It's unnecessary. Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Once, my little once. family. Who is the little family? The little I family is the one that they're just watching. Watch, watch. watch. We'll talk about it later. I just watch. They're bringing hey, Rocco and Apple. Get this shit off of his door. People have created so many horrible things about you. Yeah, fuck you. said so much horrible stuff about you. Uh, That's wrong. <laughs> what the hell are we witnessing right now, Schmidt? They're going to Rocco's an apple to Rocco's door. <laughs> They're just literally delivering an apple. He said mean? something about apples or something. I don't care. I, I don't like this stuff. Yeah, I watch and see if someone delivered an apple. 
They, uh, dude, I, I thought they were them. showing me something a little bit better than this. I'm going to have to turn this off, Schmidt. I really don't care about this. Oh, like, get to the point where you knock on his door, at least. This is the yeah. point. This is right where he said. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, they knock they on thank door. you, uh... What? Thank you, Miss Everyday. They're going to knock on his door, Fish. Yeah, I mean, I'll donate to this, so... Rocco, Rocco goes out walking around or whatever, doesn't he? <laughs> See what Gonzo right. says. He'll tell you. He'll explain it. I know, they're but gonna, this they're is... gonna go knock on his door. I guess they went to the wrong. He's got that note on the door. There you go. There we go. Here you go. Now they're gonna, they're gonna knock on his door. door. They found the right spot or whatever. <laughs> Elvin Marin says, "Can we fast forward?" I don't know what the hell is going on. Here we go. That's his door. They're knocking on. They're not. They're knocking on his door. Or getting ready to. This was Schmidt's idea, Alvin, not mine. Is that what it is? No, it's Gonzo's one who said to play it. Yeah. Enjoy that. Seven twenty. So watch it. Sucks not being able to Gonzo see. Gonzo, you just want to get at you. Yes, sir. I'm sure you like that, right? I'm sure you they're, like they're that. They're basically right? he. Can't All right, say is this the end? Just no. he was live, and they they went during his live stream and knocked. There we go. The there there it is. Find it is right there. Who is it? See, he's live. Hold on a second. Is it me? I got a delivery. <laughs> he said I got a delivery. Set, set, set I'm glad I didn't see that shit. <laughs> I just, I'm leaving your Apple right here. Gonzo said, I'm leaving your I've never Apple said right here. anyone has to watch it. No, I thought he came I wasn't out. watching it. I'll let them up. He said he's calling the police, call the police now. now. All right, well, they that video sucked. Thank, thank they God, delivered little, an, little queef. Come on, Gonzo. They, they delivered an apple to his door. <laughs> Gonzo is bringing us down. Well, I mean, there's two ways you could think of it. Either you could be a bigger fat and do something really fucked up. Or at that point, usually, that was foolish, whatever they fucking did. You know, uh, let, let the person be then at that point if you're not going to fuck up, you know what I mean? Yeah, QAnon's got a good point. Surprised Rocco didn't pull a gun on him. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, R.A. Well, Rocco doesn't have a gun. But... Well, you don't know that. He's not supposed to have one, but who knows? Well, BC, BC said Schmidt's gone downhill. Why isn't he supposed to have one, boss man? He's a convicted felon. Oh, he talks all that shit about Pesci and he's a felon? Yeah. Gonzo, Gonzo's, I mean, Alvin says Gonzo should have his wrench taken away for that. No. Oh, yeah, no, Gonzo God. suggested it should. No, I, I have a executive power. I, I told you from the start, this is going to be stupid, you know? <laughs> Boss no, but they, like, it, it just shows you that this motherfucker that he every Boss day. Man was getting so about, excited when that shit no, was no, going on. I, I, get the, <laughs> I get, I get the idea of it. Every day, this dude goes live like Jake Hudson for twelve hours a day. I'm gonna kick your asses if any of you show up. I'm gonna beat you, kill you, you know, murder your skull, whatever the fuck. And then they show up at his door live while he's on camera with an Dude, apple and go, here's an apple. He it says, was, I'm it, calling it, the it, cops it, on you. Right. right. Okay, Thank so you he's miss just every day. version of Charleston White then. Thank yeah. you, dear. Love you. The bulls are <laughs> I asked if Schmidt seen it or saw it. No, no I know, Gonzo. I know that was all Schmidt's it, doing. I still got to add. Gonzo had to live, so. Still more, still more over than Boss Man. Yeah. He went on says the story of Boss Man from trying to get on disability to becoming a worldwide <laughs> international fight promoter. Two hundred dollars a month. Two hundred dollars a month donation. Jesus. <laughs> that son of a bitch over donate two hundred month. Now he's talking about goddamn disability. He's been waiting on disability seventeen years. <laughs> Gonzo says I never said anyone had to watch it. No, I know. Oh, God. <laughs> it sounds like Rocco should Rocco should take 
name of his next if Rocco was, you know, halfway smart, the name of his next show would be An Apple a Day Keeps the Rocco Away. Come on, fuck. That would take but, yeah, but 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 basically but basically they're they are just fucking with him. They're not being mean, they're not, you know beating him up or whatever. They're they're just showing him motherfucker if you if you really think you're tough, you didn't do it. Like people have put, they put dog poop on his doorstep. They put an apple. They they they've sent transvestites. People, you know. You you're fucking with someone that ain't right. I heard I heard that they made a grinder account for him, and he right, was getting all these hits. Yeah. Yeah, like like tr like tranny like fifty year old tranny dudes dressed up in dresses were showing up to like you know, do get funky like a monkey baby. I mean, there's now a common, my like, question people, is, people fuck with locals, but like that's still I mean it's, it's not right. Do these uh, this little family people do they live in the same area or do they travel? Around oh, the people the people that went there, yeah, the, they they live in the same you know, okay same region, whatever. Yeah. I mean, that's a long way to travel there. No, no. These people are like all throughout the South and Midwest. Yeah. I don't know. You they guys were seeing King Cobra at JFS. He's like a, like a locale, you know, like internet, a YouTube guy. Yeah, I know. It's like, uh, I mean, it's like, it's like internet, like YouTube, you know, like basically it's people that are fucked up in the head. And like, like they're pretty guy. funny to watch. But then people. Like that people guy get, that, uh, What's his name? That the, the the guy the guy that uh, T O D made fun of Joker or whatever. Was it Joker? Joker, the crypto guy, Joker, and then there was another guy. He used to be. I mean, I, I, I think that guy had more uh, more together in his head. Gonzo, what, Gonzo, what, what was the guy's name? The Bradley. I hope you enjoy here. your brownies, Miss Everyday. And tea, oh, that sounds good. I, mean, I love brownies. They, they live by like Jake Hudson. I want to enjoy your uh, Hershey Highway. <laughs> I love Whoa. brownies. Gonzo, what was the kid, the, the, the kid who was on the, t the kid show back in the day that they troll? That he's a fucking e beggar. He was on like you can't do that on television or sal salute your shorts. Salute your shorts, I think. Or one of those fucking shows. <laughs> Michael Lee. Separate to Ash of War, you're gonna head directly to the mountaintop of the giants and you're gonna start at the first That dude, he begs for money, they fuck with him. That's that's a whole thing. People send him shit, deliveries. I ain't seen that show in since my team. Hey, just stirring John from uh, I ain't even heard of that show. Hey, just like Jake hey Jake Hudson Jake Hudson gets packages from Sirvap, he's gotten packages from People all over. They send him stickers, T-shirts, food, spite. I mean, I send him shit, but he knew who I was. He gets shit from people. He don't people even ain't, people ain't showing up at his door like that. Michael Bauer. Michael Bauer. When he on salute. No, I was gonna say, be very Bauer for Christmas. Yeah. 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 Tod. They they follow him, but he that dude is like. People, he's an e beggar and people just send him shit randomly. Just Is like that the redhead. Head? That's the only one I can remember. The redhead on that salute your shorts. That's not the redhead. What happened? Shorts. Yeah. Uh, she got cut out when. Yeah. I don't know. He was I watched so one Bauer is slipping and we go pour my Bauer, drink. Bauer, Bauer was on Salute Your Shorts. Yeah, but I, I was saying, was that the redheads? Oh no. No, he was. Uh, okay. I think he was darker hair. Okay. I just remember the redhead guy for some reason. I don't know why. They have one on here, Rocco Fowler's unwanted guest. I wonder if that's the trannies. But remember, the, the salute your shorts guy, Michael Ray Bauer, was the, yeah, the red looking one, the fat one. The fat looking kid. 
But he had, he had a terrible list. Yeah. 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 That's him. He had a Beast. terrible lisp. <laughs> no, no, man. I know, I know the guy you're talking about. Because his name was like Horse or something. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I see him. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, he he begs for money all the time. People fuck with him. They just send him shit. Have fucking shit randomly show up, you know. Yeah. It wasn't Gonzo Gonzo says, Gonzo, Donkey Lips. Gonzo, Donkey Lips is the guy's name. Uh, Gonzo says, between two dominoes, two other restaurants, and a tranny, grinder person showing up, yeah. Donkey, Li Donkey Lips was his name, yeah. Okay. yeah. The Bulls are up by 10. Three minutes and a third. That game's still going playing? on? Who are they playing? Hawks. Bulls are at home. So, it's a play-in tournament. Yeah, the Bulls win, they're in. Doubles. Trey Young just airball a three. Oh, Jelani. Watch your own game, Hashi. They sent a they sent a plumber to his house to fix the water heater. Yeah, I remember that. They, I did see that. They 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 sent a fucking they sent a fucking plumber to his house. He told the guy it's cyberbullying. <laughs> Yeah, he, but he calls the police like every time somebody gets sick. I don't know if you know this, but I'm being stalked and trolled and people on the internet. I don't order this food. It just shows up, you know, and I feel bad for you all because you got to bring it. And, you know, it's not me. <laughs> I mean, I mean yeah. that's the dividing point, right? You recognize this is a problem and you should just fucking leave, you know? Yeah. No, don't, don't go on the internet no more. No more. Right. Hey, because guess what? If he if he wasn't doing shows on the internet, no one would know who to fuck you. <laughs> right. Exactly. He could just disappear. Hey, Giggle Pickles got smart. He ain't seen her in fucking months since last year. Yeah, but she's sick. Well. What's wrong? She got cancer or something? <laughs> heart. She's got heart problems. Too soon. Ooh, there's a secret chest over here. Um, I'm just saying the people at the Rocco make some really good videos. They, God they bless do make some good videos. They do make some good videos. But that wasn't one of their edited videos, Pesci. When they edit God their videos, they're good. God bless you. Couldn't, God you couldn't edit that one into being good, though. No, it was too long. Yeah. I, I don't like that, though. You know, like, fucking like, that way of fucking people. Like, I don't mind you. Like, fucking well, people hey, one way is a different. Hey, when, when he's threatening children and beating women's skulls and wives. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not aware of that. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's talking. Wait, you've got, you got all these tents, but you don't have any cooks of him threatening children? Oh, they're. They're. they're Hold those trust up. me. Hold those yeah. up, man. I want to hear those. Yeah, I mean, I was well, telling those to Barkley like, personally. I was telling him he was like well, a goofy well, drug addict. That's where I was telling him. Like, well, he's a fucking thing I don't want to get. Yeah, I, I don't need to. He's, like, he's like threatening. He's like threatening. Like, and then I'm gonna bash your skull. He's like, Who's he? Mike, Mike Tyson. I'm gonna eat your chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna fuck hey, your mother. He's like pulling out the hammer. The Bulls are up by 18 now. They want to run. Damn, dude. He's pulling. He's well, pulling if, out if a hammer the spread, and like bashing on the table. Okay, here Gonzo, Gonzo can tell you that they have videos of him yelling. I'm gonna bash. Is uh, Lonzo oh, Ball still hurt for the Bulls? I think so. And he takes the hammer and he starts hitting the table, pretending it's like the girl's skull. And this is your skull. And he's like swinging the hammer and shit. But Gonzo says they're after him for threatening two 14 year old kids. Who's yeah, they? The little family. Who the fuck he is the little who's family? Uh -huh. they're, they're the ones Who the fuck that are is the little Rocco. family? Is this like the fucking, what was that stable, the There's lion? There's no, they're good people. Wife. They're they're good people. They're friends of the show. Now uh, Domino's just showed up. The show. from it. They're, they're, do what? Do what? Domino's just showed up. 
today, right now, live? No, on this, on this, on this one. I'm oh, I was say they, they showed up live now. Crossman's fucking binge watching that shit with a fucking wet rag in his hand. This is the tard one. Oh. oh, that's awesome. He's telling Domino's to unlist him. <laughs> unlist me. Don't bring a pizza here ever. Don't bring no he pizza said, here. He I said, told you about that, eh? He said if I don't call you from a New York number, don't come here. If I don't call you from a New York number, just stay. If I don't call you from Donald Trump's cell phone, don't come here, all right? <laughs> Unless you're delivering to fucking Trump Tower in Midtown. I, would, I don't need no fucking pizza. If I was him, I would say, "What did they already pay for?" And if so, take it. Fuck yeah, Domino make Domino's is edible. I like their pasta. Especially if it's free. Especially if it's free. <laughs> Pizza yeah, when it's yeah. free is pretty edible. <laughs> I mean, food when it's free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, it is paid for. If it, what about if it's bacon though? Yeah. <laughs> no. Only turkey bacon, I guess. Well, that shit's nasty. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, yeah. it's edible, though. Oh, I'd rather no, have I, no, when no I, when bacon. I say, when I say edible, I mean, like, I'll he just said, I'll, he just told I'll the Domino's it, person, yeah. he just told the delivery person, I'm fighting for the kids. <laughs> fighting for the kids? What the fuck, dude? They that send it the payment fuck. due, it, says it, Gonzo. It, he's a typical local guy. <laughs> Yeah, usually all employees, like, all employees, all employees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. He just said a transvestite. The platform. He just said a transvestite showed up. A tranny, a transvestite showed up. And guess who showed up to ruin the party? A damn tranny. Fucking boss man sending me tranny hookers again. Boss man, I told you I'm not. I don't share this kink that you have. What are your fucking credentials, Pesci? <laughs> yeah, um, Punch didn't have that line. That was the clip yeah, I that's wanted the to best hear. One, dude. <laughs> What's your Wait, fucking man. credentials? This guy's supposed to be a fucking reverend. What kind of fucking reverend is that? Giggle Pickle sounded like she was doped up that day. She was oh, yeah. she doped was running, running through her. Was, was that GP? I was wondering yeah. who that was. Yeah, she was messed the up. The dope was know. running through her that day. She was every day. I'm <laughs> hustling, hustling. It was flowing. The dope it. was flowing. Every day I'm... Bowling, I'm bowling. Every day I'm hustling, bustling. Every day I'm... Bowling, I'm bowling. bowling. Every day, um, yeah, she was on some shit. Every day, um, yeah, so they, they just go the rock and, order order pizza pizza and say pay with cash upon delivery. No, no, they paid sucks. for it. He, he's saying he's telling this poor delivery person if if it's not a New York area code, don't deliver it to me. Like, no, it'd be, it'd be funny if they came there and they're like pizza, and he's like, what's on it? And they're like, uh, mushrooms, peppers. I don't want that shit. Get out of here. <laughs> Send it back. That would be great. Every day I'm Rocco win, Rocco win. Every day I'm. And this poor delivery person has been there for like 10 minutes. He said, like, Pesci doesn't pizza. know what slandering is. Yeah, I never was around like any crimes like that. Unless I, unless I was one of those delivery drivers that like had friends that like wanted free pizzas that I was going to He told the pizza lady his life story. And believe it or not, when I was five years old, man, I was one hell of a golfer, man. I was top of my class. <laughs> oh, no. You got somewhere you got to be? He told well, her. And, and it's funny, like the way he's getting goofed on, like people forget. It's like because he claims that he was like part of like the like what's it called the you know like where he tested shit on you. you know, like. He just said. He said when you see my lawyer come in, you'll know what it's about. <laughs> Hey, Pesci, this Should was you a good see my right lawyer? Here. When your boy was getting mad at you and Smith. When you see, when, when you see my lawyer. No, he's telling her about them saying he had HIV. That have not been here in a long, long time. And they promised to bring a lot of money with them. 
Oh. I, I, I looked into the financial statements of the YouTube premium uh, by you and Benjamin House, and I saw a two dollar donation from Schmidt. <laughs> Hope he didn't break the bank. And then Mr. <laughs> dump Truck Pesci, Dump <laughs> Truck dump Pesci, truck. the briefcase ah. of money and the knocks on the doors and all the cash that transacts over out of that house, and he ain't been here a ago, maybe once. And he made a two dollar donation. So yeah, maybe that might be a lot of money in the wheel. They did. Two dollars. Money of that. I say this. I'd have been less insulted if they had done nothing. <laughs> now they're going. Oh well, at least we. Do you remember what he used to say? Well, you know, a dollar means nothing, King. We're gonna two dollar this to death, and I guess they did. <laughs> Fuck you, Bob. <laughs> You scammer. Every oh, day I'm bustling, bustling. Piece of shit, nothing, Barkley. Fuck you. You're done. I'm, you're done. How dare you insult our king? Hold Jacob on, is that Waters Jacob is Waters? Yeah. Yeah, I asked yeah, him to pop in. He could probably just explain the situation since Gonzo's not in Discord. We just watched the. Uh... Rocco the app delivery. delivery. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you guys talking about Sasquatch? The yeah, little, yeah, the I think so. They, they say he said Sasquatch. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I'm not. I, I I told everybody I wasn't really worried about it because uh, I mean I don't care that that's not Rocco. I don't care who they send to his house. <laughs> that Rocco's not that. Racco's not at his house, so I'm not really, I'm not really worried about that. I'm Is that telling somebody you, that's different? Rocco. That's somebody else there. Rocco, Rocco, I haven't, so I haven't talked to Rocco since, since he went to jail. I think he was either cloned or there's an altar taking over the vessel at the moment. What the fuck? Why would, oh, they, right. why would they clone some felon crackhead? I think a guy that's got 13 altars, um, one of them could step forward and take possession of his uh, body at any point. I don't necessarily think uh, because he was. Do you remember, hey, remember, remember when he psychically attacked you, Jacob, and you were sick for a while there? He did do that. I do. He put a. He said it was me. I found out he was sick. I found out he was sick. <laughs> that was me. That was me. That's what he said. He conveniently got me during COVID. <laughs> oh, my oh my God. What are you going to do? Yeah, but, but yeah, I was like, Gonzo said it. He said, he sent him an apple. I'm like, what? Fuck are you talking about? He's like, no, they delivered. Deli yeah, it, it was an apple. It was an apple from the, li the little family. Every day I'm. I'm calling the police. And, I, and like, I, I, Gonzo, I, my, Gonzo my personal says, explanation. Go ahead. Gonzo says this version of Rocco doesn't like Jacob or me. Oh. Yeah, this version of Rocco doesn't like us. And he also doesn't get along with Andre, and he doesn't get along with Michael Moody. And... He asked me. He asked me if I was gonna fight uh, Granny, so he knew about that. Oh, oh yeah, the, they can't. The, okay, so if they made a clone or an altar step forward, they're not gonna step forward with no memories. No, I know. Like, the, like you imagine them having to relearn. Come on. A clone or an altar? He's working the gift. Just leave me. Oh, jeez. Barkley, catch up. No, I know what you're yeah. saying. You know what yeah, altars are? Uh, I think. It I think science. I think science would define alters as like as like a multiple personality disorder. Neil before Zod. Living in America. <laughs> but yes, as I said, I said I said they're not like black and white. Him up or fuck with him. I'm gonna feel they're that just letting him know that they could show up anytime. He talks about like breaking women's skulls and beating up fourteen year olds and I'm gonna beat ever you show up and it's gonna be the end of your world. Then when they show up, he's like, I'm calling the police. They're just letting him know, motherfucker, you ain't doing All anything. employ. All employ. I one of all employees, I'm headed to the platform. 
Right by the beach, boy. 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 What up, Jacob Waters? What up, Pesci? What up, What's cracking? You know, you know, I ain't heard from you in a while. How you been, brother? Jacob Waters is a good person. Really good. Yeah, that's why I went with um, Bowling Block Jacob, and his and Bowling response was. And then the other thing I got, because he was only here dropping his three dollars. Maybe Pesci was funding it. I don't know. <laughs> Oh God! Because she was funding it. <laughs> what a sick me? bastard! What happened? Yeah, uh, you he remember? Th he you thinks I was donation? paying you money to go troll bowling. Once upon a time. Oh, yeah. No, I, yeah. I was making much bigger, I was making much oh, bigger yeah. donations than three dollar donations. <laughs> yeah, and this, and this was like a long time ago too. This is yeah, like, right, right. It wasn't no recent shit. Right. What you good on three dollars? That was seven months ago. Again. <laughs> Bullet, <laughs> anything that hey. Bullet said funny was a, around shit that we were doing. Everything else was boring. True. Every bit of the magic game. Nothing. Well, Rocco is live right now, so maybe he'll get a delivery tonight. Who knows? Wait a minute. So you guys are saying, let me get this right because I'm a little bit out of the loop. Rocco is now doing a different personality, Jacob, where he acts like he doesn't know you guys or something. So I don't know if um, I don't know if he gave one of his alters access to the to his body. I keep saying the vessel, but to his body. But I haven't talked to that thing at all. Um, I re uh, the first talk to what thing? He said I didn't talk to what thing. Talk to what the personality. He's got whatever personality, Pesci. So that personality oh. has not talked to Jacob. He doesn't know who Jacob is, or he hates him. The other personality might like him. They're all different. Why does he keep coming around though? If he hates Jacob Waters now, he doesn't. He doesn't come around me anymore. He's not really right, coming so me, around. He's just going live. He create, whatever, whatever that thing is, he created a new account and uh, started uh, streaming on a different YouTube account. And when he created the account, the first the first message he ever got on any of his live streams was a message from me. And it said, is this the real Rocco? And he didn't answer. And then he stopped talking to me and didn't ever address the question. And yeah, I told I told everybody, I was like, if he comes, if whoever that thing is comes over to my channel and has a conversation with me, I'll prove to everybody what's going on. Yeah, multiple Damn. personality. Some one personality doesn't remember the other personality. But I heard he was on your show tonight, right? What did you guys no, talk I, about? No, I had Michael McIntosh on my show tonight. Oh, I was back in Tom's. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Not even in the same. No, somebody said that Jacob Waters had Rocco on their his show yesterday. Is that true? Uh, a couple days ago, not. Uh, I had him and Granny and Bossman on, but that was, was that the ago. Rocco that you knew on your show yeah, the other day. Was, yeah, that was before. That was before they locked him up. What did he? Did he? He, he just he, he got arrested and got released, or what? He was only in jail no. for a couple of days. Yeah, him and him and his Alexa, him and his Alexa got put in jail. Uh, for his Alexa. His yeah. Alexa. What? Don't, all right, so, well, luckily his guards were nice enough to let him do a live stream from uh, jail, but he couldn't have his camera on. And, yeah, uh, have his camera on. Let him have his phone, though. And, I've never uh, heard of that. This is all Rocco's Letting you do a live stream from jail? Yeah. I never heard of yeah. that. Yeah. Where does he live? Dude? Well, and then, and then I heard a live the the Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let Jacob tell the story. Yeah, it's so wild. he's uh, so he's got his camera off and he's explaining that his the guards are only going to let him you know be on for a little bit. He'd been there all day. <laughs> the guards. And, uh, um, you could hear it. <laughs> it definitely sounds like Butch. Um, it, it might have been Butch. Maybe maybe Butch has a side job. I don't know. Um, the guy he sucker punched. <laughs> so. So when he was talking to Butch, Alexa goes off and says something about like. Five minutes, stay awake. And <laughs> so, so, well, no, he could have Alexa with him. And they let him bring Alexa into jail. No way. It has been confirmed that. You you bring your shoelaces in the jail. Right, exactly. Yeah. It has been confirmed that Alexa is now part of the Lil family. So. 
she is. There's no way the police would let you bring Alexa in jail. No, not a chance. Not a chance. Hey, hey. hey. never did. Positive, positive vibes, Alexa, gang, gang. Oh, he's says, in some he fucking circus jail. Yeah, that sounds like the fucking prison that fucking Pablo Escobar built. Wait a minute. Gonzo, he got he got Jake he got he got his mom Rocco got his mom to hate Jacob today for what? What what was this hate about? That means he's not fucking cloned. <laughs> so yeah, Jacob well, the other day well, he had I mental thought you illness, said, you know. Jacob the other day I thought you said that while Rocco was on this live stream that the real Rocco was still in jail. I think I think now, he's not now I'm he's, missing. Either still, he's either he's still either locked still up. up. Like I haven't talked to the real Rocco, is what I'm saying. So you I, think I, I know two separate talking. bodies. Um, see, so that's the only thing that's supporting the clone idea. Otherwise, I would say there's an altar, and Rocco's still in there somewhere. Mm. Well, he's possessed. Is there anybody? He's in possessed. There? Poor little feller. Oh, pray for they you, say Rocco. he repeats yeah, everything. Yeah. He tells I, don't, I, don't like, I don't like this one, baby. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> you hey, like says, G G Gonzo says they say he repeats everything they tell him. <laughs> this going to lighten you up, JP. Oh, uh, idiot. Uh, yeah, it does mean he becomes a quarter. Oh. <laughs> the only one who ever referred to him as Sleepy Joe. And then once he did it. Of course you can, but can you parry Let me go back Leonia, to punch the idiot. Blade of punch an idiot. Hey, what about the uh, what about the one about the thousand dollars? See if you can find that. One. Oh shit, bro, that's legendary right there. <laughs> I got he was that talking about that on Ant Bowling the uh, just the day before yesterday. He was talking about Jacob Waters. And that guy that Schmidt, pet, that other guy, the other show, tried to bring over here. Said he's gonna donate up to a thousand dollars, and Bob sent the money, and then he he backed out. Yeah, that's hilarious. I think I have that on my other one. Hold on. Hey guys, I would uh, can I ask for a moment of silence? Sure. Um, Servat blocked me on Facebook. He's not gonna be talking to me anymore. He's uh. He's mad that I've been been doing the dope, and uh, yeah, R.I.P. Doing the dope. We had a good Pesci's run. Playing taps. Pesci's playing taps. Fucking dope. We need to thank you, Pesci. No problem. And uh, I will always make you for the never. I'm gonna get shattered. the final J ready. Speaking of dope. <clears throat> Jacob, if you, you know, here's the thing. You're a bag of sticks. Maybe if you took your shirt off, Jacob, he would unblock you. Yeah, if you took your shirt off, I might, I might be able to make, you know, make a call. Why are you talking to Jake? I don't need to take my shirt off to talk to Jake. Me and Jake are talking again. Talk to him the other day. Oh, Jaywalks. Why don't you tell the fucking truth? Don't what? come up here what? and fucking lie. Just tell what happened. Oh, this Just is shit. <laughs> that was Jaywalks. What happened, Jaywalks? No, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's JR nah, Thunder it. from down so under. Tell the truth. Tell what happened, Waters. You made all these oh. false accusations against me with no, no. fucking what evidence. Did what did I say? You claim I make fake accounts of people's dead oh, relatives. Okay. Come here. Look, okay, let, let, me, look, let me talk no, no, then. No, no. Where's your proof and where's your evidence? Where's... You know, just I'll, you got I'll, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. So you make Are you gonna let me talk? Yeah, BJ. People with no fucking evidence. Hey, hey, hey let, let me talk. talk. I'll be happy to. I'll be happy to. I stand by what I said. I stand 100 percent by what I said. Whatever, 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 whatever you want me to talk, man, just let me know. No, look. First, it's it nothing to do with fucking you. This was like happened a long fucking time ago. And you want to stick okay, your nose it does, and okay, it to Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, can you can you can you now, he's just rambling about shit that doesn't make any difference. I don't care what happened long ago. I'm talking about when Schmidt was on my channel, and people were making fake accounts and coming on, and I accused the Surf app accounts of doing it. 
If you've yeah, got a problem exactly. with when them, when you, you take them, that, you shut up for a second. Shut the fuck up for a second. Shut the fuck up for a second. Are you taking account for all of the survey account? Yes or no? No, but when you refer to survey, okay, shut the fuck up. This has nothing to do with you. Shut the fuck up. This has nothing to do with you. I haven't had anything to drink tonight. I just picked my daughter up from her first, man, You always got a fucking ball of fucking yeah. cup of whiskey in your fucking hand. So are, so are, so are you going to continue the conversation? So are you going to continue the conversation that you're wrong about, or are you going to take account for all the survey? No, 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 what do you mean? I'm saying so I accuse. Now you made accusations, and all you big yeah, big I made, it, I made an accusation. But when it had nothing to do with you, wow. to do with you just sticking your nose and trying to stir shit. No. No. Whenever you're ready, I can get in on this. I accused all the survey app accounts. I accused all the survey app accounts of making fake accounts. Because I've seen a survey app account come in and make fake account with other relatives. It was Schmidt's relatives because he had to tell me who they were. It was on my channel. It wasn't from long ago. I'm not bringing up shit that didn't happen to me. It happened on my channel. Chris had to tell me which ones to block because I didn't know who the relatives were. You said on the message accused, today, you said, I know it's true. I think you shut up. You, even though you should have good, shut up for like, a second. We, we talk every so often. Like, if shut I was to be put with me, he would have shut me blocked. And you even said today, you said, oh, I'm sure it's you. I know it's you. Dude, let him finish. 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 You said it's me. You said, I'm sure it's you. I know it's you. I think it's you. I think it's you. I've got no fucking proof. But I'm pretty sure it all is you. I didn't know that it was Jimmy Thunder. I never said it was Jimmy Thunder. I said the serve app accounts, and that's why I you blamed said them. It, you said, I was messaging you today, and you said, oh, it's you. I know it's you. That was you that was messaging me under James Shans? I said, yeah, I, that was fucking me. Yeah, you and what did I, and what did I, do you want me to show your messages? Do you want me to show your messages? What did I say? I said, I said the same thing I just said to you now. I said, are you going to take account for all the serve app account? And what did you say? Of course not. Okay then. Who said of course not? Are you are you are you not following along with? I can put up our conversation. It's gonna make you look really dumb. Oh, he's got meth mouth. It could, it, yeah, yeah, it's my meth hey, mouth. Hey, I'm not the one who has to fucking drink hard liquor during the fucking week and smoke dope every fucking five minutes. Yeah, there you go. Smoking dope every five minutes doesn't make somebody stupid. Not me, There's man. been many fake, oh. many fake apps <coughs> of all different sizes, countries, shapes, and forms. There's no doubt. Exactly. And you can throw this me whenever you want. When you have to disturb that, that, people automatically think it's like came up with the first one. I haven't done drugs Even since I was 16 years old. From, Jacob, I don't care. Idea? I don't fucking care. Yeah, but you want to mention it all the fucking time. You don't care. No, you don't want to find I, out all where I mentioned, it came from all I mentioned, you want to listen, mention all it I mentioned, five minutes. You, you're not going to make false accusations on me. All I mentioned false was that the serve app accounts, I think, came in and made an account with the rep's relative. And I've said that the whole time. I'm not yeah, making up accusations about anything else. I'm standing no, by what I said. I still stand by what I said. I still think. I think it's you. I still think. I think it's all being you. I still think. I told you it actually was. I still think. Oh, you're making fake accusations against him. I said, well, it's been proven. I still think the survey accounts that came onto my show with fake accounts of uh, Schmidt's family members, I think that was a survey. And I'm standing by what I said. No, and, Ro and they, hey, and they did Ro Ro Pesci's mom, Rome's uncle, etc. etc. So they if, did a if lot you want to take account for all the survive accounts, Bob, you're more than welcome dead, to. Bob's dead no, wife. Just, no, do you know that for a fact? I don't have to know yeah, that for a fact. A that, that's my yeah. accusation. I'm allowed to make an accusation about my opinion. Now, 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 now hold on. If you've got a problem with it, you're defending. you have a problem with it, you're defending. You. I'm, I'm making accusations about an alias called Servap that you're hold defending. On. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Hold on. Now, I will say, long before oh, no, we yeah, ever knew no, Jacob no, Waters, no. Jonathan had the dead relative thing happen. Hazelwood's wife had the. This I don't is care about any of them. I'm only talking about my situation, Schmidt. Yeah, I'm not no, talking no, about anybody about, else. No, I'm, I'm just saying that those, those accounts had popped up before, so there was a pattern of people who were around 
the split him. Stop, guys. Stop, guys. Stop, guys. Hold on a second. On a second. I, don't I don't care about other, about other people's exactly. situations. I'm you only don't want to talk. You just want to make accusations. At least no, because I'm not out. trying to get to the bottom of the. Stop for a second. Listen, I'm not trying to get to the bottom of the service. I can have, I can have my opinion about what happened on my channel without taking in other people's stuff. Someone, especially to the extent of that. To blame Servap accounts? Because no, oh, people refer wow. to me as Servap. Because I came up I with the Bumble account. I said you guys are all in the same goddamn thing. Going on. I said you guys hold are all on. in the same Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think, I think what Jacob's trying to say in a different way is he's not necessarily blaming you personally. He's just saying that the Servap account. He knows there are other people that make Servap accounts. We've had people yeah. who self-admittedly make Servap accounts that weren't you. And so you even just told me that it was a. Servap, who, who do you think of? And Jimmy, and Jimmy, you even told me you didn't make them all. So if you didn't make them all, don't be well, mad that I'm accusing the area. Of them and referred, you know, well, I just think you're not. I think that's, that's, what he's, that's what he's saying in my, in my opinion. I'm accusing the alias of doing it. I'm accusing the alias Servap. If you want to take it, if you, you want to take credit for all of them, it could be, could be fucking anyone. That's what alias fucking means, you moron. Yeah, I know. I went to college. Yeah, sounds like it. No, 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 no. But when you refer to Servat, people think it's me because I came up with an ask you not to. And then you, you even said on the message, you said, hey, and I said, I you, either take, you. you either take credit for all the Servat accounts or stop defending the people that are faking them. But you don't know that it's him for sure. Yeah, I'm sure that is I don't care. I don't care if it's him for sure. I don't care. I don't care. You know, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking breath test. Sure, give me a breath test. I'm sitting in my bedroom at yeah, 11 o'clock. Yeah, I don't know when you guys room. got a drink in your hand or you're blowing some fucking oh, substance in your fucking brains. How dare you drink at home by yourself after work? Hey, oh my during God. a weeknight, I don't. I know people that have a couple of beers, but I don't know people that drink a fucking bottle of rum. Or a okay. He's a pirate. He's allowed to drink rum. Yeah, exactly. You know, and this is the fucking. I wish I could get a bottle of rum tonight. Fatal but, you know, Strangers I'll, I'll, here. I'll, hey, fucking don't refer to him, you know? Please don't refer to it as that. And you were like, oh, fuck. I'm allowed to. And then you made the accusation. Yeah, of I, can, yeah, yeah. I can accuse an alias. On my, it's like if I said I didn't like 007. And you were like, well, well this is like hey, some alias. This 007 was the first 007. Well, you'd be goddamn <laughs> wrong if you don't like 007. I'm, I'm just bad. saying, it's a fucking alias. And apparently I got to explain to J.R. Thunder what an alias is. Yeah, Good well, job. You say you people think of me, and I tried to explain that you were going to compute. When, when, when I think of you, I think of that before. When I think of you, I think of you as a fucking fake cut of dead relatives. When you come in, I think of you as whatever name you come in as. What do you mean? If your name is Jimmy Thunder tonight, I oh, talk to you as Jimmy Thunder. Today, you come as. I talk to you as Service. I got to try to explain to you. And when you were messaging me as Jimmy Pan, I didn't even know you were Jimmy If it happened to Schmidt, you know you Schmidt going on about it. When you messaged me about Jimmy Pan, I thought it was Jimmy Pan. All right, but it was Schmidt's family. Me and him are cool. He knows I didn't fucking do it. He doesn't bring it up every fucking day. I'm talking about what happened on my panel. I think you're missing the whole point. On your panel, was it about your family? Just because it was on your panel doesn't mean it was fucking got to do with you. What are you talking about? They, yes, they, they, people they create made, they made relatives on, on my account. I'm responsible yeah, for fucking What are you talking about? That was before Waters has even came along, but he doesn't want to hear about that. He just wants to fucking. No, I don't care about the past stuff. Just like I well, don't the, care about the current stuff, stuff that you're up to. This, this stuff. That's what a good detective does, Jacob. I'm not a detective. I'm not a detective. I'm drinking rum. Clearly, you ain't a fucking detective. Remember, I'm dr I'm drinking and smoking dope. I can't be a detective. Gonzo says we need to number the servants. He's over here. He's over here drowning in goddamn Davy Jones's locker. <laughs> I 
I don't mean the monkeys. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the dope tastes great tonight. I'm gonna tell you the dope is flo- hey, Pesci, the dope is flowing over here, and the nicotine and the. <coughs> hey, Bolin. This one's for you. I just, I just packed a bowl for Jimmy Thunder. <laughs> That's right, man. Just keep keep blowing all the fucking dope in your brain, you bro. You fucking. You sure as hell don't need it. And to all the survivors, to all the survivors, I'll still shit on your doorstep. Cool, cool. Tell me this guy is not sitting here telling me I missed out on cannabis in my life. Unfortunately, Jimmy Thunder's against dope. Fatal, what do you think of boss man for president? Um, I'm leaving the country. <laughs> good, good. Please, I, I will sign up. I'll do it. There you go. I will Jesus do it. Jesus Christ. Boss man, watch your mouth. going to need I'll the signatures. Boss man, watch your mouth. America. Oh, Jimmy Thunder left. He go. Boss man will be the first president to be assassinated before inauguration day. Yeah. Dutchman tells shoots on Ric Flair's lack of loyalty. One of his ex-wives will probably get him before you, though, so don't worry. <laughs> nah. They love or, in, or, or enemies. One of his enemies. Do a little dope. Along the way. Got no enemies. Some, guy, some guy's wife he fucked along the way or something. Get down tonight. Uh, yeah. Hazelwood would <laughs> solve the mystery, says Alvin Moran. He's like, well, damn, now, now I gotta I gotta revitalize my enemies list. <laughs> That's terrible. Do a little dance. Make a little, is make a little love. Now you're going to prison. Get down with bowling. Get down with bowling. Make a little love. What'd you say, uh, Fatal? Now, before anybody starts yelling again, I will say that the dead relative accounts have been around a lot longer than we know Jacob Waters. And I get Jacob saying he's not worried about what happened that didn't happen on his show. Yeah, but, I can't speak to other people's stuff. Right. That's all I would but, but even Jonathan, who pops in here, who was a cop, who lives in a smaller town in Arkansas, who knows the police because he worked Who killed him. a man? Uh, and there could have been multiple people that did it. He was doxxed. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He was doxxed. And his police people, you know, they have the power to they, – they will let him know what's going on. They're going to let you or I know. They said – that they knew where the call had come from, and it was one of another. I'm not even going to name names or anything, but I'm just saying it wasn't the old Thunder Raider over there. Oh yeah, no, Jimmy so, Thunder. Jimmy Thunder came on and blamed a bunch of people. Like I said, when he messaged me as James <laughs> Chan, whatever, I didn't know it was Jimmy Thunder. I didn't know who was Sir. Like I don't know all these fucking names. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I just like this was Servat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, and, that, and that's what I was trying to explain to him is that I don't think you're blaming him per se. You're just blaming the name because there, there are we we had famous famously people said, yeah, I made a couple of syrup. Yeah, why he's upset is he thinks if you say syrup, we're gonna think him. Right. Right. No, I know what he's saying. But but Jimmy, well, what's his name makes sense though when Jacob Water says, well, if you're gonna do that, then you got to take credit for all the syrups, which he's not. And Jacob Alvin Waters is Hazel just referring to the one on his show. That's why. That's why I tried to separate it. Like, if he wants to take account for all of them, that's fine. And then, I'll, yeah, then I'll, yeah, I apologize. I, I apologize, Jimmy. I thought you were a better guy than that. Sorry. Yeah, Pesci, I mean, Pesci, Pesci got a Pesci got a good laugh when you asked him to all the serve app accounts. <laughs> yeah, Pe- Pesci. Uh, Pesci remembers the dead relative accounts and the. Hello from hello beyond the grave, and hello from hell. Oh, yeah, they, they were wonderful, you know. And and the only the reason that of this came up is because between me and <laughs> it said hello Lil from hell. We to, <laughs> oh yeah, like, me and Lil me were trying to figure out what uh, who might be doing that to Rocco and like bringing up pictures of his kids and shit like that. And I said I can only point to one person in our community, and I said Servet. That was your first mistake. Shout out to AJ the Linger. Good to see you around, brother. How dare you speak ill on the on the found on the name, the institution of the VAP? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> How dare you say VAP? Don't turn your back on the <laughs> oh, sir, VAP. 
fight right, ended right. up being a oh, so, fight. I was so excited. Everyone was like, oh, Jay Walks is coming out. It wasn't Jay Walks. I thought it was Jay Walks. Yeah. Well, you know, I was going to say, Jay Walks is the best of the business at what he does. Oh, yeah. Jimmy Thunder also said in a message that he hopes Jay Walks beats my ass. <laughs> nice. Well, damn. So, two shades. I don't think Jay Walks wants to fight Jacob. Oh, I yes, didn't know we were fighting either, but I'm down. Yeah. Oh, yes, he does. I don't Jay want to Walks see stuff fight like everybody. Uh, Jay Walks. Jay Walks does not need to be hit in the head anymore. But he wants yeah. to fight everybody. He needs Gosh, to keep. He needs to keep. He he needs to keep painting pretty pictures and get on some medical marijuana edibles preferably. I've been telling him that for like two years, but or mushrooms, whatever. The Bulls won by 15. I want you to bleed all over me. All right, the Bulls won by 15, 131 to 116. What up, Lil Me? How you doing tonight, man? Don't turn your back on the Sear Vet. Don't turn your back. Just <laughs> the start of that game, the, the cover was four and a half, so. Or the, the spread. Oh, all right, boys. I'll catch you guys later. Later. Later, brother. Are you live, Jacob? Yeah, I am live. Oh, okay. Mm. I was wondering when you got the Shout out to oh. Little Me. What's going on, Little Me? I don't see you in our chat, but I know you're on Jacob's. Dude, there's nobody watching my channel. <laughs> you, know, you, you know, here's the thing. Little me, I understand an apple a day keeps a rock away. <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> what? Okay, Gonzo says, what account was it when this started about Jacob saying it's here about? Ooh, God, it's been so long. I would have, I, I would have to see the show to see the highlighted comments. So Chris, the one that the one that stood out to me the most, it was a guy. I don't know if it was a brother or a cousin, um, but that was the one that you showed me because I thought it looked like you. And they had a picture of them. I think they had a hat on, like an Irish hat. I don't know. But you told me to take it down. That was the one I specifically remember. And like I said, I remember it with you, not with like all the other stuff. Yeah, faintly. But I remember, I know there was ones with me and Rome's uncle, and of course it wouldn't be Rome's uncle, obviously. Unless I got some family I don't know about. <laughs> you and Rome are related. It's been over a year since the relatives. Well, not even <laughs> that dark. A lot has changed since the game came out. This is relatives. Elden Ring may be only a year old, be, but the story yeah, begins years ago. Brother from another mother. I, mean, I wanted to talk about the game. My family today. likes to get down with the funky chicken, you know. Uh, I remember some Pat, Patrick told me there was a fake one of me. That, I mean, that blew my mind because I, I don't. Yeah, I don't there was that one time. Well, there were, I know that. There was one with like my aunt. And they were trying to get wrenched. The fake JP McCormick was trying to just sneak a wrench. Yeah. Because yeah. it came on and it had his name just like McCormick. But I'm trying and to I think almost of what... fell for it. Oof. If we weren't online, I could discuss it more. We'll discuss this more offline on Discord. I don't want to mention people's names and shit because that's like, those were the the real names were accounting. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know, mention people's names and shit. It's like, oh, this motherfucker did some research. He went looking through the obituaries. <laughs> that, that's fucked up. Yeah, I mean, come on, bro. What the, what's that have to do with anything? Why are you going to try to put, like, Bob's dead wife with, like, the picture from her obit and her name going, hey, it's me, honey. Like, bro, what the jeez. Oh, Someone yeah. did that? Yeah. 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 Dude, I mean, I know that had to have said him. He never said it did, but come on. Hey, you never sell it, but yeah. Yeah, what? 
What the, what the fuck? fuck? And it's not like it'd be different, if, like if you were like a multi-millionaire basketball player, football player, actor, musician, politician. You expect that shit because there's yeah, awesome AJ. Shit. Somebody was making well, a also, fake also account with dead people. You're, you're even dodging on you at all because you're associated with some ex pro wrestler. You're a pro wrestler manager. You know, like, well, not even just that, but it's like... A, no, I mean, a they, they were going off of Bob just because old Bob is old. Oh, yeah, 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 because of, cause of old. Yeah, yeah. There's like, a video, and it's not our Rev, but it says Rev and Shani lie again about their situation. <laughs> what the fuck? But it's just like, dude, what the fuck? Like, okay, it's not even, okay, it's not even like, okay, he's on Bowling Show or whatever, and I get that, like, I hate Bowling, brr, whatever. Okay, I get that. He's part of the show. You think he's helping Bowling scam or whatever, and you do that. Okay, I can, I can, I don't understand it, but I get the correlation of why you did it. The correlation of me, this is when me and Pesci were like, on bowling show when this shit happened with jacob on his channel that they were arguing about that was when me and pesci were still like doing bowling show and stuff you know we were like we would pop on there and you know do inter do what shows and things and we we weren't pesci wasn't spoken of as the outlaw show or the other show or uh, over there or the stalkers or whatever this was long before that and the fact that they the fact that they followed Bolin's little stooges all the way over to Jacob Waters' channel and other people's channels to And after all the Red time Red that's passed. Right. Never the dude. I've never, do I've never cared about stuff that's actually important. Right. To care about shit like this on the internet, you know. Like, right. To do dead relative accounts on Jacob Waters' show, which is like six degrees of separation from Bolin's show. Yep. And that's where I made the correlation with the server apps because they started talking to like Divine Tiffany and like uh, Maria and Angel and people that they wouldn't know if it wasn't vicariously through me. And it right. was directly hey, server app accounts. Hey, and Rocco show. All of the shows that Jake Hudson was part of, all those Wendy, the what's her face from Howard Stern and like steel toe and lemmy and grain and everybody man like, you, you see you see, steel toe that, that show is going to shambles now dude <laughs> how the fuck do you know steel toe from jay Carson, but i mean i, I still follow oh, okay. up with him. oh okay okay yeah they they like that dude like the i i knew that guy was a piece of shit the steel toe guy aaron he's well, like from the get-go like, get you can tell he's uh, yeah. he's like blaming lemmy he's like Lemmy is enemy number one to him right now. Like, little Lemmy. Little Lemmy's nice to fucking everybody. She's just a hippie stoner chick. Hey, everybody's cool. Get along, whatever. This bitch is like the fucking devil, and she's dividing and attacking. And... Like, what? If little Lemmy is your enemy, and you're making money like that dude is on the internet, you got some serious issues, bro. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. Who calls Lemmy a enemy the guy from steel toe the main guy aaron oh they're they're beefing now oh yeah oh, is that yeah. why okay that's why she compared rocco to fucking he said she said that he had aaron m body oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah that like aaron m hope probably I'm, i mean i i don't know but evidently he's rough with his wife I guess you would say. Nah, April, 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 April. And Lemmy, uh, and Lemmy kind of like, I guess, defend, this is just my third-hand observation. Lemmy kind of like observed that, whatever, and just kind of, you know, didn't like it, I guess. Observed it, called him out, or just kind of like, and then it's like, yeah, he's, she's, she's trying to steer my wife away from me. And, or, you know, whatever, crazy, just crazy shit, bro. She's the enemy. I'm pretty sure his wife quit the show. So after yeah, the bikini and, and, thing, and, and that and that's Lemmy's fault. Well, yeah. shout out to Megamind and Chicken Little. 
Yeah, that's why you call her Magamine, because my homies that watch it from a different thing, they watch the Steel Toad, like the goof on it, and they refer to that chick as Magamine. <laughs> That's funny. That's my one. She got a five head. She's nice though. I got like I really don't have an issue. I just I always watch people talk shit. I think it's funny. Yeah. Thank you, AJ, for stopping in, brother. I never thought that dude was like entertaining. I know like Brandon and like, yeah, he's he's pretty entertaining. I'm like I mean I get it, different strokes, different some people you like, some people you don't, but I never thought that dude was entertaining or funny. Neither did I. Remember, we tried. So we tried to watch him once, and remember, I yeah, yeah, get yeah, into the show. I thought it was interesting when he had Jake on there, or, or the bowling thing. That was the only right, time there was right, a little right. interesting thing. Right. Right. If he had, if he had Granny on there, then he, you know somebody we knew. Or, yeah, you know, and but, he didn't even really ever have them on. They were in the no, chat. Of course not, because he didn't want to share the money, bro. And, it's his way or the highway. You can tell. They know well, dude, that. you I don't mean, even have to share money. money. It's but... about getting people on the stage and just promoting other shit. But it, but it's when little Lemmy is your like super enemy. You got serious problems. <coughs> when did that start? I thought they smoothed things out, or was that recently? Uh, within the last, within the last couple, I don't know, two weeks or three weeks, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Because I told Lenny I'm Team Lenny all the way, and she said thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like, dude, Lenny's cool with everybody. His, like, I can't think of anybody that's had an ill word. Yeah, Jake's like, you're the cut from Ocala. But that's just Jake. Jake hates everybody. Rocco doesn't get along with him. Well, all right. No, that's Michael McIntosh. Well, that, now, to be fair, this version of Rocco doesn't get along with him. This version of Rocco. True. No, no, no. Actually, that was Rocco before he went to jail. They had an argument. Well, okay. Jacob, how do you know? What's I think all the versions of Rocco don't have a Hello, Sue Ann. I think all the versions. Were you at Montauk, Jacob? I don't think so. I ain't never been there. Let me go top my drink. I was in the fucking chair, Jacob. I was in the trenches. I was in the oh, no, no, I don't want to get personal, but is Rocco in jail because he couldn't have failed, afford bail, or is he like, he's like legit there? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, At least you got to bring his Alexa though. That's enough. Yeah, I mean, if you can bring your Alexa speaker into jail, you can play some music for the inmates. Like, is the jail hell? Oh, no. I don't, I, don't, I don't think Cook County lets you do that. So yeah. Yeah, they do. Because remember, don't, don't you remember? Hold on. Wait a minute. I'll tell you this: uh, that version of Rocco is not in jail if he's got his Alexa with yo, him. Hey, now hold on. <laughs> You're wrong, Jacob and uh, JP, because Joliet Jake and Elwood Blues were in the Cook County Jail, and they said, "Go to party in the county jail." They, they fucking I played. My the county 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 county. I don't know they if they even, I don't think they ever really did that either. So, uh, yeah. They were in the fucking Cook yeah. County Jail. They played I mean, the they're, 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 fi they're, they're fictional characters, but. Are they? Are they? They're, they were on a mission from God. Go lay down. Unlike Bossman, of course. Who's over there, goddamn. Well, it's like, what, what's the band from Airheads? Uh, the Lone Rangers? You know? The Lone Rangers, yeah. yeah. The Lone Can't clear Rangers. The Lone Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I always thought the, it was funny that the suit that played in um, Airheads was actually, uh, what's his name from the Breakfast Club? Yeah, uh, Bender. Yeah, Nelson. Nelson. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and the and the DJ was. I had uh, I had air, uh, Airheads on uh, cassette. And the and the DJ was, the DJ was the the DJ was the guy from uh, Criminal Lines or whatever the Italian guy. Yeah, not yeah. Joe Montana, but. Uh, yeah, jo yeah, Joe Montana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Michael like Richards was the other guy. And the and the and then there was a there was another guy who played the DJ too that was. Like, was it Michael McKeon? The guy, the Lenny and Squeaky guy. And there was an early Chris Barley appearance too, like before yeah, he got. Yeah, he was like a cop. 
uh, early David Arquette too. He he played like like the like a goofy DJ. Oh yeah, with his blonde ass hair. <laughs> yeah, he was. Like, you know. Come on, guys, let me back in. <laughs> what are your fucking credentials, Mason? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, I forgot. There's an offer out. Um. Well, it's it's kind of all just to get uh, Granny a free case of beer. But uh, do you remember the show? So Granny, Granny was referring to the show that Rocco came on for like a brief second, and they said it looked like he almost blew himself up with a flame, and then he got off. Yeah. Did was that on Pesci show? Oh, when he, when he, when he, like, yeah, Pesci said, like, he took the big hit. It looked like he took a big hit off of Crack Rock or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Pesci when he took the big... Yeah. That's the whole reason we thought he was hitting a rock, right? Yeah, yeah. Lil Me said if anybody can come up with that uh, video or that clip, he's going to send Granny a case of beer. All right. What, what that clip Pesci, still exists? Think... That's on my, that was on my channel. I told him that. I just, so I would have that, to, that, I would have to dig. I just don't hey, know. Hey, that's part I, of the Rocco interview, is it? Yeah, but the name got changed because Rocco didn't show up, so yeah, I don't remember what the I, name of the interview was. I changed the name of the show because Rocco didn't show up, so I don't even remember where that was. Oh. I know it was well, a clip. It, it was also a clip for a minute. Cause it, was, it was right around the same clip as the, uh, don't you guys know I'm a bisexual? Little Vap Yep says... That's the That's what are your credential show. No, that is the. No, he didn't yeah, say what are your credentials on my show. He said that on Jake's. On that my show, he came on. He... Show. Hey, you got a clipboard. You're trying to get in my head, you know. Dude, he hit that I rock and he disappeared. <laughs> Because I remember like halfway Boston. into the show, I remember halfway into the show, you showed your clipboard. You're like, "There's nothing even on it." <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. And he left because he thought Pesci was gonna like interrogate. Occasionally, there'll be something on the clipboard, but half the times it's empty. That's the funny bold, thing bold. about it. Very bold. Now there is there are shows that. For instance, I've done that I've written shit down for. Those were those movie reviews, but not the Rocco interviews. Bowling, 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 bowling. I can picture the footage for that that video. Because you can see, like, where he puts his head down, but you can see, like, the lighter spark. And you can see, like, <laughs> oh, there's, you, like, the... you remember that? Oh, so JP remembers that? All right. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't really hear him hit it. But you see, no. like, the light and, like, the outline of his head's down, you know. That... And if it was crack, that would explain the paranoia on why he wanted to run off. No, he, That's he, what he I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want, that is not, that's not smoking bud, you know, you're not smoking bud that way, you know. You don't think it, because I asked you guys about this, you don't think he was, like, writing up, lighting up some resin or something? Like, maybe uh, he was no. trying to get it warmed up? No, no. No, Dude, hey, it, it appears I've never hit. seen no resin. You had to have watched. We got to get this clip to show it to Jacob. It yeah. Somebody go on it. Pesci's channel and find this. We, we need we need the undercover work of the. It, of the it would be it's impossible to find because I was so mad I changed the title. Hold on, hold on. Let's, yeah, how long? I remember it, it, it had to be at least seven months ago. Oh, more than that. But You're that right, was when Rocco was kind of on his like wild kick, going around doing shows. <coughs> yeah. Was, this is way before our summer. Giggle pickle, listen up. Yeah. Pesci <laughs> confronts Pena with the truth. <laughs> it was really like Jake Hudson tight. Where like Jake Hudson was this still around. Boss man, the greatest clips. Jay Walks forces Boss man out of the closet. Back a little further here. Those yeah, are videos. This is back when you threw that. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Dad. 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 <coughs> Dad. A lot of, a lot of two chops. 
Those are videos, bro. You'd have to go into live. He said there was a clip attached to it. Yeah, that's why I, yeah, I was trying to do the. I'm trying to do the clip. I, I, I thought there was a clip. Maybe, maybe there's no. No, there's no, no, no. There's no clip. There's no clip. I I should have made one. I don't know what I was thinking. Why I didn't. I think I was I'll more pissed off that he left. Dude, you're never gonna find it, man. Yeah, probably because after the fact, he got all upset about it. You probably took it down or something. Yeah. No, I didn't take the stream down. Stream's up. Yeah, the stream's up to... because Rocco didn't come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hold on. Well, he Let's came on for those couple seconds. But I thought go back, go you said, I thought right, you said on. that after that, you stopped and started a new stream. That's what kind of sticks out. I mean, I could be wrong. My, my memory's bad. But I thought you said that you stopped the stream and started a new one. After that, bowling, bowling for Barkley felt. <laughs> the only reason why I may have stopped that stream and started a new one was so I could go over to OBS. Yeah, but yeah. that sounds familiar. I wouldn't have taken that down though because I think I would have wanted people to see that crack. Brad versus bottles. Row the three thousand. Brad versus bottles. Yeah. There's some good video. Name. Just uh, I'm going back over a year ago. I'm saying it's it's. I don't remember the title of the show, Schmidt. That's why I'm, it's going to be too hard to find. I mean, it was whenever you were playing the interview him because it was like that, like before. The, it might have been like the pre-show or some shit. PWO Newsnight featuring Granny. That was a five and a half hour show. Because it was the same one, Andre, no, because Andre came on after, so I know, because I remember Andre coming on, and, and then Granny being like, no, I can't do this, what are we doing here? Like, <laughs> yeah. I do remember that, because uh, you guys were trying to blind with Granny, so Granny was on the show for sure. Trick or treat, Reverend. What does it say, trick or treat, Reverend? Yeah. This was this was before Reverend was on a lot. I wish that uh, cockroach uh, channel was still up. Nacho cheese, something. Eric Roman in the studio. Granny sings karaoke and sets a record for donations. Eric Roman sings New York, New York on an eight-hour stream. Damn, eight-hour stream. Brady yells at Mountain Timer, a ten-hour stream. <laughs> Sear Map is here, a six-hour stream. <laughs> it's a big Because okay, Granny and Mountain Timer, they used to do, like, the who is more punk rock than the other guy. Granny's night of seven hours. Seven hours. Oh, wait a minute. I see Andre Little listed on there. Hold on. Fast forward through some shit. It would have been at the beginning. If, yeah, if it was the, the Rocco show, it would have been at the very beginning. No, nah, this ain't it. If yeah, anything, you'd have to find a thing that was like advertising. It would have been, it would have been at the very beginning because he yeah. was on and then it was gone. Pesci Power Hour presents Becoming Granny. What's your end game, Pesci? A seven hour show. Good God. <laughs> What's your end game, Pesci? Granny, Fatal, Me, Rev, Widowmaker, Wraith Realm. Yeah, all the same people. Well, let me have my stream ago. real fast. If you guys are watching the stream, we'll see you tomorrow for the new Dad, season of the Bowling Alley.